Chatto, it's Tuesday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, the board are bastards. They've sold one of our best players for 44 million pounds. We may get some money on the bank, on the but that will still nah, hurt nah, us nah, in the long nah, term. Nah, in other news, nah, the other Maltese nah, clubs nah, are absolute nah, crap. Nah, They've all failed nah, to get nah, into nah, Europe, leaving just us all. as the final contender. All that and more will be coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, and we're doing stirrups. And yes, it's a Cheltenham kit. And I made it through the sabotage. Look at me go! Sorry, that got a little bit aggressive there. <laughs> Welcome in, Breezy. <sighs> stirrups is the new thing. We we've gone to stirrups now. I can't believe I managed to push through Sass. Was that you, Sass? Bastard. Thank you very much for the 27 months, though. Whew. Oh, yeah, and we got fisted for the group draw, too. Just everything got a little bit dodgy. Um, and we're doing steroids. <laughs> Might help. At, at this stage, it might help, frankly. It is Cheltenham Town, yes. Oh, dear. That's some... Um, I was dodging there. I was ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving. We got through the sabotage for once. Normally, I struggle with that. Whew. How's it going, chat? How was your weekend? I'm quite red in the face now that I come to look at it. It's. It might just be the shirt, in a way. But I think I did get a bit of sun yesterday. Mr. Stream. Uh, no, there was no stream on Sunday. It was uh, Easter weekend, so I had a rather nice long weekend. It was rather delightful, truthfully. Just, yeah. Just, just nice some time off. For first time I've had a few days off like properly in a row for a little while. Now it's been, it was quite pleasant, honestly. Hello, Rob. New assistant manager came in. Oh no way! Dude, that's amazing. We are just to clarify, Rob. We are talking about a child, right? Just because sometimes people say that when they've got a pet. <laughs> but if so, and I think that's correct, because I remember you saying a few months ago. Uh, congratulations, my friend. That's incredible. A new gen, yes. No, wait, a new gen. <laughs> Regen. What we're doing here? Switch allegiance is yes, I am a Cheltenham fan now. <laughs> Fulham relationship ended with Fulham. Cheltenham is my new best friend. <laughs> Who's been sold? That'll be Tony Sunday. Uh, which is ironic because of Easter Sunday, but there you go. Mm. And on the fourth day, well, on the fourth day, he was average at building nations. Baby girl, oh, that's super duper awesome, Rob. Congratulations to you and Mrs. Rob. Hello, Icarus. Half of my daughter. <laughs> and he, oh, I read that as halfback. I, I read that as, could I get a halfback for my daughter? <laughs> you can't have Tony Sunday, unfortunately. You'll have to ask Barca. You'll have to ask Barca. Oh, that's amazing. So double babbies this week. Then, yes. the f I guess, I mean, it is literally a birthday. Like, the birthday. The day of birth. The ultimate birthday. So, yes, H H H H H B B B B B S for both Icarus and Rob's babbies. Bloody love to see it. They did sell Tony. Um, yes. Basically, they um, they they just did a silly. We'd lost too much money. Well, we hadn't really, but we were down to no longer being rich or secure briefly because of that silly projection thing with Champions League. And as a result, they decided that that was the perfect time for us to sell one of our best players. Um, yeah. So that's good. On the plus side, I feel like it's a position that isn't going to be as difficult to replace as it's not as bad for me as when we lost Juliet. That for me was like, a we're going to struggle for five years. This for me is more of a, it's going to set us back, but we have contingencies in place for this exact reason. Uh, we are signing a guy and I want to try and, um, I think we should go for the expensive Belgian today, really splash out and treat ourselves to a little bit of retail therapy on the account of the fact that we now have money, right? The Juliet one does still sting. It really does. Thank you for having babies. Hello, Bente. Did you do part run on Saturday? Oh, dear. It's like they knew. It's like he's not streaming on Sunday. Let me just give him something Sunday-based that's going to ruin his day. So we've got the Japanese guy hopefully joining us. I don't think that's actually gone through yet, actually. Uh, been two years, I know, and I will still not forget it. Maybe, like, things should soften the blow today, I feel like. If we can get our, our Belgian lad in and Roy joins us today, which is... It's been a long time coming, let me tell you. Matt with 100 bits. Thank I you, friend. I got a bone to pick with you, Matt. You said to me that the Blades were going to win last weekend, and I'm blaming you for another ruined Saturday. Grimacing face. In fairness, I was half right when I predicted that we'd be utter nonsense. <laughs> it's just that I now fully understand why Sheffield United are where they are, 
because they go they can score goals sometimes when teams create mistakes but the the some of the defending towards the end of that match was insane um and Muniz obviously doing Muniz things of course but like that was unbelievable Horatio thank you for the five months how is your Tuesday my friend it's today is Roy Day it is the beginning of the Roy Evolution Chat to start their projects and puppy in it. 200 pounds out alone. Oh, well, it's always the idea, Dylan. Yeah. Um, we are now, actually. Let's get off of my big ass face. We don't want to see that. We are getting close. Oh, sorry, we're not really getting close. We're getting closer. Why are we on a Cheltenham shirt? Why not? Right? I have a Cheltenham shirt. It's a shirt. I can't stream in the new. I decided, fuck it. Today's the day for a Cheltenham shirt. <laughs> Literally, that's all it was. Uh, so we are currently at negative 101 players out on loan when are we get big roy i believe it's the 21st of october i think it's the 21st so we will easily get through that today if it's artistic ah not anymore you can't um, well i suppose you could i just can't have a camera pointed directly at my butthole god these bloody rules eh <laughs> yeah i think it's 155 which is getting close to where we were with mtk last year when we were much further into the save so that's something uh, it did help that we got that massive boon of players out on that random day in july now i'm hoping that we can get a couple more out because we're not actually on deadline today it just it's the european deadline but as you know ours is a bit deeper than that but that's why i kind of want to pull the trigger on our boy gert uh today just in case brugger start getting weird about selling mid-season when the window is actually shut basically oh uh, chocolate cover i did have an egg uh I, I did have a egg. I have eaten a egg. Pog's got hers in the fridge still, but I suspect she'll end up just giving it to me randomly because it's just what she does. A public holiday. What should be a Sunday already? That would explain a lot, actually, if he did join on a Sunday. I don't know. Let's actually see. What day is the 21st of... Uh, it's October. Fleming trial finishes, and it's a Sunday! It's like he knew. It's to honour Tony. Roy will join us on the 21st of October, which is a Sunday. Man knows. Oh, God. <laughs> so we're getting there. We're getting there. Hello, Jack. 45 minutes. Hey, snap. That's pretty decent, though. Because that sounds like you're trying to sell those players. Like, I I'm always happy when I sell a player for loads of money. Just when I'm the one that makes the decision to do it, you know? American Minera called Roberto Baggio. Yes. That is... There's a lot of very strange names like that. Hello, Muddy. 45. Fair play, Marvel. That's amazing, man. Hope you're having a good morning. So... I've barely gone any days since last stream because we were right on the cusp of the transfer window ending it anyway. Deep Brugger against Villarreal. Well, he won't be able to because we can't register him in the squad. Um, Because obviously the squad will be registered way back here. Like, uh, well, there, in fact. Um, Plus, Roy, I'm still not sure how good Roy's going to be. I I'm trying to temper my expectations. Under 21. Yeah, but under 21 only counts if you've been at the club for three years. Uh, you have to have been at the club for three years and then counted if you're under 21. It's not like the Premier League where all under-21 players are counted as far as I know. Although there might be eligible eligibility. Been for two years, though. Yeah, but I don't believe that counts on the trial. As far as I'm aware, even though it says it does, this is what Hadrian's told me, basically. Um, it says he's gaining eligibility here, right? But from what I've been told, the moment that he joins us, this just resets, which is really annoying because he has been in the country being trained at club. For he's nearly done. Like, <laughs> man is like over two-thirds of the way to actually getting that already but i'm fairly certain this is just going to reset it would be amazing if it didn't but i don't think that's what's going to happen i'm also pretty certain he's going to come in with like three star pa but he could, should still get it hey we'll see right i i'll be amazed but we will we get to find out today well i'd like to believe that that's the case but i'm pretty certain that once he joins us this just resets back to zero again unless he was able to get it on trial we'd have to basically sign him at like 14 on a trial and keep him for three years right what happens here um well, okay then. Uh, what happens here is we stream Football Manager. Oh, three whole years. Wow, how time flies. Thanks for making three deaths of the week less awful. Sometimes two when I'm away. But thank you, babe. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Thank you for the 36 months. That's wild. But on the trial. No, because uh, the trial is There's basically one of those back. things that's like, well, it allows the trial until such time as he's old enough to join us, which is obviously on the 21st. Uh, so he's already been on trial for 26 months. <laughs> We hit continue. Today is a whole, today is a hit continuing stream like crazy. We're doing so much Champions League, it's crazy. Um, we want to get through as much as possible today because it's because of that weirdness on the last stream where we got those like buys and it really annoyed me because we basically missed out on free coefficient. We're in real trouble on the coefficient front this year. Like we've only got three points because we missed two random rounds of qualifiers for no reason. And obviously less said about the other multi sides, the better because they are dead to me. <laughs> in fact, thank you for the follow. So I got FM. To be fair, so do I. 
Like, <laughs> I, I like to believe that I'm more here of a Schadenfreude element of things where people just come and go, ha ha, that guy sucks. <laughs> Makes you feel better about yourself, right? <laughs> Fair enough. Wait, we're on a hype train there. Oh, thank you, friends. I didn't even notice that. That's very kind. How did that happen? Oh yeah, there was a resub and then the bits. Right, of course, yeah. Nations of 18 is not allowed to go on trial. Yeah, I, I think it's just... There might be other exceptions with it, regardless. It's just that the way FM codes a lot of stuff, although I think that's mostly just down to label laws and stuff, right? Yeah, I saw that. Was it um, Pirate Software or something? Uh, mate of mine mentioned that in a group chat I was in. Something like level 106 or something mad, which is just unhinged. Particularly, as far as I'm aware, the requirements go up for each one, which is crazy. Breezy, thank you for the follow. Well, I tell the swamp down the label laws. Yeah, yeah. Can't get enough coders done. Can't hire an in fast enough. So, I think... Oh. And Jaffa Gate, thank you for the follow as well. I'm excellent, Bill. How are you, my friend? So I Players, you didn't add to the devilish like the young one too. Right, draw. It's so weird that you just said that because I did that exact thing yabbles. this morning. Right? <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that because I was beginning to wonder... Basically, I, would, I wanted to go look through and see who was on the devilish and who wasn't. And I realised that a lot of our young Maltese players, as you say, end up... Yeah, I think it was 54,000 gifted from what he said or something insane. But regardless, that's ridiculous. <laughs> It's just insane. Watering Skylight as well. Third. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because they've already knocked out, like, is it three Bundesliga? They knocked out Bayern, didn't they? And they also, did it, was it Gladbach they beat? It's crazy. How does Pog's family feel about it? <laughs> what a strange question. <laughs> I think they were all right with me by now. Yeah, it's Gladbach, yeah. But yeah, so I've now added all of the uh, players that are eligible for loans anyway to the dev list and the loan list because it might just be helpful for getting the other guys out on loan anyway so that added like another whoa, like it was at least i would say 15 guys three or four final oh which means you know the fight who's the one top flight finalist or like potential finalist i suppose we end up with like a pompey fa cup win type of situation on our cards here which we know is not going to happen where they feel oh leverkusen well at least we know who's going to win um go unbeaten the entire year at this rate in terms of domestic football anyway are they still unbeaten on a european stage too because they're in the europa league and i know they nearly lost to caravan but didn't hello sam right let's have a little check on old roy boy imagine if they actually went unbeaten in every competition that'd be unhinged and also brilliant so just looking at roy again he just i just want him to be good i'm a little bit worried about the pace i keep confusing his natural fitness with his pace but if he's even like Maybe three and a half star. I'll be impressed if he's even three and a half star PA, truthfully. I suspect he's one of these guys that might just have, like, decent CA, because you can see from his attributes, but not quite the longevity. But that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh, Rob, thank you very much for the 22 months as well, my friend. Hope you're... Well, obviously, you're having a fantastic morning, but I bet you're quite tired. Yeah, the 15 passing is good, but as you say, the vision is less than good. Uh, he's accurate. He just doesn't know where he's being accurate to. It's like a GPS that's got all the data, but can't reach the satellite, pretty much. Still unbeaten. Nearly isn't enough. No, no. Well, you've got to win, right? Add the old players as well. Uh, Longello, Longello is playing for Floriana. So, yes. Um, I'm not, uh, I can't sign them back. They won't They won't rejoin us. But Longello has gone into the loan farm. Any, uh, sorry, he's already at Floriana. Uh, as for the older players, they anyone who's an older player in this squad is already like... Oh, actually, you're right. There is a few more here. Problem with these guys is it's... Uh, I can list them for loan. Oh, no, I can't because they're out of contract. Yeah, I can't do much with these guys because they haven't got contracts and you can't loan out players without contracts. So I might as well just release these guys and get them, like, some clubs, pretty much. Um, most of the rest of these guys, like, that's Vida. I've got to be careful as well because some of these guys are counted as, like, Maltese, but they're not actually Maltese. People like Mateta, actually. Uh, well, they are Maltese, but, like, in terms of the way the game considers them anyway. Uh, Mario, Christ, he's 28. I think we've kind of got everyone that we can get at that point. He has a good personality, so if there is anything there... Potentially, yeah. He can hopefully do it. 60 stream streak. That's insane. That's wild. The ball switches, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, I guess you can... You might say that you get overrun in the midfield, Tommy, by any chance. It's a shame that's not listed in the game. Right. So, point being, there is a lot of players that are listed for loan now. And obviously, with me just adding them to the dev list, that means that we should actually get some bids on them immediately. Mostly from your like third tier sides, most likely, and more likely from our affiliate clubs. But if it helps us get into the negative two digits, then I'm more than happy to go for it, right? There is a couple of guys that there was one guy I'd actually totally forgot about, which was our boy Dinko. I realized when he came back, I never did the because you know when a player goes out alone and they come back, it takes them off the dev list 
because reasons. And I forgot to add Dinko back to it. So he's now back on all of those kind of things. Only use youth. Um, that's a very interesting idea for a save, I suppose. I'm not sure how much impact you could really have on that, though. If you're like, what do you do in, in the save? If, like all the players have been released. What What is the point that you are in control of, I suppose? Unless you're trying to win it yourself. You going against them? Your leisure make it, make it good. I don't think I can make it good. Uh, there is only so much polishing one man can do. <laughs> Hello, Daz. Oh, you must be very, very worse for wear, right? I'm just picturing you like like a Victorian person with, a, with dysentery. <laughs> just curled up. I must admit, I may have spent two of the last four days in a beer garden. Whereas Dick, uh, I believe he got released, but it's really hard to track him down these days. We did find him a little while ago. Because um, he got released from Bikikara, I think. And then we... Because if we type his name in, it doesn't come up properly, because unfortunately... And then you have to go into their, like, release stuff. Oh, yeah, he retired, didn't he? Yes, you're right. He retired at, like, 31 or something, which was mad. How are we doing in the Champions League? Oh, we haven't played a game yet. In the actual group stages yet. So you haven't missed anything in that sense. Sean is ragged. Uh, no, I can't, actually. Um, honestly. Uh, so, because, remember, we're in 2035, so he's not going to be a player that we're going to be legitimately able to sign, you know? Uh, not what we really want to anyway, because we're challenging in the Champions League. Unless he's, like, amazing, but even so, he'd probably be very old by this point. Come down as reputation increases. Um, I suspect that that might be Harry, because your reputation has increased in comparison to the player. So they sort of see it as more of an honor to play for you. It's kind of the same way that when you're really small and you're trying to sign really good regens, they want massive money, but then we'll join Milan for like 2K a week, right? It's the same kind of metric thing, but like, it's the same kind of thing, but reverse essentially. Jay, thank you very much for the five months. Coefficients I'm worried about, but remember at least this year, we are, um, hang on, let me get off of this. Luckily, we're losing a bad year. So if we can just have a better year than that, we should be okay, pretty much. It sucks because it was an opportunity to make more progress, but, you know, there's not really much we could have done. We've won the only two games that we could win, which was those playoff rounds. It's annoying that the game gave us double buys, and I still think that that's because of the Russia situation. Freaking annoying. But there's nothing we can do about that. And we have really no control over what the other Maltese sides. Uh, Hammer and are just an absolute bottle job. But it does come back to what I was saying about how it seems like in the qualifiers and the knockouts, teams are like twice as difficult when they come up against whoever they're coming up against with its multi-sides. We noticed this with MTK as well. Hamron win every game in the group stage of the Conference League last year, immediately get knocked out by the 23rd place team, as you do. This year, get knocked out by a team that have not been in Europe in 15 years, nearly. Oh no, they've done like one season in Europe, I think. It's just one of those things that we can't control and is frustrating, really. I wonder if it's because they have some younger players and their consistency levels are lower. And over a league phase, it's less noticeable. I just genuinely don't know. Because if you think about it, they've got a lot of loans from us, which means they're probably fairly young. So that statistically, they're likely to have worse consistency. Which is why I actually think that a lot of our work is going to be done by just growing as a club and being older. Because the players' consistencies will just start to creep up and up and up. And I think that's going to help us as well once we start to get some more experienced guys in our squad. Because at the moment, even when you look at our first eleven. Or some of our best players, 20. Our oldest, like, best players are, like, 26. Which, to be fair, is more in the area that I'd be okay with. But we still have quite a lot of very good players that are still very young. And they don't have that consistency. Some of them do, honestly. But a lot of them probably still have some quite bad consistency. Although, at least Quasi seems to be at least mid. So, it's probably, like, around about 10. Hello, the Groovy Gamer. Actually, for a DM and tie them... Ooh. I feel like I find you a DM too with that. However, obviously, it's just like... Um, honestly... More than happy to give it a go, but I'm fairly happy with what I want to do today as far as signing another DM because I've got a guy in mind and we've already approached another dude, but I, I want to sign Gert Gillet because it's an overpriced Belgian. And that's that's not... We're going to sign this man here, chat. What do you reckon? Peter Gilbert in the midfield. I reckon he's got it. It's actually not even that bad as a coach as it goes, but not quite who I meant. He's an oversized coach. He is. He's actually not even that bad, is he? This is who I really want, though. This is Gert. 18 years old. I want to sign him before the window shuts because we don't want to dick about, basically. I think he could long-term be a Tony replacement. He's already got a bit of familiarity there. And I like him, basically. It's going to cost us a bit, but I do like him. Well, I didn't touch FM yesterday, so I didn't get uh, didn't get disrupted by it. And we're obviously getting Nagai as well. So my theory is that we signed Nagai. He'll be the starter for the time being. Technicals just seem so raw. Yeah, but he is also 18. Unflappable, which means high professionalism. If he's got anywhere near the potential that the game thinks he has, I think we can get him in the right direction. Marking is so easy to increase, which is fantastic. He's got the work rate. He's got reasonable stamina and natural fitness too, which we really liked out of Tony. I think I want to make this move unless this goes wrong. 
I think he's got the, the minerals to be the guy, pretty much. Uh, it's just a question of whether we can actually sign him. Right, 11.75. Which means we're probably looking at about... Since we have got... Oh, by the way, I also took a clause back off of um, Alfata. The team, you know the team we sold uh, Rangelovic to? They bought a clause off me for 4 million quid, so that's nice. Yeah, the, hit, the aggression isn't amazing, as you say. That is the one thing. I reckon I could actually do that, and they'd probably go for it. Yeah. I reckon we can do that, because otherwise, if I try to put the amount that they want in there, they will just reject it and then just dump it all back in clauses again. I'm okay with that for the time being. If he will sign on a reasonable deal, I think he's decent. Rejected. Um... I'm trying to think what random nicknames who scouted him i well the fact is we can we've scouted him several times now because we the plan we actually found him at the start of the window but we were kind of holding him back because we were like well we don't need this guy and obviously tony goes and then it's suddenly a very different story uh has the nagai transfer gone through yet i don't think it has so, so this is the other guy that we're looking at um he's probably going to be the starter for the time being but my hope is nagai starts but then Gert becomes the long-term successor to his role. But I think this guy's decent. I think he'll do the job really t relatively well in the meantime. And, you know, 17 caps for Japan, Japanese international. He We will lose him to AFCON. Not AFCON, sorry, to Asian Cup. Yeah, trying to verify his potential. Truthfully, though, Dan, even if you scout him with a 2020 scout, as we've seen, there's really no guarantee that you're going to get it correct, really. he's ver But that's what we're playing him as, right? And the fact that he can play in both positions is good. Now, the question is Gert's contract, right? That's the thing. Too tall. <laughs> Uh, so a few of these guys have been released. Please tell me. Please. I don't want to see red here. Yes! Incredibly interesting. Really? That's actually surprising. Plus, we want to sign him now before he starts getting Belgium caps. Because you know what's going to happen. He surely is Belgian international future, right? Uh, I mean, so I can probably offer him like 20k. If he gets Belgium caps. To get the, the eight-year contract, which we want. Might go for 19, actually. Can I do it? Yes! That's perfect. It means we can get him on an eight-year deal. So that'll take him through till he's 26. And that means he's going to be on a max of a roughly 19,000, even when he's like 24, 25, probably getting games for Belgium would be my prediction anyway. Maybe I'm wrong about it, but I, I feel like he has the consistent characteristics. And we've got an overpriced Belgian. It wouldn't be one of my saves if we didn't. Also, Edouard van Gorp. Good name. Right, go on. Yes. Lovely. Loan offers for Christi... Ah. Rubbish. I think these were just two dudes that I'd randomly added back to the uh, dev list again. Hopefully, we'll get some interesting Christich from non... God, we really do need to. So, that was pointed out to me as well is that um, with the part exchange method, if you, um, instead of trying to get like a random youth player that they don't care about, if they've got a guy on the transfer list and he's really cheap, buy them instead and they seem to push the deals through even more. Relegation release clause is a really cheap way of just getting a little bit more off the top. Because we're not getting relegated realistically in this save. And if we did, then the save would probably be in a horrible state as, as it goes. So that's why it's always useful to put that in there. If you're a regular league winner, it will just give you like a... It's probably only really doing like 5% in truth. But that 5% can sometimes be the difference between being able to afford a player and not, right? And getting the contract that you want. Right. Uh, PSG want Ortiz. Uh, I can't... I'm also making sure that I try... To... Oh, there we go. One for Pembroke. Francois Javier Hardy this year. I mean, there's a chance. But not Francis. <laughs> Francis! Good old Francis. Just see if we go to Francois. Oh, well, there's a lot of Francois Javier's. Mostly. Weirdly, they are all coaches. Uh, okay. So there is four, in fact, Francois Javier's, and they are all coaches. All unemployed too. Which I feel like is a pattern and a pattern I don't want to get in the way of. Right? That's none of my business. Coefficient rankings. Um, currently we are sitting 15th uh, playing Venom. Unfortunately, this year was supposed to be a year where we'd go really crack on because we're losing a really bad year. Unfortunately, um, the game chose us to get buys through certain rounds of qualifiers which meant that we got less chance to beat teams and thus less points and the other multi sides all screwed it. We're sort of alternating from one to the other. Oh dear. Cheers. Silly Billy. Uh, FCM Krastev. Wow. Um, no, absolutely not. Now, we're going to get loads of these today because it's obviously technically deadline day for a lot of the European sides, whereas our deadline isn't until the um, the 6th. Right. Squad numbers. Right. Let's just make sure. Should remember today. I didn't. Um, but remember, there's um, the clocks have changed for um, the UK. So that might dick about with like stream times for certain people whose clocks haven't changed. I forget which. Uh... Hi, FM. Why on earth would he get number 12? 
silly Billy. Yeah, he's probably one of those players that's definitely going to be gone. Um, he wanted way too much, and now he's unhappy at me. Yeah. Yeah, and our Champions League draw is utterly shocking as well, which doesn't help. Uh, he's probably the worst Champions League draw, I think, I've ever had on FM. Just to clarify, uh, Juve, Eintracht Frankfurt, Villarreal, City, Lyon, Stad Rene, Bayern and Inter. We didn't get a single team in our Champions League draw that isn't from one of the big nations. Not one. <laughs> Italy, Germany, Spain, England, France, France, Germany, Italy. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. But you know what? We're going to go down swinging. I feel like that's all we can really do at this point. It's just go out there and give it a go. Doesn't want new contracts on permanent deals. Seems like Hammer can have them. Um, The problem with permanent contracts is that they have to pay for the permanent contracts. And I don't want to lumber them with contracts that they don't want either. Bear in mind, a player that isn't going to sign for us is very unlikely to want to sign for Hammer in the first place. Exactly. We'll give it a go. Yes. Um... I can't remember which pot was which. I don't know. Actually, we might be able to see. It should. Maybe draw? No. I can't remember what nomenclature it would use. Let's just type in Champions League or League. Because it wasn't that long ago, was it? There we go. So yeah, pot one was City and Inter. Pot two was Bayern and Juve. Pot three was Villarreal and Leon, And then pot four was Stad Rene and Eintracht Frankfurt. Fixtures release. That's the term I was looking for, yeah. Cleats and general manager. <laughs> we probably do need to win the Super Cup too, uh, which I don't think is going to be too much of a stretch, but it is going to mean that the one benefit of us playing a relatively full strength side in the Super Cup is that because it's so early in the season, they're not going to be tired enough to the point where they're going to be knackered after the game to not play the next one. Six clubs, are, yeah, it do be tough like that. But I've screenshot of a player sale to someone like PSG where they'd included a bonus if they won the league. Seemed like to think. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's only the first time they win the league. It's kind of like... But still, that's a great way of making some money if you're selling them to a team like PSG. And it's actually something I might consider in future. For example, when we sold Ciawane to PSG, we could have maybe done with a clause like that. Uh, as it happens, we've got a 50% of next sale fee clause. So I'm hoping that we can get at least another 5 6 million out of that in theory. Which league is and how it differs from others. Um, so... It doesn't really differ from others because European qualifiers work the same for every league in... Well, actually, that's not true, is it? Um, it's Malta. We're managing in Malta. European qualifiers for this league work the same as most leagues. As in, there's no, like, silly playoff tournament like you get in Belgium and stuff like that. Or there's certain leagues where they have those playoffs. In Malta, it's very straightforward. Top team... Well, it is now. Actually, as of this season, it's changed, in fairness. So, top team wins the league. Champions League. Second team now... Um, that, I believe... Hang on, let me just check this because this has changed now, hasn't it? Yeah, so the second team also gets Champions League football now. Um, or in fact, second qualifying round, so that's good. We obviously get a team in the Europa League as well, and then two in the Conference League. That's the first time that's happened in this save, actually. Well, as of this year, it's the first time we've moved into this new setup. So that's going to be intriguing. Um, I would like Hammer to obviously be the team in the Champions League, and probably Goodyear to be the Europa League team. I think it gives us a better chance of them dropping down, at least. Having two teams being able to drop down gives us a bit of leeway, especially with the... Which round does the Europa League team go in? Oh, is it first round? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Well, damn. Um, hang on. So that means, if I'm reading this correctly, we obviously go into the second qualifier, which which is hilarious because last year we were supposed to go into that too. I mean, it's been the playoff round automatically, which is really dumb. But next year, Hamron would, in theory, go into the second qualifying round, which would then, in theory, drop them down into the third qualifying round of the Europa League, where they would join another Maltese side. So we're basically guaranteed two Maltese sides in the playoff round of the Conference League. Uh, now, nah, 14th gets um, a, just a different path round for us. The next step where you actually get another team is 10th. It's quite a way off yet. Um, it's not actually that far in fairness. But yeah, so next year could be quite intriguing in the sense that we'll actually have two teams guaranteed in the Conference League playoffs no matter what we do. And they'll be the best ones too. So actually, yeah. Round guarantee group stage. Um, I think the first time you guarantee group stages is the lone UEL card. That is the weird one that you get for... Um... Oh Christ, I can't remember what this one means. And now I've accidentally hit the wrong button. I think this is just the first round. But for some reason, the game divides it. I know there's a reason, and I cannot for the life remember what the issue is with that. But because I remember we were getting teams in that before, which is where Hammer and were up to this point. In. It's the first round, yeah. Because oh, yeah, um, there's no second round. Well, there is a second round, not. but you can't, like, qualify directly for it, as far as I know. 
it's they, they, when they introduced the conference league things got a little bit squiggly with the europa league essentially <laughs> uh mr lousy player thank you very much for the follow let me just uh get rid of that again Diplonets. get rid of these guys as well don't think you should exactly no i think you're right yeah five star reference manager oh i don't know i have not even looked at that for a while let's see uh probably not that oh i suspect actually um I probably had this to begin with because remember i always just give myself the stuff that's relevant to the player that we picked as the manager basically so yeah you probably had that the whole time as it goes how long uh we are on season 13 in malta hologram so this is the start of season 13 i should say uh anything new here hmm okay oh yeah he was that winger weren't he that actually is kind of good but doesn't really suit us right now and we kind of have to be careful with our pennies he says having just dropped a shitload of money oh tanzanian <laughs> That sums up my vibe in one sentence there, really, doesn't it? We've got to be careful with money, ooh, a Tanzanian. Um, but that's nice to see. And is that a Tanzanian club as well? It is. Love the scouting reach there, lads. Appreciate that. Was the one in Roy's Boys? No, nah, no one in Roy's Boys. That would have been amazing. He doesn't look that bad, does he? Wait, hang on a minute. Actually, did I see seven heading? No, eight heading. 13 jumping reach, though. Got a cap already. He's giving me... I'm getting loan fine vibes off of him. But I want to scout him further. What I really want, though, is to get this other deal done over the line and get both of these guys signed up before the Champions League um, registration plays. Oh, my God. PSG are really... They're just not bidding any money. It's like, if you want him that bad, perhaps bid some actual money on him, lads. Which is fine, because the board were never going to accept that over my head. But I think in future, we really do need to be careful about um, making sure we stall offers for as long as possible because it will stop the values from going up too much and that's certainly what happened before and it's another one there we go nice even more loans are happening good times grant easy um weirdly hologram it actually has gotten harder so in europe we've reached the knockouts of the champions league three times now we actually came eighth in the group stage uh at one point that was two years ago but since then it's got really really tough even though we're much better uh, which we suspect is due to our reputation gain clubs are playing against us slightly differently and it becomes tough but we're hoping that with our new here we go Nagay is in Konage nice that's one piece of the puzzle sorted hopefully he's decent do you know what I'll take that he was only really designed to be like a guy that can play now we weren't signing him for uh the future potential of him we know that he's good now that's all we wanted uh, let's put this back to comparison I always turn that off for the recaps and forget to switch it back on again Chili on carnage thank you for the 29 29 it only feels like yesterday that I was graced with your sexy yellow plumage. Keep on keeping on sexy man. Can we get a sexy yellow card in chat sick Matt Jam? Um, so they sold Tony for forty four million pounds, um, with a lot of clauses in it to Barcelona. Uh basically because you know there's that part of the season when you've not got Champions League money yet. And as a result, the board just assumed that you're not going to get it, so your projections are hurt, and therefore it affects you financially. That's why they did it, basically. It's really dumb, because the game just assumes you're not going to get any money for prizes that guys. year. You know you do! Thank you very much for the tier three at three months. You'll love to see it, then. Thank you very much. Nagay. Nagai. I, I was thinking, I was kind of confused between the two. I thought it, been, it might have been Nagai, but I realised the E is more of an I, like, is more with where the I is in Japanese. But we'll go with Nagai, Nagai or Nagai. The guy works. He's that guy. To Sunda. I don't think he deserves any changes anymore. It's dumb, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about it. FM analysis. Thank you for the eight months as well. Thank you very much, friend. Moment you found it on stream. Yeah, it was on stream. Um, it was very, very annoying because there's nothing we could do about it. We asked the board to, uh, like, renegotiate the transfer. They didn't. Uh, there's nothing we could do about it. Thought you were only good for long-term players that are going to play for the moment. Yeah, well, I mean... That's great and all, but we need players now as well. Like, if the board have just sold our best player, we have to sign someone to fill that role. Otherwise, what choice have we got? Uh, we can't go into the Champions League without a player playing that position, basically. So, for £2.5 million, I figured it was a nice stopgap. The idea is, basically, we sign him up, and then we hopefully get Gert Gillet to be his, like, understudy who can eventually develop into the player that we want. That's the hope, anyway. Um, and the fact is, like, it's all very well having principles, but at the end of the day, you got to try and win games and tony is a fabulous footballer and we've lost him i absolutely can hologram i'll show you in a second once we get to the first game uh it'll be much easier for us all to do that let me just add that in there as well was he really 
Oh, yeah. It's good to see. It's just good to see, isn't it? But man, only even knows. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we, we one, that means we have money. And two, that means we just need someone that can kind of cover the gap for the time being. He's kind of like a bridge loan, essentially. I don't know how those guys beat Hammer. And it's just exactly what I was talking about, where it just seems more difficult in that round for seemingly no reason. Uh, such is life. So show that game. Oh, it is a Wednesday. Yeah, we can go full strength against Hammer because we'll have... There isn't like those games before that that they're going to be like struggling for fitness from. So we should be okay because we kind of do need to win that game. Uh, loan offers for... Who? Oh, I think he was a guy I tried to sign from Trevenna Vegeta years ago and just he's still on the short list. <laughs> uh, what's this one? Oh, reject that. That should be okay now. Yeah, so, it is. I quit. Trevenna goals. Um, I open my own so I actually had this happen last year, pretty much. Um... No, not last year. The year before. We had a season where our top scorer was 15. The year before, it was like 45. So something that was when it all kind of went wrong for us. It just sort of dropped off and our scoring just fell out of its arse. Henry banged like 31 for us last year, which is still a downward step, but not as severe. And I'm hoping with the new tactical change, that will hopefully sort things up a little bit. There is uh, Mike's going to City, it would seem. <laughs> Holograms, Dale. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a big one for the Patreon regents, as is technically not, but that. Uh, we're not doing that. I'm not loaning you to into your melon. Uh, one offer and enough wages. Wait. Yeah, you're going to go out on loan. Bruv, I'm just not loaning you to Inter. A team we are literally going to play against this season. Solseku. Uh, no. Unfortunately, we didn't get any good bids for him uh, after the... in the last, like, 10 days of the window. So, we, he's still here. Uh, his value went up, but sadly, his... Well, wow. I think Krasnev's never going to go on loan for another side in our league, unfortunately. One player. Yeah, no, but we've had big big seasons from players um it's just the last couple of years it's just been really weird for that i'm hoping this year will be slightly different but it's just hard to tell until we can really get into some games gift orban's gone for panathinaikos there we go values are still absolutely toilet um and it's part of what cost us tony we, we reckon that part of the problem with that is because barcelona put that bid in that was so much higher than his his value it's what forced the ball tan along with the silly financial situation at the time so yeah the, the, the values are mostly absolute shit um when you look at, for example, some of our best players, like Camgro and Len, for example, £800,000. Ever go up and I simply don't know. Uh, I, I just simply do not know. Like, when you've got players like Camgro and Len being worth 800 k and players like Gonzalo Diaz being worth 900 k it is hilarious. <laughs> like, but that's just because they've not had as many bids on. When the Golden Boot wants, that's wild. Are you? Do you have a lot of loans or are you just doing a normal save? Juventus want Krastev. I'll reject that again. <laughs> it's good to show that he's getting bids. Like, that shows that there's a quality player there, potentially. Uh, try... I'm not sure I understand, draw. I I'm not going to loan um, Krastev to another European side. There's no point. It would only... The only thing it could do is actively harm us because we're not only we're playing against Inter. Not that he'd be able to play because as far as I know... That doesn't occur for international loans. But I'd rather not have one of our backup players playing for Linter. Try forcing. Uh, but I can't... Look, the issue isn't that he won't go on loan. The issue is that the clubs that are interested in him are not good enough. As in, sorry, sorry. They are too good, basically. Return to normal at any point. Um, as like I said, I simply don't know. Uh, I have no more knowledge on this than you do. Because, yeah, it's... I have not been into the future to know that information and so far I'm not seeing any evidence of it but people have told me that it does and maybe I just need to be patient, you know? Moves to 15th place side he suddenly... Oh yeah, exactly. The moment he leaves he's worth... Prob Cameron Len more likely about 60 million but still, right? <laughs> uh, Pontes will be fun. I think he's from the uh, the Brazilian freebie list still so we'll have a look at those guys in a sec. Let me just uh, get rid of any random 26-year-olds that get thrown in here for some reason. <laughs> oh, I know what these guys were. This is when we were looking for other midfielders, isn't it? Uh, Cabello... Hang on, I want to look at... He's on my shortlist, which means there must be a reason that he's on my shortlist. Um, he was the other guy that we were looking at instead of the Japanese fella, but we decided on him instead. Let me just get rid of any crap here, but also pay attention to the, the good freebies. Not these guys here. These guys are all a bit mad. Connected to where they're actually playing. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how exactly it works, but from my understanding... I'm honestly not sure I do even understand it anymore truthfully because our reputation has gone up right so it's just a thing that affects team like it seems to be based around the player's reputation versus the club they're playing for the league they're playing for and potentially the country they're playing in um except it ignores you when you're the one managing that and it just kind of does what it likes with your team it would seem 
Now, we had players that were worth 40 million pounds and now worth 800 grand. Him being one of them, in fact. Uh, with Kamaji, offered him out. Um, they simply won't take him. Uh, draw. They are, he's a two and a half star CA player, which means there's almost zero chance they would take him. I'm more than willing to give it a go, but also bear in mind, they have players in those roles, and I don't know if he even fits their system. So, it's unlikely to work, given his high, his high CA. Yeah, true, and obviously when they move to the big clubs, their wages are going to be a lot higher. Hello, Adrian! Mid DIY. Oh, how's the DIY going? You didn't die, so that's good news. Like, <laughs> when he did the electrics, uh, David Lim, these are all players from that. I think Cabello might be one of those guys as well. As good as he. And free. It would heavily depend on his contract, right? Very, very clear. <laughs> Might as well have a look. Unless his wages are like 20k. Hmm. Actually. Provided his squad status is... Yeah, it's relatively low. Uh, that... Weirdly, is actually possible. Uh, because that's literally the... Cha that's the role we play. Exactly, yeah. I mean, for free, I wouldn't overdo it on, like, the length of contract. I'd probably try and get him on, like, that with that, perhaps. Just a three-year one, just to sort of stabilize. Because he's the sort of guy that we can flip for money, potentially. I like players like that. I suspect he'll end up signing a new contract, but we'll see. We've got to be careful with transfer fees. But luckily, he doesn't have one. And his, his like, loyalty thing, he didn't look too high. That seems all right. Uh, these guys here, they're not quite at the level I want. But I definitely saw a couple more further down. If a mobile, Christ, I have no idea if that is even possible. I mean, I assume it is, right? It'd just be very, very difficult. Uh, these guys we don't want. Well, we do, but just... Oh, FM. One day, they'll make it stop randomly resorting this list. One day. Actually, those guys will get rescouted. What I am curious about if there's any random freebies further up this list. Like, there was that one guy. In fact, there's a couple here. These two guys. Both of them, in fact. Aaron! Thank you for the 41 months. Massive. Thank you, friend. How's your Tuesday going? These guys are surely... F Wait, hang on. Look at his CA. Damn. He could be a really good loan farmer. Because I feel like his CA will be more like two-star. He's got good United base of the defense written all over him. Mm. Don't mind a bit of him. Hopefully he doesn't want too much money. Oh, that's perfect. Th th these are the perfect signings. I love players like this. Just completely free. Have a bang on that. Oh, dear. Where's it gone? Oh, no. We'll have... Wait, where have they all gone? Has it just resorted itself again? I'll do it the other way around. So there was Clay... Wait, was there more? Oh, yeah, these guys are... Wait, hang on, there's so many of these guys. Mark Scully, is he another um, face in the game? Or is he just a really old player? Bought from 24. <laughs> How's that going for you? Um, Right, let me just sort of figure this out. Because that's now reversed. There we go. It was this guy here. Iran may Acosta. I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat. I mean, again, he's just free and it shivers. Thank you very much for the follow. If he's got the same kind of wage demand. Oh, it's even lower. It's the dream. These guys are perfect loan farmers. They're all I want out of these players. Right. David Crawford, you're very good. Like, extremely good. I ironically, would probably be quite good in that role, but there's no way that we could... thing is alone would be pointless because we're never going to sign him permanently and Nagay and Gert are kind of similar in quality and he's we'd just be developing a player for Manchester City without really any benefit to ourselves but god damn if you oh my goodness sake FM <laughs> what if this guy here oh he's a winger oh these are just random loans we can't even no point in really going after those guys guy Ajax can't won't talk to us very so expensive for your own trouble exactly yes what Callum thank you very much for the follow how's it going and a striker top in the league season before. Can't score a goal. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sacred Fafana in this save, in fact. He's, like, he got 40 nearly one season, and then the next year got six. Like, his game time was reduced slightly by maybe, like, five, 600 minutes. But he went from scoring nearly 40 goals to getting six. I think it was around about that. I might be overestimating how good he was that one season in order to make him look worse. Let's just actually check. 
It might have been mid-30s, actually. Let me think about this. It was 35. So he got 35 in 35. Then the next year, he got 6 in... Tw albeit 21, but 6. <laughs> That's a pretty abysmal. Last year, he managed 14 in 28. So he certainly dropped off quite a lot. Um, You are at quite large clubs and are unlikely to really want to sell to us. Well, they might sell to us, but for quite money. UCR from Baltic. Yeah, yeah. You can get... Well, if you're in Europe, you can qualify for the Champions League from any country. It's just very difficult, right? The lower you start down. Um, Mauricio Lopez, winger, £8 million, kind of pointless to us. Oh, I probably should have at least checked. Jack Joyce. I feel like that's the name of someone. Like, I mean, yes, Matt, it is indeed the name of someone, but I feel like that's the name of a person, like a real life person. The not in football, maybe in football? I don't know. Um, Russia. No. Yeah, these are the exact type of players we don't want. Oh, actually, this works at SI. Oh, does he? That might that might be why. He's a face in the game then, isn't he? I probably met him now that I think about it. Eric Nunez. That was that guy that you guys really liked. I'm still kind of intrigued by, honestly. We're getting rescouted because I actually think... Look at that. That release clause is quite attempting, isn't it? That was the Burnley dude that we... Oh, he's way too expensive. You won't sign for us yet, but... Oh, Jesus. Best player in the world. Probably... Oh, Christ. What's he called? That guy at Chelsea, uh, Manchester City. Um, is it Badini? It's either Badini. I'll show you in a sec. I think it's Johnny Badini. There's a guy at Manchester City. Although, is there another one? There was an Italian guy that went from Chelsea to Man City as well. Maybe there's a Moroccan guy, I think. Yeah, that's Mark Scully. There you go. Is it the yes, there you go, Millie. Right, exactly, yeah. I thought I recognised him. Uh. Badini was... Yeah, Badini was the really high CA guy. But I swear there was another guy who looked better. Uh, this is... Banan Wama. I nearly called him Banana Wama then, which is honestly fantastic. He was the guy we like because Dr. Rwanda. We'll just scout him again, obviously. He's not ready yet. He's still cooking. Um... You are too young, which means we'll scout you again eventually. You're at Manchester City, which is kind of pointless to us. Kevin Weiss, expensive. Was he? Luxembourg. Ooh. Bengal Costa, thank you for the 33, my friend. Bonjour. Don't have anything other to say other than a French word. I'm waiting for the... Oh, it's the bonjour at the start, right. Just ignore me. <laughs> it's for the best, right? Hey, Bobag. Hey, Flawless. Banana Wama's in pajamas. Oh, now you're talking. Ooh. Looks better. That's an extra. I'm sure yours is better, right? honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you. Wait, you'd actually. Uh, he would talk to us, but he's very young. Would want huge money. I just don't like those types of contracts. Oh, Libyan. That, that's, my, that's more up my alley. Mohammed Ben Ali. Yes. Uh, got caps. But then I suppose he would do if he's half decent and Libyan. He's bound to have some caps in there somewhere. Um, I've no idea what the game's even sorting this by anymore. Fidanov too young you're too young Frederick Muller would talk to us but it's kind of out of the range of Lone Farm looks okay but I wouldn't pay that money oh what, what's that bright red on him oh competitive streak you know what Frederick you'd fit right in bud any of these guys he's just, just a lot of mid in here you guys were already signing you're at Itihad so that's off the table who you wanted by out of interest Benfica well that's going to cost them Christ uh, Vendor Miati. Cool name. These guys are kind of above the kind of level we want to be looking at, really. Right, more freebies. You actually have wage demands, and they're very, very, very cheap indeed. Do you know what? 20 teamwork. Oh. For that kind of price of nothing, and with that kind of wage of nothing, I think that'd be silly not to, really. For £75 a week. Sign me up. I mean, he wouldn't be able to go in the loan farm immediately, but he'd probably just sign a new contract, but it's definitely worth a go, right? And with these guys, uh, wait, you're really expensive. You're not expensive, but aren't also that good. Then again, you have got a cool name. And you know what? He's not even that bad. Like, he is, but he's... All wow, he's a weird-ass player. He is the epitome of a pressing forward, isn't he? First touch is brilliant. Technique is great. Work rate's amazing, but he can't finish... And he has no composure, but boy, is he brave and determined. Zaim, Zaim was the guy, I think. Or the Portuguese winger. Yeah, there was definitely a few. Any multi celebrities? Uh, no. No, I don't. Um, 
yeah, he's just kind of, he's cheap. Wouldn't cost a lot of money. I like these kind of signings. They're fun. And he's very, very cheap. Oh, even better. The game knows. Chat, we have to sign him. 69k. You can't... I am legally bound to... to make that happen. It's just the rules. What about old, good old Hill? <laughs> Almo baby. <laughs> Funny number, exactly. It's just how it goes. David? Bring on! Cool badge, like of the team exactly. But I think these guys might be just below the level I want for these. Maybe? I don't know. Tracy Q, thank you for the follow. Yeah, fine. We'll do one more. We'll have him. Just because I like the badge of the club he's playing for. Such cur um fair enough. Good for him. That sounds awesome. Like Um Cut who? Uh Right, we'll have that on the free. Get rid of the rest of them. So let's pick up a few of these guys, right? Just to kind of fill it up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, shit. <laughs> I forgot I actually asked for a lot of contrast, didn't I? Did I miss a funny name? That is very unlike me, and I would like to apologize to all of you. Uh, oh, Kurt the FIFA guy. Yes, sir, I know who Kurt is, yeah. Sorry, I, I had no idea. I didn't know he was Maltese. I thought he was English or something. I, I think I've raided him a couple of times back in the day. Um, right, get rid of that. Wow, the fact that he actually wants that clause is kind of intriguing. Which means Clayton's got some big... He's got big ambition. I rate that for him. It's misplaced, but I appreciate it from him nevertheless. We'll give you a seven-year deal. Lovely. Right, uh, not coming back. We'll have Mayer as well. Youngster. Oh, Youngster is even better because that means we can just... Six-month contract. L no, listen, bud. I feel like that's a little bit taking the piss. There we go. Cool. Back up with time. I have no idea, HP. Uh, I genuinely don't. Um, I hope so, but I simply have no knowledge of the future on that particular thing, and all I can go by is what people who have gone to the future in their saves and are further ahead of me have said, and it seems to be a mixed bag, from what I understand, anyway. So far, anyway. Uh, right, get that done, too. MIE as well. I'm actually losing track of who's who. Youngster, loan. These guys, I feel like, are all perfectly weighted. For, perfectly weighted? <laughs> perfectly placed for the loan farm. We've got time to get them out, too. Data problem. No, no, it's not a database problem. It's an FM issue. It's, a. Uh, it happens in vanilla databases too. It's just one of those things, unfortunately. It happened last year as well. Just in slightly less violent consequences, I think, last year. Mihio Alakai. Oh, sorry. Mihai Alaku. He's... He usually comes through by now. No! Hang on, let me just try that properly. No. Hmm. So no. No Mihai Alakus yet, which means there's a chance he could still be good. Modification issue. Ah, yes. Um, that's why it affects vanilla databases that don't have any mods to them. It's very easy. I feel like when it's something they can't be asked to fix, they just say, oh, it's because of a mod. And it's like, yeah, but there's... And unfortunately, I can't prove that they're wrong because I am using one. But people who aren't using one, you know, it happens in, like, normal so leagues. I tell the swamp donkey to sack it before I give it a it's annoyed me here that this transfer for our Belgian chap has still not gone yarbles. through. And I was hoping to register him for the Champions League here. I'm out of speed. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, I'll refund your points, bearded child, for that. Uh, she's gone hey, hey what can i say <laughs> i should do lullabies or summit uh right i just want to make sure that nothing has changed in here padilla doesn't need to be registered oh we've got to get uh cohen but that's fine because we registered someone that we didn't need to in order to take him out and i just can't for the life of me remember who it was there was someone in here that we didn't need to register and then we did I would say it's Kazola, but I actually think Kazola's quite good. Oh, is it Lignon? No response, but yeah, exactly. It's... It, it's shit, Katuki. It's... But it's not even to do with, like, building a nation. It's just... It, it almost comes across to me like a Malaika. Yeah, no, wasn't Malaika like... No, Malaika's homegrown. So by taking him out, he doesn't free up a spot. We're looking for guys that aren't homegrown. Archie Brown would kick off, but... I think it's got to be Archie Brown. No, we kind of need Archie Brown, don't we? Because of the gap in the team. Oruwela, maybe? Since he's already annoyed at me. Oh, no, it's Wilson Ortiz. Oruwela feels like the one, because then we're replacing a midfielder with another midfielder that does a different job and just better. I think Oruwela's the one. In some ways, I'm actually kind of glad that we don't have Gert, because at least it means we don't have to worry about trying to fit him into the team at the moment. Yeah. 
Like, he'll kick off, and so will the other guys. 700 million pounds worth of players. That's my dream. Uh, it's not likely to happen. Uh, yeah, he's going to... I don't want to promise... Uh, I'm refusing to ever enter into promises with players in these meetings again because I want to make as few promises as I can, basically. Rabat are in. Demats one and Doi. Wow, we're getting a lot of loan offers again on these new guys. I'm glad we did that. Uh, we'll stall that. I forgot that their window is longer than ours. Sorry, not longer. Oh, I think it might be, actually. We're certainly in that same kind of level. Ooh. I've got to pay attention to these as well. Because once these guys are then eligible for this, I need to then whack them into the loan. Oh, it automatically does it with the devilish, doesn't it? Ah, you know what? Each to their own, right? Um, if I, I know that's not what you're saying. Like, if I did Sims, like if I played every single game in this save, we would just be, we'd already probably be about five years further back in it. Um, and I don't think it'd be that entertaining, truthfully, because we would probably just be clapping most teams in the league games. What I would say is we would see more funny shit, because obviously the more games you watch, the more chances you are of seeing absolute wild nonsense. So that is definitely something we do miss out on for sure. Uh, not yet. I am handsome. He is less than two months away from joining us, though. So he will be in today. Today is the day. It's officially the beginning of the Roy Evolution. Oh, right. Transfer deadline day. Let's have it. Uh, right. Take part. Let's see what we've got. Attracting interest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. Uh, they're already under beards. You are under a wanted from someone. And it's some teams that we care about. Get in. Actually, would it be better for me to just do a mass offer out? Although that is a pain because there's always that one random player that blocks you from doing it. Do you know what? I think we I think we do it. We try it. We give it a crack. I mean, look how well it worked last time. So, ignoring anybody who's not currently under a bid. I could do it in little chunks. It makes it a little bit easier to digest. <laughs> I'm cutting up our food, chat. Anyone who's already under a bid, it doesn't matter. Right, so there's someone in this one. Oh, it's Salem. It's Salem. It's always Abbas Salem. Yeah, for some reason, Abbas Salem will not let... I cannot offer him out, and I do not know why. It's really, really odd. I've never been able to understand why. Uh, I'm probably going to piss off Krastev by doing this again. I'm almost, like, taunting him now. To say, hey, hey, look at me offering you out there, bud. How's that feel? Wouldn't it be nice if I let you go to Milan? Formosa. Been Iraqi. No, no, because remember, we've got Mayhem Sultan out on London. He's Iraqi, too. Um, it's just a really weird thing I've noticed. I was able to offer him out when he first joined the club. And ever since then, not possible. And bear in mind, I even got a, an offer on him as well. And then he turned it down. But ever since then, he's not been able to be offered up. Maybe he's a witch. Maybe. Get out the ducking stool or something. <laughs> right. That'll go with that for the time being. That should drum up a bit more interest. Was there any guys in the first team as well that were having interest I was... I actually care about. Nah, it looks like the usual sort of nonsense. That's also PSG, so they literally can't bid on him. The usual suspects, pretty much. God, Melbourne's 25 now. That makes me feel old. Right, hopefully some of these guys are going to get some bids. Well, it's kind of hoping this will, Oh, don't tell me it's going to do that thing where it doesn't have any sense of urgency, even though we're on the final day of the deadline. Oh, it's actually already an interest on Idrisi. Whoa. Hang on. But but <laughs> Atletico want him. Probably not going to do that. I'll be honest. I'm hoping these offers actually happen. Ah, there we go. Right, that should hopefully be them. Camilleri loan. Bonello's gone. Bonello. Spiteri's gone. That's better. It was almost like he was trying to clear a backlog. Oh, these actually are what I thought they are. Right, so he won't even be able to go out on loan. Yes! Chat, it has happened. We've broken our transfer record just about. Gert Gillet is in. He's going to be really warm just here. Ooh. Lovey. Right. The question is, is he any good? Might be on a youth contract. I don't believe he can be. He's he's 18, I think. And like I said, he was already... I already had a loan offer for him at the start of the window, and he turned down the loan move. I think it's just glitched out there. Right, so lots of loan offers for Kristic, annoyingly. Leo want him as well. So Andrews want Adrisi. Excellent news. <laughs> Gert, cold arms, gelée. What's cold arms in either French or Be or Dutch? <laughs> it is an overpriced Belgian. Yes. Oh, cr that scared the living shit out of me. I thought that was Gert for a second. <laughs> Imagine. 
<laughs> Imagine our scouts got it that wrong. <laughs> Le Chili Jambon. Done. Oh, dear. Right, we actually can't do anything with him at the moment. Right, come on. Please still have five-star CA. Sorry, five-star CA? Taking it. Taking it. That's fine. Absolutely lovely. I blame Mr. Jobless, literally. Gert Gillet, there he is. Right, immediately, he needs to learn to play in the actual midfield role that he's going to operate in, rather than as a DM. So, first port of call, board midfield. I'm actually going to get him on defensive positioning as well, just to get him started. Though we might take it off if we find he's struggling, but I think he might have the personality to make it work. No offers. Well, that's surprising, considering that I was promised offers. Damn it. Not a problem. Is he the perfect player? No. Can we afford the perfect player? No. Like, he's a bit low. I know. But he's also 18 and he will be trained. Uh, we, you, can't, you basically can't sign the perfect player unless you're Barcelona. We actually had him and then Barcelona stole him, unfortunately. Yes, we should move him to the first team. This sort of happens every time we sign a player. People are just like, oh, but he's not the perfect footballer. It's like, no, of course not. But like, who else were we going to sign that was better and had the potential as well? That's what we're looking for here. Uh, yeah, he is a senior squad type of player, though, which is dope. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, his aggression is not going to go up, pretty much. And I would like it to be higher, right? But I, I like the rest of him. He seems to have the right minerals here to make become a good player, right? And if you turn down every player you don't like, right? Well, But that's literally it, Jinx. And that's sort of what, what I hear when people say that. It's like, why are you not signing the perfect footballer? Also, we're sirens, right? We've got to be... We've got to take what we can get, right? Good during three years. Imagine. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um... How do you train someone? So basically, you can do player training. So what I'm doing at the moment, because of the training schedules we use, um, normally, when their players are under 23, I will start working on their weaknesses. So in this case, his marking. Uh, positioning is actually okay, but his marking is a weakness of the things I care about, right? Um, now, because I want him to play in the central midfield, I want to get him secure and able to play here first before we do anything else, because players playing in that role where they're not comfortable is a massive hit to their performances as well. Yeah, and he will be homegrown too, which is really cool. So we're training him in that role so that he can become comfortable there. Once he's got green there, I'll take him off of that and put him straight back to defensive positioning. I might take this off depending on how he handles it. If he struggles in training because there's too much workload, I'll remove this for the time being and just let him settle into the role first. And then we'll kind of go from there. But I, like, he's not Tony Sunday. But that's unfortunately not a decision we were able to make. Um, I think we've done okay out of that. It could have gone a lot worse. I, I was really worried. And let's be honest, we've also got Kona Guy as well. And he's got very good aggression. So we're okay. Make ridiculous transfers like the Barcelona City with Elite Water Kids. Um, we do sometimes spend some huge money, but not yet. Um, because we simply don't have the money. And also, I wonder what his value is actually out of interest. Yeah, he'll keep that value for like six months because of how much we paid for him. Next year, he'll be worth like five million. I can promise you. It's silly. Um, but as the save progresses, yeah, we do start making those kind of signings because we actually can, right? I remember we've done this a few times. Back with MTK, we would spend like... Well, for example, do you remember when we signed that Croatian midfielder off of Manchester City for like £45 million pounds on the last save? I can't remember his name, but he was an absolute monster. And we just decided, you know what? Screw it. We're actually going to go... And he was like 18 as well, but he had like four-star CA in our team, which was a Champions League winning team. And I decided to just take the plunge. Reasonably priced Belgian. No, I still say he's overpriced, Actually, I don't think he's overpriced per se. I think it's just more that we don't really can't afford him. Yeah, it was Turbovich or something, wasn't it? Yeah. He was amazing. Like, genuinely incredible. Uh, right, so these guys are all joining too. We've got 11 hours, right. Obviously, forgot his name. Well, he wasn't as much of a character in the save as some of the other players were, you know? Didn't really get a chance, to be in fairness. Was that Treaty? Oh, maybe it was Treaty. God, time flies, man. Right. It, it takes a long time to even become... Because think about it, right? At the start, you're essentially just trying to build yourself up. And that's what we've been honestly struggling with a little bit. I was really, really worried. Uh, and I'm still a little bit concerned. But we'll see how it goes, right? That was treaty. Bloody hell. I think we've done something similar with MTK, though. We usually do, right? Uh, right. Stephen Galea is what... Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't think there was a second U. I think it was literally T R B. Trubovich or something. That was the guy. Uh, yeah, so Edson Jose, we will offer out manually because there's clearly interest there. That will leave us a bit of time if we do need to do a party exchange, but I'm not really super bothered about that with players like that. Krastev, that's still going to be like PSG in it. You're only under a bid. 
Uh, you're not. Okay, cool. I think most of them kind of are all players that I want rid of for the this are all under a bid or about to be, right? Okay, we're good. RMTK. They actually won the league at one point, Potas. They, they genuinely won the league. We saw them in Europe, which was pretty damn cool. Only objective is... Yeah, that's the thing, Floss. That's why I love building a nation saves because it gives you options. Like, it gives you long... It's kind of like New Game Plus. For me, like, you make your goal, but then there's still stuff to do after that. Replace Tony? Uh, no. We've signed some players that can play in his position, but replace him? No. Uh, that was never going to happen. But I'm, I'm happy with the signings we've made. I feel like it plugs the gap, at least. And we've essentially replaced him with two guys. <laughs> We've got, like, a guy who's nowhere near as good as him but can still do a job, and a guy who is nowhere near as good as that guy but might be able to do the Tony role in the future. I think that's probably the best sort of attitude to have going forward. Oh, and we're getting Cabello, too. Whenever we... If you do lose a player like that and there's no way that you can effectively replace them, I think the best thing to do is genuinely try to find a guy who can do the job for the time being, who's a bit older. There's nowhere near as good, clearly. And then try to find a young guy who can do it in the future. That way you're not rushing that young guy straight in because otherwise it's just not going to work, right? Oh, do PSV finally lose? How much do they want to buy him? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> That'd be a silly waste of money, wouldn't it now? Buying stocks with secret information. Good Lord. Had no idea that Nancy Pelosi was the technical director of IX. <laughs> Would explain a lot. Ah, dear. Right. Uh, let's see. Going on loans now. Yeah, it's... The loans... Oh, wow. That's a lot of... Oh, wait. Has he actually got one? Oh, legend. Oh, God, it's Nashar again. I can't wait for them to play him out of position. Who are you wanted by? Balzan, nice. We go. Uh, let's do you. I think that probably happened because I added him straight back on it. How are we on money? We're, on mo we're okay on money because I, I structured the deal and we also had 60 mil in the bank at that point. Uh, so we should be down to about 53. Yeah, 50. We're okay on money at the moment, which is dope. That was why I was a little bit concerned about it. Wow, Nashar are just straight in. Maybe they're just lacking a striker. I mean, they're still, even if they sign him, they are also lacking a striker as it goes. Season 39. That's amazing commitment. Like, I feel like this save will probably reach like season 30, most likely. And that gives us a lot of time to make stuff happen, in fairness. How are we doing on this now? Oh my god. <laughs> We're at minus 89 loans. <laughs> Chat, are we getting close to MTK numbers about with loans at this point? Because we can't be far off already. Oh, I didn't look up my new. My apologies. It was about, well, I think it goes back round again. So my new is actually at Dortmund in this save. 30. It's weird just thinking about him being 30 at any stage. Unfortunately, he's um over. No, I think with MCK, we got to over. We got to 170. Majority happy. I don't think they are, though. Oh, I know what they are. It's because it's that bit where every season a lot of players complain about game time in pre-season when they're not playing matches. It happens every year with the loanees. They're like, I'm not playing enough in the middle of pre-season. It's, it's really silly. Bus probably loses hotel for the first <laughs> 39 seasons. That is wild. So yeah, Kobe, I want... Oh, they actually paid for him. Kind of slap bang in the middle of the save. Yeah, he just didn't get it. To be fair, this would have been pre... No doubt Kobe would have got a huge bump in the winter update, but he obviously won't have had that here, so he's going to be considered... Then again, he's still got to Dortmund, so they clearly know about him enough to give him that. Getting zero loans out. I would say it's very unlikely, just because of the sheer juggling of contracts, although I'm getting better at doing that. In fact, that does make me wonder if we're above 200 players now in the entire club. Let me just see. Future site. Well, yeah, if he gets released. 167 out on loan. That's not bad. The game is quite literally not letting me select every player on the screen with a control A. I'll have to do it manually. Don't mind me, chat. Just sat here with my 244-man squad. <laughs> I thought we'd maybe touch 200. I did. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. I've nearly got as many, like, players as SI have employees. This is amazing. We're going to build our own village. I didn't think it was as high as that. We could get to 300. Because we're just keeping people about. A <laughs> suburb of the letter is just entirely sirens. Yeah. We don't have a training ground chat. We have a campus. I swear he was wanted a second ago, but okay, apparently not. Sirens village. Yeah. 
Yeah, sometimes I do wonder, if, oh, wait, maybe? No. But Bowser are in for Mateta. Nice. Oh, squad player as well. They actually want to give him a role. I take that. We'll be Malta's biggest employer. Yeah, Secret Santa must be wild. Ah, here we go. Hi, be Oh, beautiful. Wait, one second. Just before I do this. Not the first choice for the position. Why? Who are you going to sign? Also, why? No, I... I mean, we could try it because it's, it's a loan, but why on earth would you want him? Where is he going to play? Out wide? I mean, a loan's a loan, and if no one else is interested, I'll do it, but I will recall him if they don't play him, and I suspect that they won't. Oh, another one there. Ali Ramal, our uh, Lebanese fella. Get him on as well. I see why he's not the first choice, but I'm genuinely not understanding what position they're even going to try and play him at. Wait, you want it again now? Did we just offer him out, like, an hour ago? Hello, Tainted. Capitano, since last time. Uh, nothing would have changed since last time, because we're only, like, 10 days later. <laughs> So exactly how you were doing before, you'll be doing the same again. Uh, wait, is that a transfer? No, it's a loan. Okay, cool. I got confused there. Right. Let's... I mean, I'll offer Dinko out, but I am a bit concerned about the fact that that's happening. Uh, none of the teams managed to qualify for Europe, which was fun. Basically, what happened was um, Hammer and Shat the Bed against a team that they really should have beaten. It, it's not ideal, sadly. And, and that and the fact that we ended up getting buys in the Champions League mean that we got less games to play as well, which then cost us more coefficient time. Uh, 19 million pounds. As good as he is, and he looks very good. Come on now. I've been good, man. How are you? Right. Let's just see if there's any new ones in here. It does feel like Deadline Day is making a huge impact. I just want to see if there are any first teamers as well that are interested other than those. Big year needed. Yeah, but we're not going to get a big year. Uh, there's simply no way it is, it is possible for us to get a big year unless we win the Champions League. Move to Philippe Grade out. I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. It might be because of his age. But like, bear in mind, we've already lost essentially two points by not playing in those two qualifying rounds, which we had no control over. Um, that's happening, which is nice. Couple that with the fact that we're getting no help. We would basically have to reach out like, the semi-finals of the Champions League to even have a chance at getting even close to last year. That's how big it is to not have help. Such is life. Uh, are they just not... Yeah, I just don't think they're that interested, truthfully. What's the interest situation here? Contingency planning. Naughty. This is where we just go and win the Champions League after all that. I mean, I, I would take it. Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit of moisturizer. We're all good. <laughs> no, it's um, S... I don't know. Sans 24. It's really good skin for the game. Fantastic. I do be moisturizing, though, in fairness. Like, men need to moisturize more. It's good for you. I have a moisturizing routine. Wait, you just... You were wanted... God, they're so, like, crazy. Oh, no. I was always going to take it the wrong way, Tainted. It's what I do. If I see an opportunity like that, I'm on it. Like a like a greyhound. I'm up there. Uh, now, he's not wanted anymore, is he? No. Okay, that's actually okay. Let me see if I can move him to somewhere useful. Just try and do a cheeky one. It's important. Like, literally, just... Bit, I use a bit of CeraVe when I'm actually, like, washing properly. Then afterwards, once I'm all dried out, just a simple bit of, like, normal moisturizer. Morning and night. Bang. It really does help. Exactly, Anarith. Our stupid walks for our stupid mental health that I definitely am doing because it makes me feel better, right? Uh, right, so we want a team, basically, that plays either a... Oh, he's now fully comfortable there, at least, which is kind of help. It's kind of help. So we'll do... We'll find any club that's basically playing an AM. I still think he's better in that role. I want to see if we've got someone like... Good, you don't play the right tactics, do they? No. Hammer and kind of do, but they've got someone better in that role already. Although, I wonder if Hammer would take him anyway, just for depth, and he'd get a reasonable amount of game time. I feel like at Hammer and Hammer's on the op, and it's one of the clubs that I feel like could actually take him. We don't want to go to a four four two. Marsa are too shit. I don't. I just think there's no way he goes to Marsa, but we could try it. Um, Sweetie, actually, mm, that could be an option. Actually, like genuinely. Uh, what we came to with Sunday's replacement. So basically, we've got the Japanese fella, um, Ko Nagai. He's in. And we've also signed the really expensive Belgian DM, uh, who's going to be retrained, basically, Gert Gillet. That's kind of what we're doing to cover it for now. It's cost us a bit of money, obviously, but we've got money thanks to the Tony's, I suppose. 
Kissing seeing other teams. Oh, yeah. Um, you will get pretty consistent over time. Um, we're still at the early stages of building this. We're, if anything, we're ahead of the curve on that kind of stuff. So it's the real struggle in the building a nation save is getting the other teams to be good. And we've been finding it very, very difficult in this save. It's sort of been on and off. Like when we think, oh, they finally turned a corner and then they go and do what they did this year and just utterly shit the bed, you know? Let's see. I want to see if we can make this happen because this might be the best thing for Dinko Kristic. And I feel like if there's any club that it might work out at, it might be Sweetie. They don't want anyone currently, but that we knew that. Uh, wow, I've literally got rid of... There's barely any players even left. Two million pounds. Right, okay, this is where we engage that other option that I was told about. Transfer budget for the save. Uh, at the moment, I think it's about 14 million. And not that we can spend it all, but we do have that. The budget's kind of irrelevant most of the time. We normally just work to how much money we have and then allow ourselves a nice big float, essentially. Let's, uh... Let me just try a different view. I want to see if anyone's requested to leave like this who's really cheap Pashai 59k just want to check the round of 23 squad see if there's any guys in here it's just an idea I I've heard that this can help you if you get stuck in this kind of pickle no transfer list is there okay it'll be top flight squad then ironically Elvis Pashai is a guy that so basically in this situation I'm fairly certain we gave him to them years ago oh no he's kind of come through us eventually so the idea here is that we pay the money that they want for him, which is... I swear he was listed for 69,000. Am I misreading that? Let me just check. Transfer listed. Oh, he doesn't actually have a transfer list price. Yeah, we got the overpriced Belgian guy this morning. Uh, sorry, this... Yeah, technically he was this morning, right? Um, Let's try again. And then... I offer them that. Ah, shit. No. I'm an idiot. I forgot you have to offer it first. So I'll bid that. Let's see if this makes any difference. I was told that this can actually have an impact. So now we include Dinko Kristic as part of the deal. Lock it. Fuck me. No, it doesn't work. I thought maybe that would work. We've only got 30 minutes to make this happen. Yeah. Uh, the overpriced Belgian guy, uh, he's only just joined us. I said he's literally been here like two days. Uh, hasn't played any matches yet, so we have zero information on him, really. Yeah, I don't know if that's really going to be happening somehow. Yeah, Kona guy is definitely the starter. Um, and then Gillet, hopefully, if he develops the right way, is the future. And this is he. There we go, actually. There he is, in all his glory. I feel like there's a good player there. It's just going to take a little while for us to develop him. And hopefully, once he gets control of that midfield spot and can actually play in that role, I'm fairly pleased. And he's going to get better as well. Like, most of these attributes are going to go through the roof, hopefully. If he's got the potential that we think he's got, resilient personality is good, unflappable media handling style is nice. Or at least makes me more confident in our chances for him to be the guy. And in the meantime, I feel like Ko is going to do a solid job in that role, but we'll have to see. Uh, right, what is that? Record high for spending, but also... Yeah, that was a lot of money, wasn't it? Right. Central Coast Mariners want Roll Platt. Wait. Oh, Roll. Brazilian personality. Even better. The five-star potential is... Well, it's what we want, right? I mean, it might change over time, as a lot of our players do, but I'm still happy with it, right? Uh, let's see. So what do we finish on? <laughs> We're now down to minus 87, which I believe, if the numbers are correct, is 164. Is it 169? I actually can't remember what that one... We've got so far away from the number now that I'm actually losing track of what the real number is. I think it's 169. If we somehow manage to reach 255 players, that'd be incredible. Bear in mind, we only, only have 244 players at the club at the moment. Nice. I think it could be nice, yeah? Control-A loans the check. Um, You could actually, yeah. I, unless that... Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't because <laughs> oh isn't it funny um you can't select multiple players on this screen because si hate us and the only way that you can do this on the other screen is you can filter them out but you can only filter them out of your squad not the other way around uh so there's not a way as far as i know that you can select only players that aren't at club 
You can only do it where the, it hides the ones that aren't a club, not the other way around, sadly. It is, um... Yeah, one of those things. Because obviously, if we were able to select them all on that screen, we might accidentally be allowed to, like, offer loan options to all of them at the same time, rather than having to do it one by one manually. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? We wouldn't want it to be easy. Hello, Thomas! Those dwats. Okay, oh, hang on. I switched this off that screen. I was what? what? Wouldn't want to... Oh, dear. Uh, never mind. Right. Uh, who? I generally don't know who that is. Ways we, uh, it's, it just really bugs me that there isn't an extend all loan options by now. Anything new? Oh, yes. Oh, there's actually some players in there, too. Two Colombians as well. You'll love to see it. My two experience. Ah, it's true. You're right. What we need is Chelsea to get better so they become the experience we're looking for. I understand. Uh, was I really not scouting? I'd have to go national. What I'm definitely not going to do is send Mr. Jobless there. Um, it was pointed out to me that one of the best things I could have done would have been to prioritize all of Mr. Jobless's assignments. That way they get done quicker. And I think we're nearly done with them anyway now. But as it goes, that probably would have been a smart attitude for me in the first place. <laughs> if I prioritized all his squad reports. Although I find that prioritizing squad reports can be very pernickety. Hello. Hello, Jefferson. Sorry, Jefferson. He's quite good. He he has got 16 heading as a centre back in Football Manager 2024. Good on both feet. 14 jumping reach. Tackling's 13, which is okay. Me like him a lot. Reusing the next game. I don't know. Because uh, I feel like if that was the case, then we wouldn't need the skins anymore, would we? Which is why I'm going to be finding next year's game interesting. Oh, now he's finally realised. Just signing out. I probably should. I'm just going to be careful with the money. Um, I don't want to promise him anything. Tell him what to do. Uh, yeah, first team match rating. 7.3 is usually enough. There we go. <laughs> Good luck beating that, buddy. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm always just worried at this stage of overdoing it on players like this because we have a lot of... It depends on what he wants, right? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. We're not done with him yet, though. I think it might be because he's only 17, and that's just one of the things the game said. But it is annoying that it didn't say, like, at this stage or something. Because that implies that he thinks he's already too good for us. How am I running going? Um, surprisingly well, actually. Like, I've only done a few to get back into things again. But I found that I can, just from doing the walking and stuff, I can run a lot further than I was before when I first got back into things. And just really enjoying it again, really. Which is nice. Uh, right. We kind of want to go as full strength as possible here. Within reason. Or like as much as, not like full, full strength, but fairly close to it. Actually, no, Archie Brown's going to, oh shit, we don't have Archie Brown. Oh no. No, I did keep Brown in the squad, didn't I? Perhaps we're not allowed to negotiate with <laughs> it, it does, no. We go faster and further. Yeah, no, literally. Um, Normally when I'd start running again after like months off, I'd be like, oh, let's just try and get to 2k and not die, right? But then, having done some walking for a little while, I just decided to go out and I did like 6k straight off the bat. Oh, it was obviously knackering, but it wasn't like anywhere near as bad as what I was expecting. The amount of times I've had to reopen a draw. The amount, yeah, no, I find that incredibly annoying too. Um, like when you're going across multiple menus, like, like this, and you just accidentally, like that. Why does the menu go away when you do that? Shouldn't it then just go straight to this menu instead? If something, but like you'll go to this bit here and then it will just go. It's very, very annoying. But yes, I, I find it, I notice it a lot when I'm doing like team reports for the, well, for the teams. <laughs> when I'm looking at like national team squads, that one really does get on my nerves. <laughs> Divine Chicken Wings, how's it going, man? A hundred year old scout. The best part as well is that he's going to just stay a hundred now. Gilles in. Uh, we can't... He's not registered for the squad. Yeah, Jean went years ago. Uh, Jean was... Oh, Gilles... Oh, you're right. Sorry. This is not a Champions League game. I'm an idiot. So, yes. Although... Yeah, no, you're probably right. Oh, he's right footed too, which kind of helps us. Hates the player person as his little things despite us. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It is annoying that we're... Actually, no. Brando, I don't care so much about. Um, yeah, to me, you should just go back a menu, right? I, I am worried about the next game cycle because of the, the like... You are. I'm hoping that it's not going to be a problem, but I'm also concerned. Richard goal. Uh, Richard. Yeah, we probably should. We've got a lot of goalkeepers actually, don't we? The problem is Richard is. No, we can't put Richard in goal because his morale's really bad, and that is genuinely a factor. Um, having watched what 
Max showed in that video. Morale below like okay can cause a genuine massive decline in the performance. Whereas at least what Wires is on okay, so he shouldn't be affected too much. Uh casual problem. He is, but he's also really good to the point where I feel like it's almost impossible to drop him. But I guess we can put Rojas in. I'm just worried about who's gonna play the next game. But yeah, basically morale does play a huge factor. Just stop having flares in my back. So yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I really struggled to get back into running after that half marathon because of the damage I did to my back. Why not Freitas? I mean, you're right. We probably could just play Freitas, truthfully. I, I find it weird when the game, like, rotates your goalkeepers like that. It feels like it rotates our goalkeepers way too often. I wonder if it's just because their ability levels are fairly similar. Because we do want quite a strong team for this one to make sure that we can hopefully get the result. Right, I'm going to go with that and hope for the best. First debut as well for my man Gillet. I do like having Padilla being able to play in two different roles in this team. I feel like that's going to be the making of him. Uh, and they're both going to... Oh, yeah. Because Nagai can play in the next game. I will give him the number seven. Actually, show him the number six isn't available, really. Because that's kind of what he's doing for us. Number seven. Number 17 it is. It's like number seven, but with a one on the front of it. Mobile game UI. I really hope that it doesn't look too much like a mobile game. I desperately hope that it isn't going to be like standardized too much to look like a console game because it's great that it does well on the console market but don't make the pc version into the console version if anything try to do it the other way around give more features to the yes we got it nice also perez gets a goal which is nice quasi's an absolute goat again no injuries which is the key thing just getting through that game unscathed i think is the most important factor does that count as a what if that's does that count let me just check uh, club vision. The thing is, that objective from last year is no longer there. You know the silly one where it was like, win a domestic trophy that only appeared after we'd lost the domestic... Oh no, it was there, wasn't it? So that's not there this year. Let's see if that promise has counted. Because it is a domestic trophy. Uh, find low... Wait, has he already given up on that? Um, is that already gone? Yeah, but shouldn't it there? Unless it's not all sh not showing all of them. They're all just fine loan moves. Has he already forgotten about it? Okay. I guess that's our ass saved. I just thought that there was definitely a, maybe I didn't make a promise. I played for manager. Oh yeah, I played for manager. Like. I played FIFA Manager before I played FM. That was actually my jam. That's how I got into, well, sort of, into Football Manager in a way, was playing FIFA Manager. And then that obviously sort of stopped being a thing after a while. And I remember back in the day when I had it on console and you could take the disc out, put the discs for FIFA in and play the games on FIFA and then revert it back again. I mean, that that's absolutely revolutionary technology there. That's brand new tech. Did Gillet get the assist? That's good news. I mean, obviously we're not having him in that role so we can get assists, but if he gets them, great, right? Zavitz injured. Who are you? Wow, he's actually not bad, is he? Max Cup atmosphere. Now it's just dipped into the red. I've seen that happen a few times as well, actually. Oh, it saddens me so much to see Juan Martinez on this list because now Porto have finally realised that he's actually good. Christ, we chat imagine if we'd been able to get him like obviously i'd be playing him as a striker probably but oh it makes me sad that what we missed out on with juan martinez and we knew he was good as well speaking of oh god speaking of disappointment it's marathon who have yet another team that generated a player that we probably could have taken i wonder how he's getting on liverpool that was one of the blokes we missed out on yeah new contract for henry right you've got four years left on your contract so that's fine um would I like to have an extension clause in the contract? Yes, but I want to wait a little bit before we try and do that. I think we're okay for the time being. Oh, yeah, this is the thing. Imagine how good he could have been had he actually been playing over the last few years. Like, I reckon he probably has even higher potential because he's probably at, like, the highest CA he's going to get right now. But I reckon he's probably got higher potential than he actually looks like he does because he's probably missed out on so much development time. How much? How old is he, actually? He's probably, maybe he's not even that old. He's only 25, but I'd be willing to bet he's left at least 10, 15 PA on the table. Oh, if we'd had him in Marathon, man. I mean, not to suggest that we don't have some good players, but goddamn, that would have been a different level of quality. It's weird that Perez has... Sorry, Perez. It's Perez, not Perez. Has dropped back down to three stars, but 
I think he just needs some football, right? We get him some game time this year and he will generate goals. He's already got one. Gazola was a bit mixed actually at the moment, but maybe it's just because the dribbling one isn't like that. So Sunagord has got multi citizenship. Okay. Roll Platt's gone to the Gaday League, because of course he has. We're favourites against Juve. That's intriguing. That's very intriguing. What if it's readjusted us again? Watch us all of a sudden find it really easy. I, I don't think we will somehow. When they hit 30. Yes. Um, I mean, You can sort of answer your own question there, Jose. Like, right? Would you hang on to a player if you don't have a replacement for that player? Um, Like... Certain players, I feel like, will regress to a certain point where they become unplayable, but their technicals and mentals are usually so good that it can kind of do the job. So, for example, with um, Miggy Montiel from our last save, he was an absolutely amazing centre-back. At one point, he had, like, 18 pace as a centre-back, so, so much so that we'd actually play him as a wing-back occasionally. Not that that was really his role. He just developed insanely on the physical side of things. Now, that was one of the first things that went as he grew, uh, as he got older, but he was such a stalwart in that team until they, I think he was at least 35, I would say. Ah, so Basala's actually not at Juve anymore. They sold him. I remember getting a notification about this. Yeah, he's actually at Udinese now. I don't think he really got on that well at Juve. In fact, he didn't play a single minute of football for Juve, but they did make a profit. Generally speaking, though, each player is different, so it's up to you, really, when you want to move them on, I would suppose. Dribbling doesn't play mess. True. True, 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 true. Maybe that's why he doesn't like it all of a sudden. Um, What is he? Passing and vision are average. Tackling's average. He's got no left. I'm just, I'm not sure what we're doing with him now. I guess we could show him on passing just to try to work on that. Because I think of the two roles in our system, that's where he's more likely to play on the left. But I would put him on his wrong foot. And we can't improve his tackling anyway. And he doesn't really have the work rate and other factors for the other role. But bear in mind, I'm always trying to sign younger players anyway. So it's not like um, I get a player who goes to 34 and then I go, shit, I need to find a replacement because we'd have had those replacements coming through for years. Um, almost like naturally to the point where he will, either they'll stick around long enough because they're just good enough or there'll be a guy waiting in the wings. It's worth criticizing the development. Uh, I don't know if his training was bad enough. If it is, then yeah, for sure. What was his actual training rating? 6.5. It's right in that awkward area where sometimes you can get away with it and sometimes you can't. Uh, oh, I can develop his weaker foot though, but we've got to be careful. Let's try it. Okay, cool. Uh, better in training. I feel like 7.2 is fair, right? I've actually had that work a couple of times too. Like they have genuinely picked their training quality up massively. Uh, so, okay. Hibs are getting rid of people. Making a bit of cash, I guess. That's a shame, actually. He's played a lot of football for them. I'm surprised they let him go. But it might have been that they've got someone better now. What if they ever did find a player that, that they didn't want Dink Dinko for? But I'm almost kind of glad that move didn't come off because I'm not sure if Dinko playing in that... Because they only had DMs and wingers and he could play as an AM in the centre or a CM. So I have no idea where they would have tried to play him in that tactic. Right. Did I say stop? No, I'm pretty certain I clicked start developing weaker foot, didn't I? Uh, I might be wrong. Let me have a look. Uh, right. Let's see. Wait, was there a prediction there? Oh. What is the prediction? Why did it pop in my chat? I'm curious. I can't see it in my chat for some reason. Result. Oh, nice. For some reason, it doesn't pop up in the chat for me. That's really odd. It just says prediction. I'm like, what though? Uh, right. Let's see. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. You're right, I did. You're right, I did, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Mark Rodriguez says, I haven't, no. Yeah, fair one. People like predictions. Why not? Uh, right, okay. Let's see what this team's actually going to look like today. So, I want Watara there. I still think Melman, and he's got good match sharpness too, which is really helpful. Palacio's back in. He lacks the sharpness, but we need Palacio in this game, right? More than detail. Um, Yes. So I ha obviously your league's on high detail anyway. And I also have the European competition switch to higher detail too because I noticed that without it, the game uses things like reputation even more to decide outcomes of games. And that's the last thing we want, right? Uh, so I will start the guy. Honestly, who's going to play in this role? It could have to be. It might have to be Vega, honestly. Put the, the guy in because I think he'll do the job. Vida and Palacio, Espino, Rojas and Tunkara is good. The bench actually looks pretty tight. 
I feel confident with the players we've got there. Like, that is a really strong lineup. And we looked better from set pieces last time, too. Uh, let me get rid of the under-21 and under-19 squad. See, we've actually got... So that's a, even beyond the bench, with, like, Kazola. I feel like Ndoy is unlikely to come onto this team because of his, like... He's so knackered anyway. It'd be kind of weird to bring him on. Might as well use someone I can actually legitimately bring on. Right. I'm happy with that. I don't know how we're going to get on against Juve playing like this, but all we can do is try. Any weirdness in the Juve team? Luke Bentley. Got an English dude from Man City of... Co Wait, no. No, he's from Charlton. To be fair, and Doi can cover other roles, but not really anymore because he can't play... It used to make sense when he was like a... a can he cover the DM as well? But yeah, Luke Bentley was a Charlton guy. Then to City, then to Hirona, obviously. And the £30 million. Pounds. Has he got games for England? No, not quite. But there you go. Got the licks in the centre. Alex, you had a lovely Easter. How was yours? Right, let's actually get into a check. They've got Melier in there as well. All right. This is going to be intriguing. See how we get on, I suppose. I think at this point, we've just kind of got to take our medicine and hope that this season's better for us and see if we're looking a bit better statistically. But Because the fact is, over time, our squad, because we've got young players with high potential, they're going to just get better without us doing anything as far as like, we'd have to sign new players to make the squad better because they will just be growing slowly but surely each year as well, which is a nice thing to have. Jakob Nistrup in charge. Quite a lot of regens in this team. And oh yeah, they've got Triple Maker. Interesting midfield pair and Destiny Doggy. Today. Uh, we haven't actually played this is our first game today uh, in the Champions League we had a lot of transfer stuff that we were trying to figure out to finish things off and now we're actually getting our heads down and getting into some Champions League football hoping that we can put up some decent results but I am a little bit concerned but we've just got to go out there and try our best I feel like this team has got good enough players in it to make stuff happen but I feel like a lot of games are going to be quite back and forth ones with lots of goals in them but hopefully we get some chances uh, defensively 20 minutes in she looks fairly stable. We've created nothing ourselves, though, which is a little bit of a worry. At least with the possession going in Juve's favour, that's going to allow us some chances for counter-attacks, I hope. I think Palacio's lack of match sharpness, too, is possibly going to cost us in this game. But at least the f his quality is just so overwhelming that it's almost impossible to ignore at times. I want to see how the new guy... Oh, he's already on a booking, which is concerning. That's lovely football. Right, come on, use Vida. Melman? All right, that's fine. We've got bodies. Melman? Oh, dear. Wait... Oh, he scored! Kona guy on his debut. Okay, Juve nil, Sirens one. Oh, J Blocks, thank you for the follow. Not even what he's been brought into this team to do. He has been brought in to win that ball and do stuff with it and provide things for other players. But this is brilliant. Look at that. Bad touch. Bang. What a hit. Oh, get in. That's glorious. We That's very fortunate. Like we've got to take that. Yeah, where's what does Tony think about this? We lead away from home. And we've not really done much in this game, but then neither of Juve. This reminds me a lot of our old games uh, where there was nothing being created either. And that's the problem. Where unless we get amazingly lucky defensively in this game, I think it's almost impossible that we keep a clean sheet here because that's just how this tactic goes. Oh, for goodness sake. Less of that. Oh. Yeah, a goal and two yellow. He's just getting the yellows. That's what he does. Right. Relatively poor first half from us in general, actually. Uh, Juve have started to have a few shots, but mostly it seems from range. Yeah, I, I think you're right, uh, James, because he'll get tired, and also that booking is concerning to me. Although he's actually looking pretty decent right now, but we know what we're like about the 60th minute subs. Um, at least, though, they've only created 0.55 off of eight shots, none of which have been on target, which indicates to me that we're not creating, we're not giving up good quality chances anymore. Before, they'd have had that same amount off of like one shot practically. Yeah, Delict looks dead. Um, they probably will change him. But we need to play better as well. I'm not entirely convinced by us yet. Yeah, he probably has... Delic must be, f what, 34, 35 by now? Maybe even older. 36. Um, to be fair, natural fitness is still very high. And he's actually not bad physically. I think maybe he was just tired from another game. Right. Okay. Second half. Same, same thing again. We make the... Oh, do you have four stamina? Oh, I thought... Yeah, sorry, the natural fitness and stamina, that would explain it. Right, Vegas struggled a little bit. The strikers have struggled a little bit. We're going to like 50... We go to 60 minutes, like we do always. That's when the first stream of subs happen. Yeah, Juve are finding a bit of... um. Yeah, look at things like that. That's a... 
it's a it's a sickener when you see it but it's just one of those things in the game unfortunately oh, i think they've given a bit of, we've given them a lot of space in the midfield here unfortunately right come on get a toe in please tackle please somebody oh this is the goal this is just the goal isn't it oh it should have been it probably should have been honestly that was a chance we're getting very fortunate here i think after this play i'll make the changes i'm always scared of them but like there's only so long you can keep you've got to keep players on the pitch to a certain point oh my one with the flick on it's diaz oh, that's a shocking part the pass was brilliant that should have been a chance we should have done much better with that opportunity there the ball is round nevish i actually don't know who that is is he good are we about to get screwed by this love the press but they are playing through it. Oh, that's poor. Melman. He's got Vida for support. Oh, that's a penalty. I think that was in the box. Because remember, we got one of these given against us last year where we thought it was outside the box, but it was actually in. I think he was actually in the box when the penalty took place there. Come on. No. Oh, that must have been fucking close. Oh, we're not even going to see the highlight. Right, okay. So the guy's going to come off now. I'm going to get Ka Pierre in. I know that he's not perfect for the role, but he actually has okay attributes in that position. Um, Motang just seems to do well statistically. He deserves a run. Henry's been poor, which means it's time for Pere uh, sorry, Perez. Not even a booking is actually insane. Um, that, that's a tackle from behind. That has to be a yellow. Diaz has done well. Vega's done a bit tiredness, but I feel like Cazorla's not really the man I want, particularly on the wrong foot like that. I don't want to overdo it with the subs. Although, Rojas... And Espino look a bit tired, and he's on a booking. I'd be tempted to maybe get Paez in. I don't want to bring on Kadri unless I have to, because of his... Uh... Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to get better at it, Inferno. Uh, we'll put Tunkara to the left-hand side, so that Paez is on his stronger foot, at least. And Tunkara can play on both sides. The yellow card is a little bit annoying, but I want to make sure we save that further sub. I still think we don't win this game. But if we don't lose the game, I'd say a point away at Juve would be a good point for us. I'm a little bit worried about Vega. He might be like a 75th minute sub. Just to get someone like Kazola in there in case he can open things up for us. Oh, no. Offside, I think. Yeah, okay. It's not going to be given. We're okay. For the time being, anyway. Um, <laughs> top quality goalkeeping there from Freitas. Don't know what he was doing there. He sort of went, eh. So far, Freitas, though, has looked very good in the games he's played. Um, in those two games against... Lu oh, it's a replay. Wait. Oh, he's offside. That looked a bit sus to me. I don't think he was... It looked to me like the guy that was offside wasn't interfering in any way. Such is life. That's a bit of a sickener, honestly, for them. We take those. Yeah, that was lucky. Uh, right, I'll bring Kazola on and then swap him and um, Kamga over. Right. 85 is where we try to sort of start the shutdown if it happens. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at this low... Oh, yes. No. Why is he past that? There was literally... He has a short free kick on there. Oh, I swear to God, if we concede off this. Go on. Yeah. Oh, no. Shit. Penalty now. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know why he doesn't play that short. We literally have a short free kick for that exact reason. For those little openings like that. And I can't believe he doesn't take the easy pass. Oh. Yeah, I'm worried that this has got more to it. And given how far up Juve have pushed here. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Diaz with the push through. He's got support. He's going to have to shoot. He squares it for Melman. It's 2-0 to Sirens. And we lead in Turin by two goals to nil. Yes. What a pass from Diaz. Actually, not just Diaz. This whole play. Look at these little spins. Perez links it up. Per Sorry, Perez links. Look at this from Diaz. The fact that he actually passed it there. Hang on. I think I made a change to the tactic and I may not have mentioned it. I want to remember. I want to just check if I actually did this or not. Oh god, did I make that change? I did. I don't think I had this on this before. I added shoot less often to the, the to the deeper trek for that exact reason. I'm fairly certain I didn't do that on stream. I can't remember what it was. It was either the back end of last season or in the window when I was just messing about because I was worried about situations like that. I'm still not sure we've got away with this yet because we've got an insta highlight from the kickoff. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, also, by the way, that guy that put the cross in there, Prunea, that's the uh, Romanian guy that we nearly signed in the summer. Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah, we're going to give away a penalty in a minute, aren't we? <laughs> or some nonsense. Unfortunately, I was going to shut it up, but now we've got 
Another highlight. Time to park it. Yeah, that's not really how it works, though, is it? Um, we can't park it in the middle of the highlight. And Oh, my God. We got away with that one there. Right, come on. Clear it, lads. Now I can try to park it. Well, not park it, but change the instruction slightly. Right, here we go. All right, first step. That goes until 90 minutes. Six minutes of stoppage time. Right, then we do the next step. And then we have to hope that that sees the game out. We don't really have an option to bring off the bench to try to put a DM in or something. Get in! Fortunate. Like, they created most of their XG in the final minutes of that game, but still, we get the win. Juve 1, Sirens 2, Nagai with a brilliant goal. Melwin, thanks for that lovely pass. We rode our luck. Uh, but that what I would say is I feel like Freitas is genuinely looking quite decent. Like, he made a mistake for that goal for me, but I feel like I feel quite stable with him in the net making the simple saves. He doesn't feel like he's going to make those stupid ones. Lucky but great. Yep, you know what? It is. Um, but we take that. Sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of that rather than going the other way. Oh. That was always going to be a tough game. Honestly, even if we were at the stage where we were a few years ago, that was still going to be a tough game. So... That's really nice to see. The giant Mimir! Thank you for the 23 Nearly two months. Years. I'm what starting to hang the decorations for the party. As you should. It's bring a bottle. You love to see it. That's good. And it's money for us too, which is going to pay for some of those transfers. I, yeah, I mean, it's not fair. I think Juventus should have won that game in the end, but... When you actually look at the chances they created, the one they scored shouldn't have been a goal in the sense that our goalkeeper should just collect, collect that. Right? So... But they should have had one in the end anyway, because that one where there was a mess in our box, they got a little bit messy towards the end there. They definitely pushed bodies at us, which I think teams are obviously going to do when they're losing late on like that. So massively taking that. Two assists for Diaz as well. What a performance from him in that role. Two key passes and they both led to goals. Result being qualified to knock us. Oh, we'd lose easily. <laughs> we just would. Uh, probably 3-0, most likely. We take her. We take ours, Exactly. Like, I'll always call it out when we're lucky, right? Otherwise, I feel like if you don't call out when you've been lucky, you don't really get to complain when you get unlucky. Um, here he is at Rangers and has been the entire save, actually. 14 caps for Turkey, 34 years old now. Still got another year left on his contract at Rangers. Maybe he has an extension in there. Not that we'd know, obviously. Ah. Oh. He's been very consistent. Like, just a consistent performer for Rangers this entire save. Getting, a, getting five in it. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting when we do eventually play Barcelona again at some point, Tony Sunday, despite not being a goal-scoring player, will definitely score against us. It's just... It is inevitable, you know? Whenever a player... Especially when it's a player that you don't want to sell as well. That's what makes it worse. Uh, well, we don't care about Europe, unfortunately, because we've got no other teams in it. Such is life. We're, we're going to have a very selfish year this year. Thomas... I thought his name was Thomas Pillock then, but we're going to scout him just for that. He's actually playing for them. I suspect that he probably is. Although, admittedly, they've only played one. They gave him a star player contract, which might have been a mistake on their part. But so far, he's already played a league... No, two league games for them. Oh, dear. Makes me sad. What could have been? But he's going to look real silly when he doesn't win a Champions League and Gert Gillet wins one. So... I, I can't wait to rub it in his face. Not that it's even really his fault, but he could have said no. Like, he could have said no. Team got weaker. Uh, yes. Well, no. In fact, yes, it has. Uh, because Tony, without Tony, we are just inevitably going to be weaker for a bit until we can sort of build up other players to take that role. And that's going to take time. It's like when we lost Julia, but not quite as severe. Should we check happened to be biggest issue? Oh, yeah, I saw that, I think. Let me just check. Mr. Sunday left. Yeah, well, the board sold him. Oh, Damn. That's incredible. I never, I've never had this happen in any of my Building a Nation saves. I've never had another team reach the final of the Champions League. Challenge midfielder. Say what they want indeed. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tony could have chose to stay. So it's still on him at the end of the day. But I don't entirely blame him. I blame the board. And with that, But then again, we did just win without Tony away at Juve. And the guy that we signed to be the temporary replacement did score the winner. No, no, sorry. The, uh, the go-ahead goal. You know? And the fact that you lost them is even funnier. Lose Sunday, probably. It is a mere setback. That's the way I'm looking at it. Um, I feel like Gert Gillet could be maybe as good. I don't know. And, I mean, the guy looks good. He did the job. He had a good performance in that game. I think he was... I liked his pressure. His The way he was pressing teams reminded me a bit of Tony. But I think he might actually have better technical ability as far as, like, from a forward perspective of Tony. So we might see more goals and assists out of the guy than we got out of Tony. But he won't be as good from the 
pure defensive keeping the game ticking over type of thing which is understandable it would be nice to find like a proper new tony though like what we basically need is another random nigerian that's just ridiculously good and he could be the new tony uh tony was five star pa he was actually four and a half star ca as well so i dread to think how high his ca actually was and i honestly don't want to think about it because it makes me sadder tony two yeah we need tony two precisely yes um points if he's called tony we just look for any dm called tony that guy's actually keeping his uh value well not value he's like oh hello this one doesn't normally produce players we'll scout them anyway for the memes nope uh we've the the deal with tony is a weird one uh because it was like there is some stuff in there but they're like one of them's like when he plays 50 league games although i think he might actually get those games for us in fairness because we actually only got 29 million up front um okay bacchiano see this is what you can do when you're not in europe in it <laughs> bloody hell good you aren't hanging about neither is zoran sturm just seems Wait, I think every single player that scored on this match day, ah, uh, except for the matter. Every single player that scored there was literally a former Sirens guy. Okay, when's the next game? It's like a week away. Right. So this is rotation. I might rotate manually. Honestly. Was it three pens? Jesus. I'm going to do Perez here and Quasi here and then Padilla here. And then we'll go with... We want at least people that are better. I'll start Camera and Lend. And then we'll start Gert. Biography from the 2018. I don't believe so, no. Their biography should be from the moment the player gens. In fact, some of them have got biographies when they're not even around yet, technically. Like, it'll tell you what team they were poached from sometimes. We'll start... Uh... Am I missing him? There he is. Start Gert there. I feel like doing it manually means I get a much better decision tree essentially uh palacio archie brown tunkara has got a knock which is less than ideal we'll start pires yeah three penalties is a bit much isn't it uh oh i think you can play that too wow we are a bit light in that um cadrian as well then rob hilton is still here this is true in fact rob hilton might be the perfect man for this job his sharpness is low but his morale's actually I just have to keep playing Kadri, right? Roy is not here yet. He will be here in one month's time. We're getting close to an imminent Roying. Let me just um, clear the bench. And then let them pick whoever they want for the bench. That gets the best options there, at least. Right. Okay. Zabar with a lot of good players, actually. This team should be get... This should be big enough to beat them, but... I don't want to hurt them around too much, particularly with the game against Frankfurt, who I feel like are one of the few winnable games we've got in this group. But admittedly, we've already won one. Yeah, it's 21st of um, October is when Roy joins us. So, again, two more goals for Quasi. Another goal for Perez. It's good. An assist for Padilla. Kadri with an assist as well. Nice. I wonder if those assists for that role are coming because they're winning the ball in high up positions. And ah, that's unfortunate. It looks like Krastev's going to get some game time at least. But he looks strong defensively. We're not really conceding very much. And I wonder if Freitas is having a an impact on that. Unfortunately, I think Roy is going to be long long gone as far as managing in this save. Although, imagine if he wasn't. Could I interest you in Owen Dodgson? He's nearly Roy Hodgson. Owen Joel Dodson, I'll give you. Like, how old would Roy even be? I think Padilla's just... He's just getting there, right? He's slowly but surely he's being welded into the team. And the fact that he can play in two positions is super helpful because it just means more opportunities for game time for him. Very few players have that. Holy. First probably for Liverpool. Yeah, he's... He would be the best player in our team in probably every position. He's basically Tony Sunday, except he can pass. Tony's passing wasn't that bad, but... How much does he cost you? Two million quid. Hot damn. So this is a scout. Really? To be fair, I remember once having Jurgen Klopp as my chief scout on my Sassuolo save for whatever reason. Very strange. Uh, that's a good performance. See what Roy's up to. Ilano, thank you for the 16 months. How the devil are you, my friend? How is your choose that? Right, we go with that. Liverpool FC to Sirens to Liverpool, which means he must go back to Sirens or a team called Sirens. Just not you, apparently. 
Uh, also, there was a message in the Discord. I didn't get a chance to respond to it this morning, but it was, a dude, it was to do with stadium packs and people saying that they couldn't get the stadium pack to work with the save they were doing. And I wonder if it's because in this version of the database, the Maltese clubs have got stadiums that have been built, built specially for them in some of them. And I wonder if that's part of the factors. Hello, Harv. You are. You're just the middleman from Liverpool to Liverpool. Or Liverpool or Rome, you know? Rotterdam or anywhere. Uh, okay. It's hard to tell how the league's really shaping up this early. Flora probably... Did I just give that to Mr. Jobless accidentally? I hope not. If not, I don't think we can... We can afford to lose that one. Any Leslie Nielsen? I hope so. Did I just tried to... Nes I was about to type in Nesley Nielsen. What is typing? In fact, there are any Leslies in general. There's an Andre Leslie, Kean Leslie, but no Andre, no proper Leslies. Thank you, Milano. I'm busy. <laughs> um, the biggest thing Harv was the board selling Tony Sunday. Um, so we've been pretty much flapping around for the last sort of stream and a half, just trying to replace him, pretty much. Not that that's really worked, but we've got something. <laughs> Trank Freepin. <laughs> Anyone at the big floor? No. Nope. Right. That's fine. God, those games are close together. What, what's the favourite situation like for this one, too? So we are heavy. Fa well, not heavy favourites, but it's fairly heavy. Uh, he went for 44 million half, um, which, while good, is still annoying because we obviously can't replace him. But at least the guy that we've got to sort of fill the hole at the moment is doing okay and has scored on his debut. It's a bit late now, but we can at least get him on the dev list for red for next window. But I mean, yeah, indeed. Um, but bear in mind, we don't get to keep most of that money because our transfer ret retention is actually really low. Any kind of wild shit in here? Chelsea with a win. FC Midland just beat Bayer Leverkusen, continuing the random German decline in this save. See Mr. Sunday. Uh, yeah. Normally do, we have like player lookups and stuff for that, but like, you know what? Fuck it. There he is. Yes, his passing wasn't amazing, but it didn't really need to be, did it? He's very good. And as you can, I'm assuming, understand, replacing a player of this kind of quality is just simply not possible when you're a team from Malta, right? <laughs> Seems like he's not actually starting every game for Bayern, but that's uh, for Bayern, for Barca, but he's playing at least. With Sligo Rovers, nice. Sligo were a really fun team in the Ireland building a nation just because they were the team that lost their entire loan farm in one season because they lost him. Gets some extra money to the club. Uh, well, I mean, I don't, you don't get to decide that, do you? Um, your board decides what the retention is. We, we're not... We don't... Hang on. What? As far as I'm aware, you don't control how much transfer budget goes into your transfer budget. That's decided by, decided by the board, right? Unless you know a way. Yeah, Pernandez... But Mr. Jobless rated him. Yeah, but the problem is if Mr. Jobless rated him, that means he's probably shit. <laughs> he's not horrendous, honestly. Can I ask him to increase it? Yeah, you can. But like... Most of the time they say no... And also, do I really want to waste a board request on that? Especially as, like, how much difference does that really make to us? Our transfer budgets are massive at the moment anyway. And I don't think it really makes that much difference. Uh, what we do need to do, though, is... Oh, wait. Basically, we're at that annoying situation now where our... Um... It's that, isn't it? Let's try. Um... Basically, we're in that annoying position because our training facilities are now maxed out, but our youth facilities are only 16. What that means, though, is that we're not going to be able to upgrade our youth facilities until our training facilities downgrade, because FM's stupid like that. <laughs> yeah, we're still, unfortunately, two and a half stars, so we can't get another affiliate club yet, which is a pain. I, I think we just need something to happen, right? It went kaboom. Christ, how did that happen, Quinn? Uh, yeah, if they won't let you increase one of the facilities, you have to wait for them, one of them to be downgraded, and then you get the option to upgrade both. It's super dumb. Um, which is why I, generally speaking, try to upgrade my youth facilities faster than my training, but the, the disparity was just too much. That's the only way that you can do that. It's been in the game for years. Going to go for uh, youth ratings in higher youth rating countries. Well, I I'll go for a youth rating. I I'll go for an affiliate club in wherever we're allowed to. And at the moment, we're not allowed an affiliate at all. And when we are, it's only Malta. But once we get three stars, then we can have a youth intake... Uh, sorry, a youth an affiliate outside the country. Um, via board request. Uh, what do you mean via board request? Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't sure exactly what you were referring to from the conversation. Um, but yeah, so 
once we can get one it'd be great but we can't at the moment and we'll just have to see who they actually realistically allow us to have because it can usually be pretty uh upgrading youth yeah yeah um that's how you upgrade it but like you if it's if it's not showing up if your training facilities are maxed out you then have to wait for them to degrade it's so stupid but that's how it works blue skin's gonna shit really well that's not ideal um that it might still be like redeemable but i'm just curious as to why that is basically every country yeah they pretty much do uh homie so that kind of leaves us in a position where bear in mind it's not just youth rating you want you want clubs with good youth rating so you want a higher youth level sorry good youth recruitment at the club and also high reputation as a tiebreaker but that's really what you're looking for the game is quirky is one way to describe it i suppose um right i still want to start a guy I feel like Kamga's passing is good enough that I can get away with playing him in this role because I just feel like Vega seems to get carried a lot with this team. Vida Palacio, Espino, Rojas, Tuncara. Who's now... Yeah, Palacio's getting there. Watara and Quasi. No. Um, Melbourne struggled a little bit last game and it might be starting to come to the end of Melbourne's prime in this team. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, okay, wow. Oh, they've got an Afghan goalkeeper. That's amazing. Omatari Niazi? Holy shit, 50 caps for Afghan... That's amazing! Why can't we get an Afghan goalkeeper? That'd be dope. Okay, intriguing. I feel... What I would say is, given that we beat Juve away from home and we're very fortunate, I have a horrible feeling that we're in for an absolute troublesome one here. Same time with the same. Ah, it just takes a while to get them, Render, right? Um, plus, with England, you've got more limitations on who you can sign and from where. You know? He played well. I mean, what was his rating in the last game, actually? We can have a look. Maybe I'm being too harsh on him. He got a 7.2, but he was struggling before the goal came in. That's what I would say. Wasn't he on like a 6.5 before he scored the goal? Um, But he, he was in the right place for it. So I can't deny him that. But he was sort of struggling a little bit until that goal went in. But hey, he scored the goal, right? But that was mostly Diaz. I'll, I'll be live till 3 o'clock. Max, you can go. Oh, you can go as long as you like. It's the beauty of it. Is Shallow playing? You're right. Where is Shallow? Huh. Maybe he doesn't start for them. They spent a lot of money on him, didn't they? Right. Okay. Let's go. If we can go two for two here, that'd be really nice. But Latra Gold State. Oh, nice, Bev. I finally beat Gold Stake on Saturday and I was drunk. I got back from the pub on Saturday afternoon. I was like, right, I'll put the full game on one monitor and it was turgid for a lot of it. So I was, um, yeah, the goalkeeper's Afghan. And then I beat Gold Stake. I was so happy. I got a really nice synergy. It was just a really nice weekend as well. It was perfect like beer garden weather. It was in the UK anyway. Particularly on yesterday and Saturday. And I did indeed spend most of it sat outside the pub and it was nice. Well, deck, that was the checkered deck. And that was the one I had the highest sort of progress on because it's so easy to get flushes. But you still have to make the synergies around it, right? And to do with no malt or malt malts. Oh. To me, that was, the thing that was really getting me was the prices of the packs. Beer garden weather. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, on Sunday, it was pretty nap. I was, it was basically just bedrock for me on Sunday. But Saturday was great. Saw some friends at the pub. Saw some more friends at the pub on Monday. It was nice. It was supposed to be shit here yesterday as well. It just wasn't. It was gorgeous. A friend of mine nearly concussed himself before we even left the house. It was, it was good times. Yeah, I find checkered can be the easiest. Um, I've got some others fairly high. As well. The one I've really not done that much on is the, the one with the random cards. Drink enough anywhere. That's true. Anywhere's a beer garden if you're brave enough. And if there's beer in it. Right. Oh, hello. Go on. An early corner goal would be exactly the remedy that we're looking for. And we. Oh my God. How did we not score there? But that's good signs. Because this is what I was on about. How if we can improve our set piece delivery, uh, not delivery, sorry, set piece setup, just getting the extra goal occasionally could really save us in certain games in Europe. And that's the sort of scenario where you really do need it to go in. But. Goalkeeper's done really well there. Oh, first win of Blatro. Um, oh, ooh, best tip I could give is... Don't be afraid to skip and take the tags. Where's the goal gone? Uh, because of the... It hides it for some reason when they do the, like, the goal line technology stuff. Right, back post this time. Clear the way. Prioritize Molt, yeah. And once you start getting like anti-5, anti-6, if you can get a bit of Molt Molt, then it's good times. Oh, hello. Go on, Palacio. He's through. Whips it across. And it's the same goal that we scored, against, that we conceded against Juve, but Paul liked, gives us the lead. 
Bellatro is probably the fav my favorite game that's come out this year. Maybe even the last year and a half, truthfully. It is perfect. Yeah, Spectral Packs are great early on, especially if you've not got a lot of Jokers and you can get like a Hex card or the one that... Yeah, Hex card especially. That's so unlucky. There's three Eintracht Frankfurt players there about to bundle that into the net. Making this stuff up. It's... It, it probably is about... Do you know what, Banksy, right? It's probably exactly what we sound like talking about football managers to people that have no idea what FM is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I reckon that's how we sound. It's like those videos of people speaking English, but they're not actually speaking English. They're what English sounds like to non-English speakers. Yeah, pla yeah chat. the reason I like the plasma deck is because the chips are kind of fun. Uh, right, we lead. We've created some stuff early on. This is good news. And look at the set pieces. Like, we're actually getting some set piece opportunities in this game. Watara. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, Christ. It's like an odd man rush here. Saw enough of this watching the Avs Predator game at the weekend. Oh, good save. Molt for life in it. <laughs> like Simlish. Yeah, exactly. Flap Yes, Yeah, Stuntman. Oh, this is... Oh, I was going to say, I wouldn't even be upset if we conceded that. That was some nice football they were playing in our box there. That was a good chance for our track Frankfurt, but we look fairly stable, I would say. I'm wondering if we could maybe do with a second man back on set pieces from time to time, though. <laughs> Creativity looks okay. Um, we've not given up a lot at the other end, which is nice. One little chance on the breakaway there, but that's good. I wouldn't. I mean, it is open play, but it's sort of a unique situation, I suppose. It looks like they're going to try and play it slow out from the back. That's fine. We can make the most of that. I'm pleased. Like, Frankfurt are not a bad side, but remember, these guys won the Europa League last year, and they beat Bayern in the final to win it. Now, I know Bayern are not what they used to be in this save, but there's clearly quality in this Frankfurt side. So they're not they're not a muggy team by any means. Uh, no, we're still at two and a half star rep at the moment. Oh, please, don't just let him do something silly here. Oh, that was nice again. That was nice football, but we limited them to a still, what is, generally speaking, a fairly low quality chance in the end, although they do seem to go in an FM quite a lot. But that's the sort of chances I don't mind us giving up. So the ones I don't want to see is the ones where they're like clean through the middle of our defense or like annoying set piece goals. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Um, I thought they might have got the goalkeeper got a little touch on that, but no. Oh Christ. Oh, they're having these sort of, these kind of chances and they're okay really. It's not the end of the world. They will go in from time to time though, which is why we need to make sure that we make the most of our attacking threats ourselves because we haven't really done that well ourselves either. Melman's struggled again, but he's not done as poorly. Diaz again has been brilliant. The wingbacks look a little bit better. They're just waiting for a banger, right? Okay, we go again. Please, but I feel like we need to just offer a little bit more in this game. And I feel like... Remember even Melman for Padilla might even be a change I'd make here. Because it's still looking a bit... Like, we're the better team. But I just worry in situations like this if we're not going to capitalise on it properly. And that can always be a costly moment for us. If we're in a two-goal lead, I'm absolutely sold. Oh, well played, Vida. It's taken two men on. Can he kill it? The game! Melman! Do you know what? All I need to do, chat, is just criticise Melman, and then he goes and does things. <laughs> All I've got to do is doubt him. And he's like, how dare you? That one's for the doubters. What was the prediction sort of break breakdown for this game? Because I didn't actually see... That was brilliant from Vida as well. This is classic Vida Xenia. Melbourne makes the run. He's into the spot. It's a beautiful finish as well to find the side netting. I haven't played Bingle Bingle. I've watched... Um, there's a YouTuber I watch called Scooty. Or Scootle. No, Scooty. I think it's Scooty. And he plays all those sorts of games. Uh, he was. I was watching a claw grabby one on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, the casino game roguelite industry seems to be thriving right now. <laughs> but the only one I've really played is Bellatro. Just because I want to actually, like, get my money's worth out of it and really because i'm just enjoying it so damn much they believed us and they were right to um i think now vega comes in the guy's not on a booking and he's not looking too tired either archie brown can do the job diaz i think now could do with the rest and now it might be a time for a bit of padilla and vida's looking a bit tired as well but this is why we have krastev not and doy 108 hours wow that's a lot i only have i only have getting on for 100 <laughs> But I must admit, it's my go-to thing when I just need to chill, kill some time, listen to a podcast or something. Like, after stream, I usually play it um, once I'm done mopping up stuff and just kind of... Just like a wind-down thing, almost. Oh, go on, Henry. Keep going, bud. Oh, pulls it back. Padilla? That was really nice. Almost slightly overplayed there from us. But once again, it created a really nice opportunity. I've been so happy with how we've set up in this game. Defensively, we've been fantastic. 
on the attacks. We've taken our moments when they've been there without overdoing things. Just really, really, really pleased with this. If we go two for two here, oh, go on, Melbourne. Ah, he's offside. <laughs> Stuff, oh, you know what I'm mopping up. X Fire, was it going to do 200 hours of FIFA Manager? Oh, right. That's. What's X Fire? Am I missing something? <laughs> you know exactly what it is, half. Well, that's the thing, yeah. So, for example, when I'm doing like a lot of Sims and stuff for FM videos and stuff, when I'm working on things, I'll just play Bellatro on the other monitor because what else am I going to do, right? Uh, if the script's already written, that's going to be a penalty as well. Past that, true. Whole floor is just covered in Tagliatelli. Steve before Steve. Oh, hang on, yes. Yes, I remember that now. Because it was something to do with the A, was it not? It was like before Origin was a thing. Right, who's taking our pens these days? Is that Padilla? No, it's with Henry Rotara. Go on, bud. Oh, it's easy. 3-0 to Sirens. This has been a very good start to the Champions League group. Now, bear in mind, we've had good starts so far in other seasons in Europe, but I really like the way we're setting up. Like, we look strong in attack, strong in defense. Genuinely look really, really tasty. Like, six points on the board in our first two matches is lovely. A set-piece goal would go wouldn't go and miss either that would be really nice and this time we do get it it's archie brown of all people with his first goal for sirens it becomes four nil Whew. this is what i mean now this set piece goal doesn't really matter that much because it's a it's a fourth goal in a four nil win right now but it's good for the goal difference and sometimes we're gonna get chances like this where it really does matter where it's the difference between a two one defeat and a two all draw or winning and losing and i think that's what's going to allow us to progress but surely there isn't more that's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of like what we did with Crop back in the day. Oh. We're looking... I I'm actually really intrigued by this. I was worried when I saw how we were playing at times against Juve, but we got through the tough game, and that's really nice. And the guy, again, has had a really strong performance. He's just done the simple things. Padilla coming through. Fans are so... Oh, Watara over the bar this time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. Right. Team that's never wanted for even better. Bit of Outcaster Icons. Oh, wait, that's like an Outcaster Icons Pentagon. That's insanely tough. Fair play. That was really good. That's the kind of performances I'm liking to see. Also, Padilla was man of the match. He only came on in like the 60th minute. <laughs> he got an assist and three key passes from being on the pitch for... Literally, <laughs> he only played half an hour. <laughs> But it does. This is an absolutely brilliant song, isn't it? It's also nice to see us break down a team that plays a very similar shape to us. I felt like before we would really struggle against teams like that. That's great news. Freitas keeps another clean sheet. Arsenal got two red cards. Hot damn. We're second in the Champions League. Two wins out of two. We got a win that we expected to. I feel like I would have expected us to beat Eintracht Frankfurt. But it shows that we're capable of beating the team that wins the Europa League. So there's that. Villarreal feels winnable. Leon feels winnable. Stad Rene feels winnable. I reckon we've got 15 points in us. Truthfully. Uh, now that we've got that running against Juve, I think 15 points is not beyond us. And then it's, the other games is just a question of like complete free hits, right? Although Villarreal did just beat Ajax 5-1. And we are away from home there. That could be a little bit more complex than maybe I gave it credit for. Either way, we've got a little bit of a rest now, which is perfect because it means that we can get some of the other guys up to match sharpness. Oh. The thing is, Bayern won't be winnable, and you know it. it. Because when you have a team that's playing really badly like Bayern are over the last God knows how long in this save, you just know for a fact that... Oh, good. When you kind of play them, they'll just be prime Bayern. It just seems to be how it always is. Um, right. Okay, that's good. Tashi, God, that game's so close. But that's fine. Get a few wins there. I think it's international break after that, which should give us a chance to... Get a couple of friendlies in. Keep it going. Good morning, Zuma. Five all between Ludogorets and Celtic. What a game. Uh, Southampton are in the Europa League chat. Um, last year, we had Norwich in the Europa League. This year, Southampton are in the Europa League. Well, okay, then. Um, that means I once again head to the England who the hell got into Europe and why. Check up to find out how the hell that happened. So, Man City won the league. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United... Tottenham, Southampton came seventh. So Norwich nowhere to be seen, by the way, despite reaching the semi-finals of the uh, 
Europa League last year. Didn't manage to repeat that fate, sadly. Right. Very strange. Anything mad in the Conference League? Are Sigma actually, like, kind of good? At least Sigma won their first game. Also, was that a guy from Uipest? Yes. Milan Klaus has 10 goals already. Are they even still in it, or did they get knocked out? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think they must have got knocked out as well, but Bro did manage to score 10 goals, so we take that. Oh, dear. Wow, that's a lot of players. Ah, Chibatbred's back in the San Marino squad. Pro oh, God, Freitas is into the Portugal squad. Did I give him a... No, okay, good. He doesn't have a clause. We're all right. Only 40. Yeah, I think it's because it's like... It comes in staggered sets, I think. Lots of lower players going in the under-21s for Malta, which is cool. Anyone in the full? Yeah, Vida, Matthew Said, Abba, Alfred, Nuno, Rocha, Jairo, Collard, Edemar, Erling, Dimek, Vla, Key, and... Oh, Key as well. Marius Key's now Maltese too. And then ben Benjamin Piaggio. Just a small amount. And they've said no. Um. Okay. Fair enough. So now we get 40% of transfers. Maltese national team. They're still Gash. Uh, no, Roy joins in October. He joins us literally one month from today. But... I don't think this guy's going to have anyone... Ah, it's also Egypt's going to be so expensive. Yeah, the Maltese national team is still horrendous, but they're getting better. Weirdest winner of any competition? Um... I don't know, actually. The... The main big European ones have been fairly boring, I think. Like, when you look at it... Oh, no. Actually, no. Benfica. That, that's that's an easy answer. Benfica. When Benfica won the Champions League, that's easily the weirdest thing that's happened in this save, as far as the major tournaments, anyway. Like, Porto have won a couple of Europa Leagues in there, too. Um, yes. Oh, Servetta, actually. Servet winning the Europa Conference League is pretty impressive. But I think nothing really chance Benfica winning the Champions League. <laughs> which is not the first time that's happened in one of my saves. They happened in, like, the first season of the Treaty United save, which is wild. Oh, Ecuador doing well in the World Cups, too. Yeah. Ecuador got to, like, the uh, semi-finals of the last two World Cups in a row. No, no, you're not going to be missing Roy. He joins us on the... He joins us one month from today. It's officially the Roy Evolution can begin. Any new stuff? Oh, yeah, there is. Hello. Wow, that's quite a lot of guys, actually. Ooh, two from South Africa as well. That's always nice. It means potentially affordable. Now, I don't know how many guys we're going to lose to AFCON this year, actually. Less than uh, it was last time, I suppose, because no Tony Sunday. Yeah, they come fourth, didn't they? So Cape Town Spurs, was that not counting? To be fair, Cape Town Spurs don't always... Have they even got that good youth recruitment? They're okay, actually. Not normally a team I focus on that much, but fair enough. Good for them. They've just... Whoa! That's good for them, indeed. The height worries me a little bit. Jumping reach might be quite low, too. And then... What is this? <laughs> Brent Nshele. Okay. Good tackling, and he's a wing back. He might be an intriguing prospect, honestly. Is there any more? No, it's just those guys, right? Yeah, fair enough. Everton player on a youth contract. Uh, which one? Hang on, was it one of the guys in here? One? Oh no, hang on. My bad. Uh, he... no, he's not. Weirdly, surprisingly, he's not on a youth contract. No, he's just on a normal contract. He's just very cheap. Uh, is Everton in the championship again? I don't know. If Tony... That would be kind of hilarious if Tony did get, like, a massive injury. I would never wish it upon him, but I wouldn't say no if it happened, right? Any kind of mad shit going on there? This should be a relatively straightforward win for us. Because we've got how long till... Yeah, there's no more, like... Li Roy will literally be at the club before we even play Villarreal, which gives us loads of time to sort this stuff out. I <laughs> Just stop talking. I just hear, I keep fucking dads. I will play... Actually, no, I'll play whoever my assistant wants for this game. But I will dump in our boy. He really likes Vega, doesn't he? I'll get Gert in again. Because the best way to get him acclimatised to that role... Oh, he's nearly there already. Is to get him playing games. Particularly in games where it doesn't matter so much if we don't um, do amazingly. Uh, I do still want good goalkeeper, though. That'll do for the time being. That'll do... Also, getting Perez games is going to be really, really useful. Because I still feel like he could accidentally... Not even accidentally. I reckon he could bang like 20 goals for us this season, just randomly. Uh, get a bit of that. Hopefully that's all gone through. The loophole, not again! Royce and Roy Galvin. Well, 
some have said that he is the reincarnation of Roy. Good lord! See, this is why I feel like we've got um, better with some of the way that we play now. Uh, so Quasi gets a hat trick, as does Gonzalo Diaz, and two goals. Gert gets another assist. Two ass two goals from Vida. No, no assists. Yeah, we take those. Nine one. That, remember that red card as well was <laughs> in the sixtieth, the eightieth minute. We were already like seven goals up at that point. Yeah, we take that. That's more like it from us. Quasi's done well. Yeah, Gert's in. Red card. Ch he changed the game. Well, he did. He changed it from, what was it, 8-1 to 9-1. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. That's the kind of results I feel like we should have been getting before. And that just going a little bit more aggressive in these games. Bear in mind, this was a fairly rotated team in many ways. Is exactly what we needed. Just being able to do that, that's dope. Right, we'll have a little game against... <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to play Tarshin again. <laughs> I am determined to bury them after that. Uh, and there was me about to go for a pee break for, but now I know that I can't because this will have to play the entire way through and I can't put this, I can't put up with this with the whiz quiz. Was that really our biggest win? Jesus. That was literally our biggest win in the league anyway. Surprises me a little bit. Bruno Silva. Fiona! Thank you for the follow. Let me get that one sorted as well. Probably could even do two friendlies in here. It can't be done, handsome. I will hold it for as long as I need to, which is, let's face it, quite long because this song's like five minutes long. Do it count? <laughs> oh. oh, we can, Inferno. It is such is the duplicity and uh, of being a viewer of mine. Some more Sunday prices. Uh, well, I mean, their players are playing the same position, right? They're not replacements because we can't. But um, we've got another guy who's actually the starter at the moment, which is um, uh, Ko Nagai, who is a Japanese international who looks pretty decent. He's obviously not Tony, but he's 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 done well so far. Gert is the long-term replacement. But Ko is going to be the guy for now. And really, I've no complaints about what Ko's done for us so far. He's scored a goal. He played really well against Eintracht Frankfurt as well. Are these the guys that I'm signing Miguel Torres from? Chat, I wonder, right? Nah, he's not got the work rate for it. I was thinking, oh, maybe this guy could potentially do that later in, later in life. But he is not that type of player at all, is he? Not really even sure what he is, honestly. The Endrick bookmark that... Oh, yeah, I've kept it. I was going to change it to the Arda Galea one. Right. Most of these guys I think we already know about, right? Uh, any, like, reasonables? There you go. There's... There you go, there, chat. That's, that's the next Tony. His name is Robert. He, he, he's not that good, is he? Uh, actually, tell you what, right? Attribute-wise, he's not that bad. Maybe I'm just favouring him because he's also Nigerian. But, like, tackling's decent. Marking's okay. Positioning's not too bad either, actually. Physicals are a bit naff. Six foot four, though. Good on both feet. Do you know if I think we scout him further, attention. at least. I feel oh, like yes, this might be a lie. Soon. Who scouted this report? They are building it now. Did I assign it to the wrong guy? He's an E-rated player, though. Like, who did this report? Ah, recruitment team. Yeah, the work rate is the one issue. It's not amazing. I know the new tactic isn't available for download yet, because we're still not sure if it's like the one we're actually like set on. Um, so I didn't want to upgrade it and then constantly change it all the time. So I'll, up I'll update it when we're kind of happy, which will be pretty soon, I'd say. I don't think I can sign him now anyway, right? Oh, I can! He's 17, though. Oh, fuck it, right? Might as well not... There's no reason not to sign him, I guess. If it's if he's under a, under a million, actually, am I going to do that? Oh, okay, yeah, fine. No, we'll definitely do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to pay, like, a million quid for him, but... 425, I'm actually all right with that. I like his attributes. He'd be good for the loan farm. Bring and he's Nigerian. We've Bring replaced him... Up. Yeah. He could be some other Maltese team's Tony. Exactly. PPP Ski, thank you for the follow. And Boss Man at the corner shop. Thank you for the follow. I missed that. Like, have I ever played? I probably have, honestly. But bear in mind, I like his attributes. I feel like he's better than that attribute-wise. It's just a question of potential, right? But I don't think he's a replacement for Tony. Um, He doesn't even look like... Ah. Oh, better Harold Bishop. One sec. Let me just finish this and we'll get some Harolds going. I think with these now, I probably can send them around again if we don't know too much about them. Particularly if it's right out of the window, right? Math is fun! Yes, it is. Get off your assets, do some math. Math, 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 math. It's true. Thank you so much for the prime. That's very kind of you, friend. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Who's this chap here? Andrea Innocente. Hmm. Doesn't look so innocent to me. Edson, is he one of the guys joining us? 
I assume so. These guys have... He's fallen off quite a bit there, hasn't he? Uh, I love it when a player is allegedly fully scouted, yet we have apparently no idea. Saying Tuesday and Friday. Oh, dear. Um, how do you unsend an email? Um, if the movie... If the intern starring Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway is anything to go by, here's what you do. You go to their house, steal their laptop, and delete the email. That's That's how you do it. That is what Hollywood has taught me, chat. Oh, the Tanzanian... Actually, no, I want to have a look at the Tanzanian guy again. I like him. It's gone now. <sighs> you can't take it back. I don't think he's that bad. Uh, he feels Lone Farm. It would just depend heavily on the wage. Not the wage, sorry, the amount. If they want on the low end, right? But that's the thing, Viva. Like, and also, what I've noticed is occasionally I've taken a hint... Like, taken a, a bat on a... Oh, actually, if he's like... Fuck it, why not, right? Live a little. Um, the amount of times so far this time, we've actually like taken a swing on a random loan farm guy. And some of them have turned out to be quite good. I think the best example of a player that I just signed because he was free and Angolan, because obviously, was that goalkeeper guy. Has he still got the high potential? Yeah, look, this guy here. In it, Prince. It's so good. Pokemon, I watched it again last night. It's that scene in the hotel. It's just one of the, like, my favorite scenes ever. Japanese international star to the Kona guy. The Kona guy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Richard. How's it going, man? Yeah, this guy, when we signed him, I swear he had like that. Fiona! And I only signed him because he was a freebie. But he's developed into quite a good player. And that's why I don't mind taking punts on like relatively cheap loan farm players from time to time. Because occasionally they actually turn out to be good for us. Very rarely, but... You know, if you don't ask, you don't get. Parages, thank you for the follow. Is Nunez only a million? Oh, he's got a wage demand now. Who's he wanted by? This will dictate whoever we... Right, we have to, right? We simply can't not. Although he's 20. His technicals are a bit... Let's see what he wants. Properly. It's so cheap, though. He's so cheap. I think it'd be silly not to, honestly. Was about for it. Yeah, exactly, Prince. I I've got that on a list of films that are like my go-to feel-good films. Uh, there's only six on there, but whenever I need a little pick-me-up, it's one of those, right? Sorry, kid got asked about Ah, yes! Sow the seeds. I like it. It's a good idea, actually. Uh, Ristich is great, but he's not really useful for us. You guys are all at clubs we can't afford. Again. You're that centre-back, aren't you? Penedo. He's very good. We definitely keep an eye on him. Maybe when he turns 18, he might change his mind about whether he wants to sign for us or not. Because I like him a lot. Benali was okay, but he won't talk to us yet. You're at Benfica. You're very expensive, and you were already approaching. All right, yeah. I like Nunez. I feel like he's missing a bit... Some technicals, maybe. But we'll see. Uh, right. How much does this guy want? If it's cheap, future prospect... What, well, breakthrough prospect? Really? I always feel like when they're asking for stuff like that, it's like the game knows something we don't. Like how when the when a player wants very little, and it's almost like the game is telling you, actually, they're kind of naff, maybe don't do this. I sometimes wonder when it's like this, if it's actually telling you... Like, it's underlying. It knows how good this guy is, potentially, right? And when they want this... Uh, then again, it's probably just because he's got a higher rep, right? It's worth finding out, right? Uh, you as well. Will he want less or more? Yeah, Jack Joyce is the face in the game. Yeah, we were discussing him earlier, actually. He wants a lot less. Though that could just be because he's come from Tanzania and not Nigeria. That's a much higher rep league. Luckily, his uh, youngster status is going to allow us to offer him any contract I like, which is always pleasant. Nunez, right. Squad player. I feel like with someone like Nunez, right, even if he doesn't turn out to be the best player, simply having him... Oh, okay. He's already got loads of caps, hasn't he? Actually, let's not have that. Let's just... Oh my god, right, come on, three it. Uh, do I want to risk it? No, I'll take the two. We get him in, because if I change anything there and it doesn't work, we're fucked. Ghost Dog, where's the samurai? Okay, that's intriguing. My taste in film is kind of all over the shop, really. I just like feel-good films a lot of the time, right? Pog and I watched this film called Instant Family a couple of weeks ago, which was really, really good. This is AFCON, isn't it? This is AFCON. No, no, it's not AFCON. AFCON's later. This is the international break right before AFCON. Do we know the details of AFCON yet? So we can see when it's actually happening. Afghan nations. Here we go. Yeah, so it starts in November. 
which is not too bad. I think we'd be able to get through a couple more Champions League games before then, right? Then again, they go away on international duty way before, don't they? So we'll probably lose them before the City game. As long as we've got them for Villarreal, we won't lose as many. Uh, he's devastated. Well, that's his fault. Kozula's improving, though, which is good. Uh, get these guys as well. Hello, Johnny. Good to learn out. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, in fact, no, that, that's not even I'd say so. That's literally what happens a lot of the time, Johnny. We've got so many players that are too good to loan out. Basically, what happens is, unless the player you're trying to loan to the club slots in beyond the top five, so they can't be in the top five best CA players at the club, but at the time of you loaning them anyway. If they are, then they simply will say no to the loan. So yeah, a lot of players can be too good. Right. Let's uh, get a Harold Bishop Ultras going. Because it's, why not? <laughs> I really enjoyed it, Quinn. Right. And a five. And a four. And a three, and Harold Bishop time, and a one, and a two, and I've counted the wrong direction. I don't care, I'm pushing the button. What you did. I come from Harold, and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is grouse. With sandwiches and lasagna too. Ice cream sundae for me and you. I come from Harold, and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is grouse. With sandwiches and lasagna too. Ice cream sundae for me and you. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake, and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. In weird news, you are right. Uh, Macarona. He's a real player as well. Uh, Mohamed Saeed. But he goes by Macarona for some reason. And I just like that. I'm a fan of that. Uh, Paleo's got a police cap. Oh, of course he does. I mean, who else is going to get a police cap? <laughs> yeah, half would enjoy him tremendously. Hey, Macarona. <laughs> oh, damn, we're up to 10,000 now. Not bad. Uh, Diaz. God, he's good. He might be due a new contract soon, which is concerning because I don't know how much we can afford, but I really do like Diaz. So we're getting um, Helal Nasur, who is, of course, the uh, Tanzanian centre-back. We do like a bit of Tanzanian centre-backs. As we get closer and closer to the imminent day of the Revolution, Volarenga? Oh, oh, it's Gearos. Oh, he's one of those guys that we definitely want to know more about for sure. Why are all the good? Why are all the good guys wingers? Question for you there. The preliminary rounds. Okay, right. I'm gonna have a pee break now because the next game that we've got to is like age we're actually gonna have roy in before that game properly so i'll, I'll have my pee break now and you guys get a little cheeky whiz quiz uh, i should return in a momentum uh where's my button there it is It's good uh, you came in summer. In winter, it can get very depressing.
It was, of course, Tony Sunday slash Graham Souness. No, it was Leo Bonatini. Uh, I thought I'd go for a slightly more recent one. You know, mix things up a little bit. And managed to procure the sole surviving Bepis in the fridge. Ah. I genuinely didn't remember him. But I assume it was because he was one of the championship guys that Wolves had. With Mies Mas, I assume it was a case of he, as you say, after much scouting, the price was too high for what he was actually going to be like. I need to order some more um, Bepis. So, to be fair, Pog and I haven't really done the big shop this week because usually we do it on a Monday, but Pog was working yesterday uh, and I was definitely not able to drive a car by the time Pog got home from work. <laughs> I'd had far too much afternoon beer. Had a beer on Saturday called Manhattan Project. It was actually quite nice. Rather enjoyable. Mm. Okay, we're getting Robert then, I guess. I mean, do I think he's going to be great for us? No. Do I think he might do a job for another multi side? Based on the attributes he's currently got, nuclear... Do you know it was? Um, that was actually pretty tasty. Can I pillars? Wait. Oh, no, it's a different team. Was, was this where we got Tony from in the first place? I'm fairly certain Tony was from Carney Pillars, wasn't he? Lucas, not Lucas. Thank you very much for the follow. It's Nicolaj. And uh, Contrast. Sorry, I must have missed that. Thank you for the follow as well. Right, let's get up to the... Um, well, this gets cracking, really. Was Sunday Monday still there? Oh, what a guy. So that's that's fine too. Keep going with those. <laughs> Sorry, Das. How much did you drink over the weekend? Jesus. I suppose four days. I might be going to Copenhagen in a couple of weeks, though, chap. So there's that. My friend's birthday. It's cheaper to go to Copenhagen than it is to meet up in England. <laughs> Such is life. Uh, but that'd be kind of nice. Uh, Instituto. I recognize that name. Although, I've, hang on. Is Federico Dazan a face in the game? Because nothing she Well, just getting around in England, unfortunately, is the expensive part, sadly. Um... <laughs> wow. Oh, that's the guy from the previous report. Any new ones? No. Okay, damn it. A lot. <laughs> no quantities. I know, yeah. Um, I kept getting the Twitch notifications about the Rocket League Major in Copenhagen. Because originally, mate just goes to me, do you fancy going to Luxembourg? And I was just like, yes. Um, but then he realised it wasn't going to work with like flights and stuff. But yeah, so it looks like I might just nip to Copenhagen, which would be nice. Oh, dear. English airport to get the flight to Copenhagen. D you joke, but you're not even that wrong. Um, it's absolutely obscene. When Pog and I went to London to see um, Back to the Future, the stage show, it the train tickets alone, and I don't even live that far from London, was wild. Well, no, so, sorry. I'm, I'm going with like a group of friends. So we're like, we're just going to be vibing. We're not going to be very long either, but it's just going to be, you know, we're just going to Copenhagen, right? Um, who's getting a cap now? Hyro! Okay. Who does he even play for anymore? Oh, he's one of the looter lads. That could be anyone, admittedly. Right. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. Check your bank again. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem when everything's tapped to pay, isn't it? You just, you don't have any kind of idea of what you're spending at that point, right? Not the train. Yeah, no, the, the train costs... I remember back in the day, I could get like a rail card from where I lived to like one of the all-day all day, all zone travel cards for like 15 quid. And that would get me from where I was into London and any travel in London the entire day. And this was, this was like 2008. But yeah, no. I think it cost me about 30 quid just to get there. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to have the pressure so well. He's got an increased sense of uh, sportsmanship, I suppose. <laughs> That'll come in real handy. Uh, what are you looking for, Callum? Like a friend of mine uh, lives in Aberdeen. And I mean, you can imagine how expensive that, <laughs> that is. Really good workaround. If you flex more, what sort of time you can travel? Nope, that's pretty good. I remember when Pog used to use like... Me Pog used to use things like Megabus, basically. Um, and there used to be, back when my ex-girlfriend, um, who lived in Southampton, or Isla White, but kind of both. Um, in my age, I'm 34. Um, I don't have a command for that. <laughs> um, we, there was like a really slow train she could catch from Waterloo to Southampton that went all around the houses, but it was like six quid. It was brilliant. And then there was the normal one that just went straight from Waterloo to Southend, uh, Southampton. That'd be weird if it went to Southend. <laughs> from, and that would be like, 
20 quid. It was crazy. As a command. Uh, no, I don't. I haven't updated it yet because we weren't sure if it was what we wanted to stick with. Much like the tactic one, but I feel like probably if I get... Rem Someone remind me on Discord after stream and I'll update both of them. That way we can get the new set piece tactics in and the uh, new tactic tactic too. Because I feel like they're probably... I think they're cooked now. I think they're... Weirdly, cooked can mean both things. It sort of means the other thing. 18 and 100%. Exactly. <laughs> Just stop breastfeeding. <laughs> B903 are playing. Look, sharp. well again this is what i mean like this is why when whenever you mention you're going somewhere it's like you need to do this i'm like I'm probably just gonna hang out with my friends and go see some sites you know because it's, it's not you know it's my mate's birthday we're just gonna vibe in and it's a rare weekend off for pog too which is always fun um so he's playing games for angola now good signs oh, come on ah uh, dear from the crystal what the hell was i even talking about ah can't you that's perfect can't you being happy now means i can sort of bring him back into the grateful bosom of our team right ah oh, dear right for some reason when you said b93 i immediately went straight to b67 i was like what they're playing in denmark <laughs> i think people are too harsh on fm players thank frankly how much is kebby worth now oh yeah he went to porto didn't he i can't believe he missed out on him on a free Oh, they actually paid three million in the end. That's still disgusting that they paid that price. Ay ay ay. Right. Um, classy, classy. No, so actually, good point. Who did he end up? Oh my god, he's still not got a club. Oh, he was injured, wasn't he? Hang on, let's get him in again. Because we couldn't sign him because he had a hip injury. But now that he doesn't have a hip injury anymore, I'm just saying, it'd be nice to have a bit of the classy, classy net neck around these parts. Because he actually looks still quite doable. Wait. <laughs> Disregard, chat. If you would. If you'd be so kind. Disregard. Ah, oh, dear. Words are tough, right? I drank a lot of alcohol yesterday. <laughs> Two with Villarreal. Christ, even... I hope he was playing as a winger, but Stefan Galea did a goal. Oh, Danny Hume. I mean... Given that not many games have happened yet... Actually, to be fair, in England, enough would have happened, right? He's got... Oh, was it a start? No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. He's still... <laughs> oh, Bristol City got relegated now, and Danny still isn't playing in League One. <sighs> but he did get a, another substitute appearance. I'm telling you, it's coming. He's going to get it, eventually. All right, what poor souls are going to get slapped about by us? Oh, damn, it's Gazira. Okay, I want a bit of revenge on them from how they played in the game when I actually watched Sirens. So we're getting Nunez. He won't join us till January though, right? We have to. We're not in a window, right? Chat, it's less than three weeks until the Revolution. What are your predictions? What do you think he's going to look like as far as CA? No, no, PA rather. I reckon two and a half stars. No, three and a half stars. I'm being generous. It's surely... He's been at the club long enough for us to have a sort of an idea, right? I reckon he's going to have three and a half star, which would be okay. Like his, his PA's, his CA is decent. Why not? If it's anything more than, th particularly with like his age, I don't know. If it's anything above three and a half stars, I will be absolutely over the moon. Considering I feel like almost all of these players are on, they, they almost always seem to be a, a letdown. Three and a half star CA, five star, imagine if he was. Oh, Palacios finally scored for Colombia. It's been a while, actually. 200, imagine if he had 200 PA. I feel like, then again, with how bad our scouts have been, he could well have 200 PA. We just simply wouldn't know, right? 4.5 PA would be insane. Like, if it settled in at that, I'd be over the moon. Although I would worry then that he would end up declaring for Ang um, for England and not Anguilla. And that's the thing that would actually hurt the most ah so jobless has got a report in here which naturally is going to be useless like for all we know this guy could be the greatest well this is what i mean mr jobless is just he's not cutting the grade anyone new that guy there jesus maria blanco albeit on loan from alaves oh he's kind of a physical merchant which is why i assume that he's rated so highly because the game does love players with good physicals anyone new there oh yes oh <gasps> chat Okay, firstly, both of these players have amazing names. Um, but the first one has a much better name. Benedictus Van Roy. And he's Belgian. <laughs> Leaf, thank you for the 31 months, friend. Me, How's it me, going? Me, 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 me
almost three years with Chato, Matto and Pog and I'm so grateful for it. Me. <sighs> well, I'm not going to spend seven, eight million pounds. Well, sorry, no, that's not true. I'm not going to do that yet. Molly wouldn't sign for us anyway. Um, but he actually doesn't even look that bad. And he's got good tackling. He's overpriced. He's Belgian. It's the perfect combo. He's called Benedictus Van... Actually, wait. He's Belgian, right? And that's clearly a... Would it be Van Waar? I'm just thinking of Patrick Waar. I wonder if it's Benedictus Van Waar, because that would be even better. And what about Kevin Same? <laughs> same, Kev, same. Do you know what? He doesn't even look that awful either. I might scout him too, genuinely. I always do with the ones that are in these sort of ranks. He's not overpriced yet, but the thing is he'll... Yeah, where was he born? Let's find out. Yeah, which part of Belgium was he born in? We can decide. He was born in Tongeren, which sounds like the Dutch-speaking part, if I was to guess, maybe. But he can speak French and Dutch, obviously. He's a similar type of player to Bilal Alkanous. Good to know. Who? Oh, it's a different guy again, obviously, yeah. Is it Same? Oh, it's almost certainly Same, but come on. You can't have a name like that and expect me to say it. Yeah. <laughs> You can't be called Kevin Same and not have me call you Kevin Same. Like, I try my best for pronunciations, but when it's that obvious, I'm like, no, no, I'm definitely going to go down this route here. Hello, Dan. Um, We spent... We broke our transfer record on an overpriced Belgian, and we've actually won two out of two in the Champions League, despite having the toughest draw known to man. So in a way, I'd say it's gone pretty well. Sometimes fun is better than being correct. Exactly. I had a... I was watching a Northern Line video yesterday. I was playing Balotro, obviously. And he was talking about how someone had described like how gaming these days has sort of gone to like um, ticking off a list of tasks rather than actually choosing fun. And I will always choose fun. We are the only multi-side through. Yes, it's um, a, a national shame. And I'd forgive you not to talk about it. <laughs> no, but like, um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty bad, honestly. It, it's not ideal. Wow, Dingley? Up in seventh. Could this be the rising of the Dings? Uh, food poisoning for Richard. That's unfortunate. I will make sure that I don't do his cooking in future. Hello, R7. Let's just security spectrum. Well, yeah. Then you got to care, but... I'm all about fun these days. That's what games are for, after all, right? Oh, God. Oh, thank God. I thought that was going to be a really serious one. Okay, at least he's keeping that. I think he looks very, very good. It's just going to take him a little while to bed in. What's his training? Oh, he doesn't really have much training, has he? It's not international duty for a start. Are we playing zero in back-to-back -back games? I, do you know what? I do believe we are. Yep, we play them in the league and then immediately afterwards in the cup. Also, coming close to within 10 days of the Roy Evolution beginning. Kill the sky with hammers. Oh, I haven't seen any of that sort of stuff at all. I, I just normally watch his Bellatro videos, honestly. He just I strive to have the calmness and wit of someone like Northern Lion. That man, he just says things that make me crack up so consistently okay i thought he was about to throw a hissy fit about the old congratulations on a national team cap there i was about to throw i was about to flip some tables because i think they've taken that out of the game anyway wow oh it's well they're under 19 sure do be having a lot of players that aren't 19 in it have you guys got any youth players at all or well, they're just not bothering with youth players anymore at victoria de Gumarash, apparently Right, Rich is back. Hammerby, a team who I've got a bean. A, I just said a bean to pick. Wow. Okay. Do you know what, Hammerby? I take back everything. I said you're amazing. What's going on with these two? Modu Nilsson. Oh, oh, 12 tackling. Oh, 12 tackling on a winger. Mmm, tasty. Okay. Modu Nilsson, intriguing, of Stockholm Parish. Uh, we we're already scouting him, aren't we? And then this guy, who is... A year older, which means I've probably scouted him before. Maslam Demirci. Six foot. Not the best jumping reach. Yeah, Mercenary is not... I really don't like Mercenary personalities. He's very wing-backy, isn't he? Hang on, so there's a guy called Tim Topic. Oh, I like him. Tackling's 10 is a bit of a concern. Oh, yeah, and there's Tin Topic. <laughs> Again, I know it's Tin Topic, but to me, you can't have a name like that and not be called Tin Topic. Ooh. Very popular at Coca-Cola is old tin topic. Always keeps things right down the line. So yeah, he's a sweet a Swedish Croatian from Suldemalm. Um wow, he speaks all the languages. Fair enough. Good name. Right, so I think the 
Villarreal game is after the the looter one, right? Tintagelo to Castle. <laughs> He's popular in Cornwall anyway, just because of the mines, right? Yeah, tin music could also work. Work? Work? It could work, chat. <laughs> Watch me work. Uh, lawnmower sound. How long does this go on for? Oh yes. Do you know what? Right. If I hadn't seen that, part of my brain would have genuinely thought someone was cutting their lawn because it's that time of year now where it's just started happening. But enjoy the lawnmower sound effects, chat. I love that this is on Spotify for a start. Is there a whole album of various gardening sound effects for when I need a uh, folly in my folly? Right, Fenerbahce. Wow, he's very good, isn't he? Sin and yielded him. Oh, he's yay. I was hoping he might be a really. Oh, he's another mercenary. God, he's very good. To be fair, freshly cut lawns do be smelling hang. Like, no disrespect to overgrown gardens, but like, I'm all about the freshly cut lawn area. Yes, an orgasm. Oh, we don't want those. No, that could be, that could go wrong. Have more services. <laughs> Awesome, Mikey. Did you see the new Copenhagen group? <laughs> his second nationality. To be fair, maybe his mum taught him. <laughs> no disrespect. Hey, you got to keep on. <laughs> uh, Roy joins, joins us in eight days' time. It's nearly the revolution. Uh, Randy Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> love that. I just love the name Randy Rodriguez. A psychopath. <laughs> I care not for the folly matters of grass. Though there is a house I run past on my runs. And very rarely does it not absolutely reek of the marijuanas. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, how long it takes you to get the champion? I mean, what would you have me do, Callum? Um, <laughs> the game... The, the the games are a certain amount of time apart, my friend. It's just uh, it's one of those things. It's because of the fact that it comes in time with us having a uh, the European gap there because of the international break. But it also coincides with us having like a yeah, we go quicker. Oh no! Oh sorry, I thought you meant the game was being slow, not me. Sorry, if you're telling me what to do, no, no, I'm not going to listen to that. That'd be silly. <laughs> Unless that wasn't what you were doing. Um, sorry, I thought you meant the game was being slow. My apologies. Ah dear. <laughs> I actually gave you the benefit of the doubt there. Um, right, we move. Um, we're going to do that. So, yeah. Oh, it's nice seeing Roy Fleming and the team. Does that mean he played the last friendly for us? Fair enough. Here's some bear facts. I can do some cow facts for you. Um, the important admin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, sorry. I just I thought you were talking about how the, the gaps in between the games, because there are quite a large gap at this point. It's like over a month between the two Champions League matches. Um, but, you know, if you want to watch someone do it faster, then that's maybe this isn't the right stream for you i'm just saying like i'm quite happy just going on. Plus, i don't think i can do it any faster than like this anyway really can i we're just like i'm not really doing admin between games particularly we just have a gap anyway um let's see oh if it does it's really good actually <laughs> oh dear uh james taskall thank you very much for the follow <laughs> exactly yeah right the guy yes i can absolutely uh where's he got there he is there's my boy Wait, what did I do? What have you just... <laughs> Wood chime. Dog. What the hell is that? <laughs> now, you see, you drew my attention to it by mentioning it a second time there. That's what you've done. That could have snuck through and I wouldn't have noticed until the inevitable. <laughs> hmm. Okay, not your fault. Mm -hmm. Are we blaming Chris for this? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's so good as a temporary solution. Like, he does lack some of the technical ability, but man has 10 long shots, and it sort of showed in that game against Juve, right? Right, let's do a bit of Hulk Yoga. Scrubs full. <laughs> and boom. <sighs> right. Oh, I actually kind of needed that. My back has been stretched off. Um, sorry if I'm slowing us all down, actually. Oh. Too much worse one. Oh god. I have the right to skip. Waste your points at your peril. <sighs> it won't take long, I don't think, until Gert is better. Particularly as he's six years his junior. And I know we've had to pay quite a lot of money for Kurt. Uh, for Kurt. Sorry, for um Co, but 
I say a load of money. It was 2.8 million in the transfer fee. I mean, he's on quite a lot of money as far as wages go for us, though. That's the thing. Right. Uh, that's Kazira. So that's... Yeah, there we go. Lawnmower sells with Hulk yoga. It could work. I mean, where are she going to be sitting? Butt on a lawn, right? Uh, oh, yeah. I already did that, didn't I? Okay, we'll sort that. We'll do that. And... Boom. Right. Oh, the there, you can see it. Fleming's now on the list. You can see it happening 5 0. Wait, is that two own goals? That's less than ideal for them. But we spread the goals around nicely ourselves. XG was good. It's another solid victory. Goal difference is looking superb. Bounce have started the season nicely. I've noticed that they've been getting better lately because they have been offering a lot of loans for us. Wait, he was man of the. We won 3 0. He didn't get a goal or an assist and was man of the match. Okay. Oh, was it really three penalties? <laughs> I didn't see the three penalties. That's amazing. Was it three different penalty takers as well then? <laughs> no wonder he got man of the match. Oh, imagine being oh, on the other end of I that. My car. Noodle soup. Thank you for the follow. Third Champions League. No, we haven't got to it yet, Andrew. There was a month in between. Uh, in fact, over a month in between. I think it was like 35 days. It's that weird bit. But, uh, oh, our goal difference, I swear, is the same. Plus 16 and nine points. Our goal difference is is the same, and we have the same number of points in both the under-23s and the full squad. Love that. It's about exceeding four in 12 games. To be fair, actually, have we got better at defending? One goal conceded there, one there. We looked fairly sprightly, I'd say. And I put that all down to Freitas. He's my man. Oh, dear. Right. Broken attack. Oh, wow, we're actually selling out this new ground as well. That's a good sign. It shows, not new ground, sorry, our expanded attendance figures, I suppose. Right, hammering win again. They're at least not being quite as useless as they were last year. They've actually started fairly strongly. Has anyone started really poorly that I'd expect to do better? Like Sweetie, for example. And this is why I didn't want Zabar getting into the Champions League or something, because they're just going to fall off on it, right? So I actually don't think... Oh, we got some more money. That was fast. Oh, here come the wind chimes. <laughs> Nina said, well, yeah, I mean, the problem is um, we've never asked the board for a new stadium. Except not that I'd want to do it right now because of the money situation. But what people have told me is that they often have a lot of issues with boards and new stadiums because of, like, council and stuff. Now, I've never had that problem in this one because I've never asked them for expansions. They, they just do it. But my concern is if we start going down that road, then we'll run into that exact same problem. And I'm kind of content to just kind of let them do what they want with it for the time being and build it when they want. All right, okay. Oh, Casper Shao. Love that he can play right side there as well. Or Casper Shoe. I like him. Never ending planning. Ah. I wonder if we've got any new stuff on there. Marcio. We looked at Marcio a load, haven't we? Isn't Wait, no, hang on. No, yeah, we have. Yeah, no, I remember now. It's, it's a fairly common name, to be fair. But that's the other thing. I want to make sure we maintain a relatively healthy balance of like over 40 million. Oh, um, the Cheltenham shirt, basically, when I was at SI last year uh, for the event, they bought us all mystery, uh, like, surprise shirt. I don't know if it was actually surprise. Like, mystery box football shirts, basically. They were just on this big ta uh, table separated by size, and we just got to choose one. It just so happened that I ended up with a Cheltenham Town shirt out of it. So that's why I have a Cheltenham Town shirt. And I actually really like it. It's a cool design. It just it actually fits really nicely. Planning for three seasons. Yes, we had that for a while. But then they did it really quickly, in fairness. Like, once it actually went out of the planning stage, it went re through really fast. Ah, those guys weren't as good as we thought. No, there was Kevin. No, Kevin. Uh, none of these guys will talk to us. They're all very mid. You're... Actually, I want to know more about this guy here. Oh, then, hang on. I hadn't got them fully scouted. That was silly of me. Are we ever going to get some report on Banana Rama here? Uh... You're expensive and you wow, hang on, why would you discuss terms with this? He's 15. Okay. Every shot on target is done. Yeah, that's something that happened with us. And I didn't put it entirely down to Richard, but what I will say is since Gonzalo Freitas not yeah, since Freitas has joined us, it has been a lot better. This guy's very Oh, he's got a really cheap release clause. But he would actually discuss terms with us. He's a bit of a weird one. Like, I like things about him, but I'm worried that he might not be 3.1 million. Ugh. I'll shortlist... Oh, that's the wrong one. I will shortlist this guy for the time being. Maybe to have a look at in January. Because we can still buy him out from underneath them. 
one of the benefits of the beautiful randomly low Spanish release course is that always did to hit. That's the thing is technicals are a bit eh. And if he doesn't have the potential, it could be a problem. It was great, Vern. Genuinely, it was lovely. Saw some friends, hang out with the Pog, which was nice to do sometimes. Um, consumed various alcoholic beverages in beer gardens. Such is life. Probably ate way too much takeaway food as well, honestly. Worth the risk. Yeah, he probably is. But again, like with us being careful about money, I don't want to put £3.1 million into him and then not be able to afford a signing that I really want who's like a million pound later. But we are kind of safely over the flow. I might scout him one more time. Like, treat it as like the whole, uh, we scout them another time even though we don't need to. What more could a stud ask for? I don't know, is a stud asking? <laughs> not me. Oh no. That stud finder never beeps when they run out over me, let me tell you. Uh, right, there's Taylor. Hmm. They must have had some players in the Honduran national team, or... See, he's got four caps for Iraq, but I'm just... I'm not allowed to loan him. It's so very odd. Wait. Yeah, it's it's weird how I'm not allowed to loan that guy out. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Right, so this one is about as full strength as possible. Actually. I think I'll just manually pick a team for the looter game, no matter what. Just jealous it doesn't get to... <laughs> well, Kissy Fish is the king, as you know. Nothing beats Kissy Fish, let me tell you. Good to have Kadri back in again. I'll rest him out for the next one anyway. Does he have a contract? Yeah, yeah. He has a full contract and everything. Um, he signed for somebody this summer. And then the moment that he signed, I got some loan offers for him. I was able to put him out. Um, but then he turned down the loan. And ever since he turned down that loan, I've been unable to offer him out for loan again for some reason. Padilla with a brace. Per Perez gets a goal. Quasi gets another goal. He's just plugging away. Slowly but surely building up the goals. I actually wonder who has got the most goals for us this season. Just switch it back to the statistics one. So our top score at the moment is actually Quasi with nine. It's not even close, in fact. And three assists. Henry sort of really needs to pick it up a little bit. Oh, and Perez as well. Again, they both need to be finding the net a bit more. Any massive number of assists? Four assists for Diaz is good. Is Vida still looking good on that one? 0.49? This is what I mean. Like, multiplying... When he plays, he does seem to get relatively close to Vida's XA number, which is always nice. Whereas the others are massively far behind him. Like, not even close. Like, where the hell's Palacio? It's down 0.07. Now, I don't think he's played as much as he could have done. Oh, God. Bit of cash for that. Two more goals for Padilla. I feel like Moltwang is the guy to replace Vida one day, maybe. He's the only guy that puts up the right statistics. He's saying all the right things. He's putting up all the right numbers. Lockers! Thank you for the five bits. How's it going, my friend? How was your... I knew it said Thursday then. That could have been catastrophic. How is your Tuesday going? Three days till Roy. God, it's like a new version of FM Christmas, this. We're getting televised against Villarreal. Oh, do you remember Toomey? Give me the next Kvadat Shkeli. Or don't. That's fine too. Whatever's best for you. Actually, he looks okay. Driven personality. It's an interesting name that he's got. Like, from a distance, if I had just seen his name, I would not have assumed Georgia. Uh, Yalaconia. Actually, I, mm. do you remember that ridiculously good Georgian we had last time? Jumble on Thursday. <laughs> it's because of, like, the bank holiday and stuff. You kind of lose track. Today felt like a Sunday to me because of how yesterday felt. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I just don't think I'm going to do that. I think my best bet with him actually might be big move to Saudi or something for like a nice large chunk of cash. That's probably the dream there. Right. Information remember the squad? Yeah, I thought you might do that. Um, I'm going to annoy him because I don't feel like I want to give him a new contract right now. I think I'd rather sell him next summer if, in truth. He feels like the type of guy that we could definitely get some nice cash for. Now, chill him. Fair enough. Uh, right. Uh... Oh, actually, Dane's in chat, because I think I've just seen some stuff. Um, apparently, it's something called Paper Island in Copenhagen. Thoughts? <laughs> I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but apparently, someone at my mate's work recommended it. So, it... it I, I don't know. Um, I usually expect every single Georgian named it just end in Vili, for the most part. It's Monday. Wait, what? You nearly had me for a second there. Yeah, that's what they said. Like, hmm. Out where they get that. Oh, really? Okay. Fleming trial coming to an end. Come on, Roy. 
Roy Day is about to happen. You've joined at the perfect time, Con. Tomorrow is Roy Day. Oh, Lord. I wish there was just an option here that just says, piss off all of you. Doesn't deserve a new deal. And it's actually damaging. Oh. Well, you play well, buddy. Like, that's what you do. Like, hang on. Really, Harry? <laughs> Christ. I just realized who the team, who the players were. Right. Hyundai High School. They make the cars, but can they make the players? Well, wait, he, I was going to say, he didn't sound Korean. So, Chinese Korean. The revolution begins the next... Oh, God, there's more stuff to get through here. This is where I just... Ooh. Oh, God, it's another overpriced Belgian chat. Help me. <laughs> Please stop me before I do something I'm, I'll regret. Haken Kaya. Oh, God, he's so good as well. Dagoberto Toralvo. God, some quite good players in that one. Right. Okay. Roy time. Hammering with another big win. Oh, no. We can't find out. Oh, Roy's tomorrow. Right. We still got to get through this. Ah, which means I need to pick a rotated squad, which is absolutely fine. Record signing. Uh, it's um 15 million pounds, which was actually a signing we made earlier today. Nice street food market. Ah, oh, fair enough. That's he. The guy described it as being similar to Camden in terms of the street food market bit. Because obviously, if those of you who have been to Camden in London, there's like a whole sort of street food. It's not as good as it used to be. I remember going, I used to enjoy it a lot more when I was younger. And that might be part of the factor, but it looks like it's way more sort of, um, well, fucking expensive for a start. <laughs> Noodle soup. Thank you for the 10 bits. He would just sign everybody and replace them with overpriced Belgians. That's the new strategy. I rate it. Other than Vega, I'd be tempted to play the same team again. Just put Belaid in. Espino... Oh, no, hang on. I want to rotate these guys out. Hilton. Sirens of Genk. Yeah. We'll put Abbas Salem in. I'm worried about our defense for this game, but such is life. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to start Barry Scott. Can we get for Fafana? Um, nothing at the moment because no one's willing to bid. Um, We were getting bids of close to 10. But then it all randomly dried up in like the last 12 days of the window, which meant that we never actually got the move that I was looking for, unfortunately. So maybe in January, but again, we'd have to build it all up again. Oh, Perez can't start, not with that level of fitness. Um, we are a little lighter in strikers. Ah, oh, Fafana, what am I talking about? <laughs> Hello, Pog. Right, this should be... Mm, this could be tough, actually. I don't think this would be that easy. I uh, no, Barry Scott is a Patreon regen. So as a result, he was programmed to have that name. Uh, Edu Poi Poi. I'm sure I've said that incorrectly, but thank you very much for the follow. But I'm going to go with Edu Poi Poi, but I feel like Edu Poi Poi or Edu Poi Poi. That sounds even better. Called Torve Harland. Okay. Blaugardsgard. Oh, that sounds awesome, actually. City Banger. Yes, yes, yeah. It was someone's fact. request for um, the name of their patron region. Casper, thank you for the follow. Okay, 4-0. Montagna with two goals and an assist. Oh, welcome in, Edu. Uh, I hide my Twitch away. <laughs> it's like that dirty little secret that no one knows about. Welcome aboard, though, my friend. Montanio did indeed be popping off. Considering that we considered him a bit of a bust when we first got him, I don't think he's going to be a legend or anything like that, but he's a really dependable backup option, especially with the lack of Jar Jar this year and us losing a bit of depth in that left-back spot. Hence Archie Gray's arrival. Right, Roy time. Come on. Hello, Silent Killer. It's time for Roy. It, later today, it's time for Roy. So, I'm going to... What was that I said? I reckon... Whatever... His CA actually doesn't really matter to me. I reckon he's got three and a half star PA. That's my prediction on Roy. Okay. B minus. Good to see. That actually is really good to see. B minus. Ooh. Maybe it'll be as high as four? Go on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he's so good. Oh, Roy. What a boy. I can't believe it. Just don't declare for England, Roy. I just expected to screw us. Documentary history story videos. I'm not sure that's the same channel. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think you might have been confused with someone else. Oh, get in, Roy. Okay, immediately. Composure. Final third training for you, my friend. I know his quickness isn't amazing, but that's never going to go up by much, is it? Melbourne replacement. No, 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 no. Uh, the vision's too poor for that. Yes, we'll see if his development's reset. Good point. Uh, let me get him a final third training first. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. Right, let's see. Does it reset, or or am I wrong? Oh, I'm not wrong! Sorry, I am wrong. I, even better. I take it back. Which means Roy might actually be eligible for Champions League. 
I take it back. We predicted that it was going to bugger it up, and it didn't. His two years on trial. Oh, uh, no, you won't be able to see any new progress because his <laughs> game's like, yoink. Yeah, no, you can't see any actual. Oh, hang on, wait. Yes, you can. Oh, my God. Wait, what happened here? Why does agility go all the way down so much there? Hot damn. Uh, he signed from nobody. He never had a club. He was a random freebie that had never had a club that randomly came through one of our recruitment focuses. And was he injured? Oh, you're right. It's weird that he lost so much. I suppose it's actually only one point, isn't it? And it's gone back up again, too. Either way, he's gone up by four in his component. I didn't realize it was as drastic as this. I thought I saw a few things increase and thought, oh, that's kind of good. But he's actually improved a lot. And that's just by beneficial of our training schedules. And I've not even been doing manual training on him yet. Now that we are. Favorite personnel. Well, we know where he's from, and he was born in um in the valley. In the valley in Anguilla. His favorite personnel, obviously, are just stuff like that. Let me have a look at the big profile, actually. Maybe a bit easier. Um But yeah. Aaron Walker thing. Oh! Yes. Um, the only, to be fair, the only time I've ever done that was that one video. That's why I was a bit confused. But yes, no, I did do that. Um, I probably won't make another one like that specifically, just because it would be the same video. Uh, I'm doing another Asian video this week. It was supposed to come out last week, but then I had another crash dump overnight for one of the Sims. And then Bank Holiday Weekend, it got a bit messy. Should be out this week, though. Well, it, it will be out this week. I'm super happy for Roy there. I'm going straight for the first team. Oh, Devilist as well. Standard, right? Roy is so good. I will set him available, though, for the under-23 squad. For the time being, anyway. Um, 45, not, not to overdo it. I can't believe he's actually stayed that good. And that's why it was the problem, was we didn't have... Uh, I think Roy does. I think Roy's got the longest contract possible, right? Although, probably, for, probably should just check that. So he's got a three-year... I think it's a three plus three. Yeah. So we've got a three plus three from Roy, and we're all good. 20 is plenty. Yes, sorry. So basically, 20 is plenty is something that Son of Akish came up with. Um, basically, we do have actually have a command that briefly explains it because it's a bit of a ball lake to try to explain in first. But basically, it's a filter. Um, an actual filter. I know sometimes I say view when I mean filter uh, or right, vice versa. But basically, what it does is... Um, It selects every single attribute at 20. And then you select, you go basically, you find the age range that you want. And then you go down on the matches on this until a player comes up or to a set of players comes up. And then you just scout all of them. And you actually find some very interesting options by doing it basically. Because it relies on you not having a lot of scouting knowledge. So it's just a useful way to find some extra ones. That's the one. But yeah, it's found us some interesting players. I don't think it's been like amazing for us, but it's just a nice little extra feather to have in your cap, I suppose, right? If Roy goes on loan, I, uh, part of me almost wants him not to, and it's selfish, and it's solely because I want him to actually play for us potentially one day. If he's as now in like two months' time, his potential might suddenly be three stars again because you know what it's like when they take a little while to de not develop so much, but like when it takes a little while for them to to assess them once they've actually fully joined you. Although, given that he's been on trial for so long, I wonder if actually that's just his permanent assessment with us, which would be really nice. Oh, what's the odds like? Yeah, we're massive underdogs against Villarreal, which is weird. I feel like we were less underdoggy against Juventus than we are against Villarreal. Although, admittedly, Juve have lost both games so far. But one of them was Man City. So that's surprising. I'm thinking we might not do that well against Villarreal here. Internal takeover talks there. Forty-four percent to win. Really? Maybe Juve are just bad then. Not that they, wow, that's their third. Admittedly, they've played, they've played both Manchester sides and us. So the three biggest clubs in Europe. <laughs> We're a bit underdoggy, yeah. Bayern lose to Porto. Juan Martinez doing the bits. Yeah, maybe Bayern are just shit as well. Because what have they done so far? Yeah, Bayern are struggling too. <laughs> they've got one point, which was against Sporting. They've lost to Porto and Inter. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, Bayern could, couldn't even win the Europa League last year. So they've got form for this. Bit of French Farosh. Ah. Maybe we continue. This is going to be a fascinating experiment because we've done good against Villarreal in the past. We've, I think, in our two past, because I think we've played them twice. God, Padilla's looking a bit spicy, isn't he? Good God. I haven't looked at Padilla's profile for a while. 
But he's actually gaining physicals too now, which is the one thing that was letting him down. He's starting to look very, very excellent, which is delightful. I mean, it's going pretty well, I do. We've had a bit of a rough year just because we lost one of our best players for £45 million, which is a good thing in terms of the, the money we got, but we didn't want to lose him and we've been unable to like ac adequately replace him, I would say. I think we've done okay. I think we've done better in replacing him than I was expecting us to. But do you have an extension? I believe he does, yes. Yeah, he does. In fact, I'll... No, I won't trick it now because we want to keep that in there just in case of, like, botery. I've got to stop triggering those clauses too early because, like, after all, the whole point of them is to stop us from getting boat clawsed. Right, Diaz, Vega, Kamga. No, 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 no. My sister really doesn't like Ko, does he? There's been no Kadri. Kadri being back in is really nice for us. And... Quasi has played very fucking well in the league and is our top goal scorer. The question is... Did it, every time I've dealt it, doubted Melman, but Quasi's got 10 goals and 3 assists. You know what? Melman has done no reason. There's, Melman has given me no reason not to start him. He's scored in both games so far. And, yeah, but the future is not now. We're playing this game now, not in the future. That's quite important as well. Like, Melman has scored in both games so far. Crucial goals as well. And I don't think like he's done anything wrong to be taken out of the team. And Quasi's been playing... He's scored a lot of goals, but he has been playing against much worse quality opponents. So it's hard to balance that out. Um, like, if Melman doesn't score this time, or shows any kind of quality, then I'll start Quasi for the next game. But I feel like I have... I, I, I owe it to Melman to give him another chance. Ooh another sort of similar system oh you won nice which deck was that or is it how many decks do you start with is it three that you unlock at the very beginning i've actually forgotten there's still one um joker i've not unlocked which is the hundred million for a single hand one i've got not even close to that yet i've only beaten anti-12 like once um no not anti-12 i've only got to anti i can't remember you get that achievement for either reaching it or beating it. i've actually forgotten hey look we're playing a champions league game there is much rejoicing Wait, was Melman unhappy? Did he not think he should have started the game? That's a bit worrying. I do think, though, that Quasi and Padilla are starting to overtake Melman in terms of pure attributes. What Melman does... Kamga. Well, Kamga didn't do a very good job in that left side role last game, really. So I figured I'd go back to Vega. Neither of them have really flourished. I think we are still missing someone that can really take that. Right, what's this team looking like? There's a lot of real players in this team. Only one regen after 12 seasons suggests that this is a fairly old team. Which might help us in the latter stages of this game. But I'm not that confident about this one. I reckon we lose this. But I want to see us at least try and play well. See if Melbourne can come up with another piece of magic. So this has started much like the Juve game. Very little in terms of highlights in the early stages of the match just sort of passing the ball around but this feels like the type of game where getting a corner goal could be absolutely huge we've clearly shown that we've massively improved from set pieces so being able to grab a corner goal in a match like this that's what that was built for pretty much Kadri Vida's in space and he's got runners too oh Melman was one of them he's in again round the goalkeeper he scored is he offside though no he's not Melman does it again this time I had faith in him and he has once again repaid us. Villarreal nil, Sirens won, Melman with his third goal in three matches. Oh, you can't doubt Melman. I I'm, I've come around to it. What a pass from Vida, by the way. Great touch out of his feet. Whips it across the keeper. Three and three. Beat them last year. I think we did. No, yes, we did. We beat them five nil last year, but that was at home and that was with a different tactic and they look better than they did then. So we'll see. Three and three for the mailman. He hasn't scored a single goal that wasn't in a Champions League group game. But I feel like his ability... I wonder if it's because he's got higher consistency because he's slightly older as well. So he's able to just like... He maybe has more important games as well. Like likes big matches to a higher extent because we found out from Max's latest video that actually that matters way more than I thought it did. Right, Vida, look at him go. Oh, the space now. Fiorel caught on the break here. Palacio! Oh! I almost wish he hadn't have shot that. It's a good effort, but... I think he would have been better taking it to the byline and bringing that back. Right. A second goal. Let's get a nice set piece goal or something. Vida's ball in. Flicked over the crossbar. Palacio's running all the way into the net. He touches it precisely when he means to. Yeah, and he's just been prolific so far this season. That hidden experience attribute. Well, what it is, I think it's a case of he probably has higher consistency, which means that we're at least going to get more likely consistent 7 out of 10s from him. Or 8s, you know? 
Here he is on the ball again. Pulls it across. Oh, it's so nearly 2-0 as well. He's turning provider. He's doing everything he can to keep his space in this team because he is under threat this year. Not that, Paul Nuttall. Thank you Happy for the science. nine months. No. Yeah, nine months. That's so kind of you, man. How's it going, Paul? Oh, Christ. We've started really well here, by the way. This is much better than we played against Juve. And we look like a team that could actually get a goal or two in this match. Oh, like haven't hit the target enough yet so far today, but creativity has been very much in our corner. But it's in games like this where we know we're probably going to concede a random goal at some point. And that's why we need that second goal. Like we can't always expect to have results like we did in the last one. Like against Juve, getting that second goal was absolutely crucial because we knew that there could potentially be some shenanigans afoot. Vega's done quite well in this game. Diaz, if anything, is the one being carried a little bit. That's a lovely pass. Vida gets away with quite a poor touch there, but we've got bodies in the box yet again. Whips it through. Diaz. It's a penalty. It is a penalty to Sirenes. That looks really soft. But again, what I was saying before about how this tactic just seems to win more penalties as well. AJ, thank you very much for the prime. Are we about to take a second lead? Second lead? A second goal lead. Watara is our penalty taker, I believe, or the first penalty taker anyway. If we go 2-0 up before half time, which we do, Virial nil, Sirenes 2. Okay. We're looking good for 3-for-3 three three in the Champions League, which is so much better than last year. This is much more like it. I suddenly feel confident again in us in our ability to actually control games a little bit. Like we've only had two shots on target, but we've created a ton. Got lucky, admittedly, with the penalty, I would say. It was a very soft one. But defensively, we looked decent. Goalkeeping's looked really stable as well. Vida looks good. Co is regularly putting in good performances. That's a great pass again for Melman. Fires it across. Watara's missed the target. That should have been three. That was a great pass from Melman, who's actually kind of run the show today. Almost like an advanced, like a very advanced playmaker. Almost like a Trekotista. He's killed it. Two goals. No, sorry, not two goals. A goal. Two key passes. He should have had an assist there. Henry's already had 1.3 XG by himself. Admittedly, the penalty takes up a lot of that. That's so good. But now, this is where we need to be sensible. But having that second goal is so crucial. We'll look to make the changes around about 60 minutes. I think Padilla is definitely coming on for Diaz. And Melbourne's on a booking, so I might potentially rest him. Particularly with us being in a two-goal advantage. Especially if we grab a third here, then Melbourne will definitely come and have a little rest. Nagai. Kadri. Diaz has been a little bit sort of bypassed in this game, I feel like. I wonder if that's just the way the tactics have set up. But now that I've said that, this is where we'll go and grab a goal. Because all you have to do when you want to get a goal is just badmouth the player that you want to score and then things just happen at that point so i'm going to continue to do so uh diaz has not had a very good performance so it would be really nice if he could just step up and do something for us right before i insist on substituting him because he's basically sat right on the front line at the moment called palacio actually this is a good opportunity for someone like diaz if palacio could just fire this in it's got support though from vega this is really nice build up oh my lord oh go on oh it's another one it's four Ko Nagai does it again. It's 4-0 to Sire. No, not 4. 3-0. 3-0 to Sire. <laughs> what a strike. That is his second absolute banger since he's joined the club. We weren't getting those out of Tony Sunday, that is for sure. But, whoa, what a nice addition he's proved to be. Lovely build-up as well. Look at that. Outside of the left foot. Bang. Oh, I kept waiting for it to turn over. Oh. Can I have one... One of your goalkeepers. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, honestly. Um, I really don't know. Matt still can't count. What's new? Lovely. Right, so Padilla will come in. Vega, good assist, but he's running a little bit low on fumes. So we'll get him off. Um, Vida's done well, but we're 3-0 up now, which means I want to give another chance to Moltwang because I really like him. Kadri's knackered. We're going to go with Pies. Sorry, Pies. And I'll save the other side just in case. Three for three is very impressive considering... Yeah, we'll get Padilla in for a little bit. I'll keep Melman on, actually. Put Padilla slightly slightly deeper. Because I love that he can play in both roles. So he just basically comes in for whoever needs a rest or whoever's not playing that well. Which means he's pretty much guaranteed at least a substitute appearance in every game. Oh, for goodness sake, Hooligan. What are you doing? We're 3-0 three, we're three nil up. Why are you doing this? Very unnecessary. And now we have an issue. Luckily, I get that fourth sub available. Right. Um, ironically... What I would always do here is that. But the problem is... Oh, but dear, poor man! Wait, no, I can do better with this. I'm going to bring off um, Melman instead. Put Padilla up top. And then 
bring on um, Archie Brown for Padilla. Sorry, for him instead. Because there's no point in taking off Padilla because he's just come on. So yeah. That took me a minute. Now Melman's going to get his rest. Padilla will still get a chance to play through the middle. That is unfortunate though because that means Palacios is going to be missing for the Man City game. Also, he got two yellow cards in two minutes. So that's superb from him. He's always got a bit of that. At least it wasn't a random straight red, I suppose. I just hope we don't somehow bottle this from here. That would kind of suck. Right, come on. Oh, shit. They've immediate. Oh, that's actually really nice from the guy yet again. Right, Padilla. Nice little knockdown for Otaro. Oh, spread it through. Oh, if this is a goal. Oh, baby. That was like a FIFA goal. It's 4 0. The 10 men now lead 4 0 away. At wow. That was beautiful. This right here. Look at the way that Padilla's first time ball into the path of Watara. Makes the run. Gets it back again. This is why I feel like long term he's the guy instead of instead of Melman. But because I don't think Melman has this. Then again, he's not that fast, is he? Oh, that was glorious. We've had four shots on target and scored all of them. Must again be noted. Like there's no way we win this 4-0 if we play this game again. But hey, we're doing it. We're getting in there. We're unsettling teams. We're making stuff happen. Oh, the literally L1 triangle through ball. Yeah, it's brilliant. Now Archie Brown down the left-hand side. Could we get a fifth goal? And oh, we do. It's Padilla. It's 5-0. <laughs> we beat Villarreal 5-0 last year and we've gone and done it again. <laughs> Padilla scored twice. That was beautiful again from Archie Brown. Archie Brown, considering we only brought him in because he looked a little bit okay and we needed depth there, has actually done a really stellar job for us so far this season and getting in the right places. Oh, just think, yeah, with Roy. I wish we had Roy in there. Technically, oh no, he's not quite registerable yet, is he? Actually, he might be. Uh, I haven't got any more subs, so I can't take the guy off, but we've absolutely clapped them. Uh, three for three, and suddenly the world feels a lot more bright for us. Now, we'll lose to Manchester City up next. Of course we will. Um, despite them not even doing that well so far, becoming a gear manager. <laughs> Building a nation and gear edition. Download version, but um, there's a lot, so it's not really something I can walk through immediately. But it's got actually, is there a lot? Less than the three. new set pieces, too. Divkush, thank you very much for the 10 months, my friend. How's life treating you on this fine Tuesday? We're top of the Champions League group after three matches. Was not expecting that. Palacio will be banned, but we'll lose that anyway. New contract for Melman. Um, probably not, though, buddy. We're just going to do that for the time being. Steps is fine. So basically, the biggest change is the DM is now. A T, uh, a T, an AM. It's now a Trecortista with holds ball up and shoot less often. Um, the Mez has now become a ball in midfielder with stay wider on. I think everything else is the same. Oh, the strikers now um, stay wider as well. And we're now working the ball through the middle with highest tempo. That's the changes to the tactic, I believe, anyway. Now, whether that worked for you, I don't know, but it works for us. I love that we actually got, it seemed like we got better after we got the red card. Note to self, get more red cards. The DM is now T. Yes, we've eaten him. We've gone all full cannibalistic. God, our goal difference is plus 20 after four games. Hammer have started pretty strongly as well, but that's pretty wild. Copenhagen are pretty good in this save. Oh, dear. Right, any wild shit in these other ones? I don't suppose so. Bit of this. We should be able to get to the next Champions League game today. When is it? It's not that far away, is it? Yeah, it's only... Oh, plenty of time. Not a problem. I suspect we'll probably lose because it's Man City. Then again, right? Maybe this is the year when we finally start picking things up. Actually, not so much picking things up, but like getting back to where we were. Like These are the kind of results I would have expected from us the last couple of seasons. Maybe not Juventus away. But we just looked wholly inept. Whereas in the last two games against Eintracht Frankfurt and Villarreal, we've overperformed XG, but we've still looked good. And we've created a good amount of it anyway. I think we've definitely made the right moves. Ah, oh, Barry Scott. Terrible times. Sweetie with Roy up front. I'm not opposed to it. Get rid of yet. Yeah, we certainly should be getting close to it. Um, we get, we've get we got 1.5. Uh, we've nearly beat it. But it's going to be really tough. But the key thing is... We are still actually, at the moment, anyway, going, going above Belgium, Turkey, and Scotland this year. And they've got a real tough task of over... Uh, actually, I think they will end up all overhauling us, just because we're not going to be able to do much more than this. I'd be amazed if we even get to eight points this year. Because it's all on our shoulders. 
Like, even if we won every game for the rest of the group, we'd still only get another 2.5 points. That's how important it is to have another team actually in Europe with you. Oh, thank God I actually went back in here. Holy Pablo Guerrera. Sorry, no, Pablo Guerra. Hmm. I love how he's got, like, less tackling than half the wingers we find. But still, intriguing. Financial aspect. Yeah, the financial aspect of the thing that they did. Yeah. <laughs> Dribbling looks decent, yeah. But the tackling is not ideal. Kavka joins professional. Cool. That's another one for the dev list. He'll probably hopefully find a January loan at least. Yeah, I think we start Roy up front against Sweetie. Give him his first ever start properly for Sirens. Uh, oh dear, that didn't go well. Wait, did we just lose? Wait, it's not even our first... Wow, our under-19 squad is... I'll tell you why. It's because all the players that are in the under-19 squads have got loans this year. There's barely anyone in our under-19 squad anymore. They've all been loaned out. Even the Maltese lads. Anyone new? Oh, wait. Sorry? Chat. Wait. Sorry. Is she... What? Um? Emma Agbo. I've never seen a male player in FM called Emma before. Not only that, he even looks slightly fa Also, attribute-wise, not bad. We definitely scouting. I've never seen a player called Emma before. Which which is the real-life player? That had Pog. Yeah, we got our new Pog. Agpog. I assume there has to be a real player, right, that's called Emma, then, in order for that to make sense. I'm just trying to think who that is. Noodle Soup, thank you very much for the 95 bits. Wow, that's very kind of you, friend. Facing the game? No, I don't think so. Um, Pog's just, <laughs> it's actually Pog's regen. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, right, we'll pick whatever team they want, and then we'll just shove Roy in it. I feel a bit bad for... I might actually put uh, the new Alice Irvine. Yeah, and Deborah. Don't forget Deborah. Right, Roy Fleming. There he is. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. God, he's actually really good. Emma yeah, but Emma Coach. But that would be... Well, there's Emma Hayes, but she's... Actually, is she even in FM as a coach? Um, she used to be. Roy for Trek. Press up. Mm. To be fair, he's got the footiness for it. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if there's any other Emmas knocking about. Because there will be, like... Ah, wait. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so the problem is there's 700 sorry there's 1700 people and it's not even filtered the one that we know about to the top because it's just going for Emmanuel's and there's no way I can filter that beyond that because of the way that FM works but one enemy in the National League I oh, refund you points for that because that's just a pain in the ass we can't really do that there's Emma if ah okay who does he play for that'll have to do see what Roy does on his debut I think my plan is um, we won't actually watch this game but if after the Manchester City game there's another time for a match then we'll play Roy in that game and watch it. I just want to make sure we get the Manchester City game in. And Roy scored. Perez, wow. Perez gets two goals and two assists. That's fabulous. He's now finally starting to hit his stride a little bit with us now uh, and become a fabulous player. Roy does score a goal though. That's the most important thing. Let's at least watch the goal. Oh, I can't do that right now, can I? Two goals conceded is a little bit disappointing, but we do at least keep the uh, the good goal scoring side of things going. Free agent. What in real life? Oh, as long as we're in the database, right? Um, let me go to the next day so we can have a little look. What should be an absolute tap in, but that's fine. Roy's got to score them. Or oh, it's just like a mad overhead kick. A few of those. Ten nil, and Roy. <laughs> Roy just immediately goes and plays for the under-23s in the next game. Scores a hat-trick and we win 10-0. <laughs> Roy can do it all. He's just... He's going to get a lot of football, let me tell you. He, and also, he only played... Wait. Yeah, he only played an hour in that game as well. Oh, I'm excited about him now. But not that I wasn't before, but now that he's joined us, I'm genuinely excited that he might actually be good. Right, let's see what his goal was like. Oh, we conceded quite a lot of XG in this game. Also conceded both of our opponent's shots on target. So yet again, this is why we want to make sure we score at least three or four goals. Just to give ourselves the opportunity to not have that happen to us. 
Is it just a nice little tap in? Hey, he got in the right place at the right time and Perez found him. That's all we want. It's good, good movement, good vision. It's what I want from a man. What's that there? Oh, that's classic, classic net next trial. Hammer and drop points. That makes our lives a little bit easier. At the moment, it feels like we might be on for like a... Oh God, Mr. Jobless. Well done, bud. A record points tally. Not points tally. We're probably not going to get that, but maybe a record goal scoring season. Wow, he's good. Way beyond our price range, but I'm intrigued nevertheless. All right, so there's the Man City game. Train which means we rest time. against oh, yeah, Marsa because they're bad anyway. They are building it now. You'd think so, Sharpie, but I'm worried that he might end up declare. We just need him to get some game time. I think the other thing that might hurt us is the fact that they may not play many matches. Liam Carter, thank you for the follow. But they should still have things like Nations League and stuff, right? Yeah. So they've got Nations League. They've got World Cup qualifiers, presumably. How do I do good, Liam? How do you? Like, he, he's better than... But he's already the best player in their clubs in the nation's history, surely. And there's another Roy there waiting for him. They've also got German Gums, which is just an amazing name. And Varian Carty. Hopefully he gets called up. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried that he didn't get called up for that first... Oh, no, that was during, wasn't it? He joined us properly. Doing after stream? Uh, I don't know, probably working. Playing Ballot Trove, probably. <laughs> Only one with a proper contract. Exactly. They need to be all over it. I think, yeah, he kind of he joined us during the other international break, didn't he? Which means his first proper chance to get called up should be November. And I wonder if the reason he couldn't get called up was because he was only on trial. I don't really know how that works. You'd think not, but then FM's weird, right? 19 year old. Oh, we could do. I'm just curious about what. Yeah, it's a lot of money, classy man. Joined after. It was certainly in and around it. Oh, yeah, they do have Alexander Fleming, don't they? Let's have a look at the other one. I mean, they're not going to be a Roy, but you never know. Was there another Zambo and Gisa I just saw? Keanu Richardson. Oh, he's... If this man is getting caps and has seven caps, then Roy's going to get a thousand. Like, legitimately, he's going to get a thousand caps. They've also got Akeem Tittle. What's not to like? Although, I'm just going to type in Anguir again and just see if that same player comes up. Oh, it's just... It's literally just Andre, Andre Frank, Zambo and Gisa. <laughs> No, Roy! Roy, I'm trying to help you here, bud. Wait, hang on a minute. Uh, chat, he's declared for England. You melon. Well, enjoy the Maltese national team. Because that's what's going to end up happening. He's going to end up playing more games for Malta than he will for... What are you doing, you bell piece? You're never going to play for England. Like, you're good. I like you, but you're not going to play for England, are you? Oh, Roy. It, literally, I don't want to play with you. I, we did. We, we've hyped him up too much, and now he's got used to it. There's no way he plays for England, is there? There's just no chance. Hello. I mean, on the plus side, his... And Gia's loss is going to be Malta's game, because he will definitely get games for Malta. He could go back, but I've never seen it happen. If I, now, I, I can't do that, but we'll just have to see. Um, We have to stick with what it says, but I, I still think... Maybe he will go back. To get nationality. Uh, five years. So he'd have to be... Well, actually, he'd only have to be here for like another two and a half years. He's nearly halfway there already. So he could be getting Maltese nationality by the time he's like 21. <laughs> So it's it's not that far off to be fair. Oh god, what's up now? Does not dive into tackles? Oh good. Thanks, guy in not in my mentoring group. I definitely needed you to get that. My defender. Although Does that suit him or not? I mean he has 13 tackling and his aggression's not the highest, so also it feels like his PA is looking a bit more uh, healthy. Counts after 18. Um uh, wait, hang on, what counts after 18? Oh, you mean the nationality thing? Let's have a look. I don't think it does, though. I'm pretty certain that you can gain nationality from any time. Yeah, I mean, he's got trained in Malta. Uh, days to gain nationality. There you go. He's already completed 835 days. 
So he's nearly halfway there already. And that hasn't reset. So I don't know why it would suddenly randomly reset now. I think he's actually locked in, which I'm surprised about too, to be honest. Ah, yes, C+. Plus. Disappointed with the finances. I love that. De delighted with the financial aspect. But then when I use that money to actually sign someone to, you know, fill the hole that the board had just blown a hole in, they're like, oh, no, you can't do that. Don't be silly. They won't laugh when Gert Gillet wins us the Champions League. Yeah, no, we thought the same thing, um, football cam. Well, it's like, I say we. I thought the same thing. I thought it was going to reset when he joined us. I'd like to go out on loan. But I've told you so many times, you're more than welcome to go out on loan, bud. Like, uh, like but you never do. You always turn the loan down. This is such a bob. No one wants a new contract. Wow. Wait. Okay, that would do perfectly. If we can b bid him up in January. Although... I've been fairly happy with his work, but we've got a lot of other players that can kind of slit in there. Um, right. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, maybe he's not a bad, bad one after all. Yeah, the fact is, though, chat, this is the, the, the one silver lining, as Viva's pointed out. Him playing for Anguilla would have been awesome. But what this has now done is it has now unlocked the opportunity for him to play for Malta, which I must say is pretty intriguing as well. Because he's never going to play for England, which means he's going to have to either declare for Malta or just never get an international cap in his entire career. Wouldn't that be just brilliant if somehow he ended up just never declaring for Malta either because he thinks he's good enough to play for England when he's clearly not? Like, if we're being truthful, he's probably only got like... <laughs> From what I can see from his attributes, he's probably looking at about mid 130s PA. Maybe. Uh, I, though it's hard to tell because I just don't really know where we really sit. But then again, Tony Sunday being a starter for Barcelona does indicate that we have some players that are actually of that kind of level, which is dope. Oh. Right. But he's winning the World Cup with England. I mean, maybe we are. Do you know what? If he wins a, if he wins a single World Cup for England. Hey, wait. I don't know what I'd do, honestly. I, I just don't think he gets a cap. My brain was running through scenarios there. Uh, get Adrian Sakar. Oh, he's a bloody Atletico. That's a pain. But that one always produces players. That'll be fine. With Gideon Howell. You wouldn't see it anyway. Hello, Psycho. Good you win again. Cool. If Roy got played by England, which he just won't, that would be quite something. Uh, right, Massey's in three days. So this is rotation. This is the perfect game to play Roy in as well. Um, right. Who? I mean, yeah, good point. Why am I doubting Roy? That is a good point well made. We've seen things out of him. Um, I'm going to start quasi for this game because Melman has shown his quality again. It's undeniable. Uh, Palacio can start because he's going to be missing the next game anyway. I'll start Brandau, I guess. And Kamga probably won't start the next game. So he's actually fine to play as well. Uh, Krastev, I'll start here. Defensive line. Oh, damn, a lot of injuries in there. Tunkara, maybe? I don't know. Lignon's fine to stay in. Espino. I feel like our backline should be Espino, Tunkara, and Rojas. No, or Kadri. Actually, I'll. Yeah, no, I'll start the other three for this one. Because it's tough, handsome. It's just purely RNG a lot of the time. You're just going to have to get lucky with the jokers that you get and hope for the best. I've only managed to do it one time. Gold boot winner in the Premier League. Really? What? Hang on. Which League 2 player does Roy Keane think would be the golden boot winner in the Premier League? I'd love to know. Is it Paul Mullin? And Doi is available. But I honestly wonder if he's going to be a sale because his morale is bad. He never puts up the numbers that I want from the right backs. Whereas, statistically, Krasnov, he called Harlan League 2 quality. Is he absolutely off his rocker? Uh, has he watched Erling Haaland before? Like, ever? Or is this like one of those hilarious knee-jerk, need-to-do-this-for-social clicks kind of reactions where it's like, man misses a shot once and therefore is worst player of all time asked to leave, you know? Uh, free, it means they're living on a free transfer, uh, unfortunately. General play, not goal scoring. But I feel like that's such a... I just don't think that's in any way correct either, though. Um, 
Similar to League Two. I mean, I just, I just don't think that's true, though, is it? <laughs> Ah, like, he could be the best one in the world, but he's clearly still an excellent, incredible, elite footballer. I, I just think that that's just one of those nonsense things that is dri driving clicks and nothing else. Um, yeah, I think he just hates him and his dad, right? Shut fan. Uh, no, I'm actually not. This show was a gift. <laughs> I'm actually a Fulham fan. Um, right. Yeah, I think I'll go with Krastev. Doesn't do tricks. Ah, oh, I see. True. At least we proved the public. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, this is why I just don't watch football punditry in general for the most part. I just find it utterly, most of it's drivel. Um, and I'll, most and the other stuff I'm too stupid to understand. I see, I turn the game on when the match starts and I turn it off when it finishes and I do something else at half time. Seven, we are definitely much better. This is our backup side winning 7-0 in the league. And that's not the first time this year that we've put this sort of um, performance together. There is definitely... Plus 30 goal difference after six games is outrageous. We've we've scored 33 times in our first six matches this season. We Our record number of goals in this league is 90, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, but other people having bad takes doesn't make a take not bad. Um, Cockboo, thank you very much for the follow. No, is this... Well, I mean... Does it matter if he's scoring 50 goals a season? Well, they say his play isn't, but his play is as a striker where he scores goals. So if he scores goals, surely that's what he's supposed to do. He's not a centre-back. Um, what else is he supposed to do? Uh, Seagulls Christian playlist. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the lawnmower playlist, for all we know. Youngest or oldest? Uh, I normally do the youngest because I've noticed that most clubs seem to not have players in the middle squads a lot of the time. So if a club has like under 19, under 21, and then the beat, uh, first team, I, the under 21 squad I find is often missing players. Sometimes do both though, because why not, right? All he does is score. I know, useless. So far the stream, uh, so far we've signed an amazing player for the biggest amount of money we've ever spent on a player. We've won every single Champions League game, which is wild. And Roy has finally joined us and he's just as good as we hoped he could be. It's the dream. Yeah, I think they've got a guy called Kevin something that does a lot of the playmaking for them, right? It's a bit like being like, hey, this chef's great, but man can't stack plates. Like, okay, cool, but what about the food, though? <laughs> That's a much better example, Mr. Callum, yeah. <laughs> Rihanna's crap can't save a penalty to save his life. Uh, right. Um... I probably should just tell Richard that, honestly. Ah, there we go. That chef's so bad. <laughs> no, I reckon we lose like 4-1, but I reckon we score for sure. Ah, right. I have a bit of... Does one of the former Patreon regions play for Sheriff? How's he getting on? There he is. He is actually playing for them too. Do on the regular, learning some more New Zealand caps for the. Oh yeah, so very soon. Through that they particular thing, Nathan the FM Goat. Oh, it's a big, it's a big title you've got there, Nathan. How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Wouldn't swap Roy Fleming for Erling. Ha oh, I'd swap him immediately. Do you know that's what City are missing? They're missing Roy Fleming. If they had Roy Fleming, none of this would be a problem. First team was a regular basis. Yes, indeed, Bulgarian special. Uh, every single transfer window, pretty much every first 11 and substitute player and some squad players who've got high potential, in theory, get tons of bids. So yes, every single time. Hey, boy. How's points to drop? Um, no, they Like, they've started reasonably well. They've played games against Birka Kara and Goodyear. 11 months. They're doing okay. Wow, ha -ha. Going, Mikey. Up the Slavia in the derby against Bohemians next week. Thank you very much for the... 11 months we're only at 34 percent that's not bad so what roy for anyone no honestly because he's just a fun player and i love having stories like that in these saves it's so much fun to have well valera doing well to have a player like roy and then to actually be good i don't know i i just this is why i just pay zero attention to um football punditry in general like as far as football punditry goes i listen to a couple of podcasts but they're usually very light-hearted 
podcasts that take the piss out of football punditry and then like club specific stuff for the most part i'm just not interested in what they have to say most of the time because it's usually the same drivel that's either wrong designed to purely drive clicks or wanky (laughs) you know Uh, and i don't like wanky chat about having a team um so the reason he was here is because he was on trial so once we'd sign him up permanently he wasn't allowed to join us yet because of his age so he was on trial for uh sirens for the last 27 months i I must admit i actually don't mind some of the cb but it's mostly just clips i see on tiktoks you know uh well some of these guys have actually maintained their uh quality quite a bit which we will take for sure don't like wanky you know me you mentioned field tilt and i'm out and it's mostly coming down from not understanding things a lot of the time. I think sometimes people get too invested in it. Do you know what? Benedictus Van Waar is not as good as we were hoping, truthfully. Like, I like him. And some of these guys are really, really good. And Blanco, I'm starting to come around to your thoughts on him. Uh, obviously, Driton Gash is way beyond our price range. But Blanco does seem... Oh, he's already on the shortlist. I'll leave that for the moment. Because we've got the Man City game. Trying to explain how the player plays for the team and they describe it the most basic. Well, well, yeah, it's because I feel sorry for them sometimes, though, when they're asked a question that they clearly have no knowledge of and then have to sort of fumble through an answer because the worst thing they could say is they don't know. But I feel like the real sign of a smart person is saying they don't know rather than trying to bullshit their way out of it. Stefan de Roy, thank you very much for the follow. To me, like you can tell when a person's intelligent when they say that they don't, when they're willing to admit immediately that they don't know something and are ha- happy to learn stuff. To me, that's more of a sign than wangling on through it, you know, as I will do all the time. <laughs> uh, right, Man City at home. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God, who's... Oh, so Archie Brown's in, which is actually okay. Melman... Melman has to start. He, he just does, right? And that was just a football manager. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> right. We want... Co is in. Vegas done okay last time. Espino, Kadri, and Tunkara is great because they were the guys that didn't play last time. Vida's... Yeah. Only watching his football. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, okay, Breezy, but that's a, sort of an extreme example that's not really what I meant. I, I wasn't talking about... I think to me there's a difference between doing well on a test and being intelligent, right? There are plenty of people that actually struggle with that kind of stuff and are still extremely intelligent people. I think there's different types of intelligence as well. But, like, imagine if that did work, though. <laughs> you just walk in and be like, I'm, afra- I'm not afraid to admit I don't know this, and they're like, A-star. <laughs> it would have been so much easier for me at school. <laughs> right. Those guys will do. Uh, we got crashed. Actually, no, I want to make sure I've got Motwang on the bench just in case. Oh, I'm just thick as shit. I'm smart about things I really care about. If I if I'm like genuinely super interested in something, that I will learn everything that there is about it. Um, and be really. That's why I wish I'd done a history degree and not a business and law degree. You know, I had just had zero interest in that stuff, and thus I struggled massively. Right. Okay. <laughs> Manchester City in the Champions League. What could possibly go wrong? Honestly, if we don't get battered, it's a good day. I'm wicked smart, yeah. <laughs> oh, why well, the two track Batistas? Because it works. Why not? Let's go. So please, so I want to give an answer. So. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, but I feel like that can come off as. I guess it depends on which industry and what line of work you're in, right? Because uh, all we get in the game time, um, to an extent. But we have so many players in that position. If he's going to play, it's not going to be against Manchester City. But it is, it is tough, like, right? But to be fair, that being said, I mean, you know, I do this all the time on stream chat for the most part. If I don't know something, I genuinely do just be like, I don't know. And is Mike starting? No way. Oh, he is. Mike is starting against us for City today. Oh, dear. Right. City using their League One. It's fine. We could easily be existing. They've got a League One player on top. It's Mike. No. <laughs> right. Diaz with the early shot. Okay, well, we've had the first... We've drawn first blood as far as actual shots go. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go near post with that. But if we could just get a few corners in this game, maybe we could nick one. And we could show how just how important it is to have a decent set piece set up. Oh, Christ. That's it. Oh, look at them getting back there. Really? Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I thought we'd done really well there, but we haven't. It's Erling Haaland, and it's a... 
Nagai has just gone all the way back from midfield to block that shot from Erling Haaland. I'll tell you what, right? I'm really warming to our man, Co. He's doing it. Like, since he's joined the club, he's really stable in our team. I'm going to go rebuild. No, it's just finished its rebuild, actually. But part of it, I don't believe, is uh, is seated. So as a result, I believe that's why that bit's empty. Vida? Oh my god, we lead. Sirens won. Manchester City nil. Vida Senior. He just keeps on doing it. Oh. I... I... <laughs> Sirens won. City nil. Yeah, we'll obviously lose like 5-1. But look at this from Vida. A little chop inside there. Bends it and rest us can do nothing about it. And we lead in our fourth consecutive game. Let's go. For me, yeah, Vida's definitely up there as one of the legends of the save so far. I'd say the most like well thought of player in terms of the ones that chat like as well. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, here comes one of the greatest players in the world to just destroy us here. That's a shame. We actually played that press really, really well. And then we just allowed them through the midfield for some reason. Uh, we are going to concede off this play now, I warn you, because wait a minute. Nagai again. He is actually doing stuff. Like, seriously, he's always there. Melman, it's a great pass. It's Watara for 2-0 and he's hit the post with it. Oh no. We should have been 2 0 up against Manchester fucking City. Oh god. He's got to bury that. The guy has been amazing. He gets back, he gets forward, he wins the ball in the right places. He just seems to gain rating no matter what. He's always in the way. Oh, I can't believe that. That was such a big chance. Now watch us lose 5 1. When we could have been 2 0 up and chilling. Oh, oh no. Surely Holland's offside there. Do you know what? Me and Roy Keane's positions are starting to become slightly more similar as this match wears on. Watara, I think... No, you're right. I'm not sure he has scored anything except a penalty at the moment. I'm starting to think that maybe uh, Perez might need to flip over. We give Perez a run as being the starter. Oh, this is Zaim. He's another one of the best players in the world. City, I think, have three of the four best players in world football in this save. Yeah, City are starting to City now. Just a little bit. Mm. it's starting to get there isn't it how old is him he he's ooh, 12 to 13 years older than he is in real life so he's probably like early 30 well yeah i'm starting to think roy might have been right we've actually not played that badly against manchester city to only give up that as far as opportunities in the first half is not bad and the fact that we've created stuff ourselves should have been 2-0 up really like that second chance was way better than the first one Great again from Kadri. Unfortunately, Vida was not really in a position to receive that. Oh, come on. Not. Oh, my goodness. How has he missed that? I actually don't know who their manager is. Um... While we're here, we can see... Yeah, Holland is 35, but he also still is incredible. Uh, City are being managed by... Probably still Pep, right? Yeah, it's still Pep. <laughs> they're being managed by a 64 year old Pep Guardiola right okay oh what have I done there oh it's half time wasn't it right we're actually winning against Manchester City still got old Peggy Guardiola Peggy 18 just want to get an idea of who wants to be coming off when we get to that point of the game unfortunately Archie Brown can't really go off can he it's not really an obvious replacement for him so we will see is Perez on the bench at least oh he's not is he oh yes he is alright Perez will come on at 60. Yeah, mine is at Dortmund. Uh, mine is at Dortmund. I'll, we actually looked him up earlier in stream, but I'll show you again, obviously, because he's done the lookup. Um, right. Okay, that's nice. And the guy dropping into the good spot. Oh, for goodness sake, FM. All right, cool. That's a shame. It was, um, it's unfortunate to concede a goal like that, really. It's a shame. It would have been nice to just concede a normal goal against Manchester City because they were clearly better than us. So that is disappointing because there's no reason why that should have happened. Like, it's not like he even under hits this pass. Like, he's just there and he just doesn't go for it. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, well. This is definitely, um, you're playing against the larger reputation side, isn't it? Ah, to be fair, we've, we've had our fair share of luck this season in the Champions League as well, so. Well, oh, go on, Archie. Come on, that's forward. We've got bodies for it. Into the middle, please. That's actually not bad. Here we go. Breakaway opportunity. We've got runners. Please make something happen. Oh, please find him. Oh, he could have found Melman there. We still got it. Go on, Vida. Oh my God, we've hit the post again. That could have been another insane one. 
I, oh, I thought that was nestling bottom corner for a second there. I thought Nagai was going to score his third absolute banger. Right. See what Espino's got this time. Can he control a football? That is the question. Nice. That's better. Yeah, two woodwork hits today. Oh, we could have been 3-1. Watara, it's a dreadful first touch. Yeah, he's coming off in a minute. All right, come on, Brown. Ball across. Oh, mate. Wait. No. We're not done yet, though. We're still there. Brown again. This body's in the box. If we can just get one good cross through. Ah, oh, no, we're going to get countered, aren't we? No. We Once again, won the ball back. Nagai, good. We're doing okay at maintaining possession in these areas. That's okay. We've been forced all the way back here, and I'm worried that we're going to lose possession any minute now. That's not bad, actually. Mama could win the knockdown. He does. It's Watara again. Henry Watara scores! It's 2-1 to Sirens. Sirens 2, Man City 1. Deserved. I mean, I say deserved. The, the way we've played in the start of the second half. Oh, my goodness. And that's something that Melman gives us that Padilla just doesn't. Like, Melman's ability to be six foot five and win headers like this is really, really undervalued in this team. Great goal from Henry, though. Come on. Yeah, I think he might have well dodged the sub. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I think he might still come off, even after scoring that. Just because he has still struggled in this game, and I feel like P Perez could be even better. But is he really needed for a sub at this point? Vega's done well as well. The guy's done okay. Archie Brown's not done that well, but we really can't conceivably take him off. But we do need to freshen. Yeah, Padilla for Diaz is, a, is an absolute dead sir. I'm reckoning we're still going to take him off. We're going to bring in um, Padilla and Perez. Kadri off. Oh, I don't like Selup changing off centre-backs if I can avoid it. But we'll have a look. Let's just try again. I didn't actually pay too much attention. He is apprehensive, but his fitness levels are pretty solid. And he's not played appallingly. Although we could bring on Pires. Actually, Rojas is pleased. And Rojas does normally play in the middle. Fuck it. That'll give us one more sub left. Oh... I just want to see if Perez can do us something here. Like, City have been the better side here, and we'd be fortunate to get the win. But I think the thing that this goes to show yet again is that by us actually creating a little bit more in these matches, it means that if we do get a bit of luck our way, we can actually take advantage of it um, when we do have an excellent defensive display occasionally. Like, we'll probably still lose this, like, 3-1. Oh, for goodness sake. If that was Rojas, I'm going to be very annoyed. It's clearly a penalty. It's actually, For once, it's actually an obvious push. At least it was, like, super obvious this time. Oh, my God! <laughs> Chat, I'm telling you, Holland is washed. Freitas has just saved a penalty from him as well. <laughs> Do you know what? Roy Keane, I agree. I take back everything I said about Roy Keane. I think he's dead right. League 2 player. <laughs> How on earth has he missed that as well? We are literally tempting fate here for when he inevitably scores two goals in the stoppage in stoppage time, but you know what? Freitas, by the way, what a signing he's been. He's looked fantastic. Just in general, but oh, not again. Careful. That's nice. Pay between the lines. Good. Really good. Oh, spread it. Come on, Kamga. Find the pass. It's Archie Brown. Oh, please don't shoot, Archie. Please don't shoot. Drop it across. Oh, wow. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Oh, look at the space. Mike's at the back post here. Nobody's marking him. It's drilled home by Ismaili. Oh, dear. Yeah, unfortunately, the moment I saw us get that ball cleared away, I knew we were dead. Yeah, when you see the push like that, it's pretty, like, dead on. It was a nailed-on penalty. It's when it's just like a melee of bodies and the game just goes, penalty! You know? That was nice, nice build-up from City, to be fair. That's unfortunate. Right. Okay. We're still tied, but we don't deserve to be. Um, but we've looked a threat today. Even if we go down and lose, the fact that we've managed to score twice against City, to me, shows a real level of quality that we just simply didn't have before. If we took anything from this game, it would be a bloody miracle. We've not enough corners uh, to really show off our set-piece prowess. I'll happily take that. Two-all draw against Manchester City. Yes, please. Didn't deserve it. Absolutely not. But... We showed the quality to get the goals when we needed it. Um, Man of the match award for Gonzalo Freitas as well. I'm happily taking that. We've looked so much better this year. Like, we'd have probably conceded a similar amount of XG, maybe a tiny bit less last year uh, with the older tactic, but we'd have created nothing. Like, we had chances. that We hit the post twice as well. Well played. I'm super happy with that from the guys. 
Like, we easily could have lost this game as well, though. Like, we had a penalty save, etc. So, but fair play. 10 points on the board after four matches is extraordinary. 4-3 of the penalty. Yeah, I suppose. But, like, point being, we were still very lucky to, win, uh, to get a draw from that game. But, hey. We, we're creating our own luck by putting ourselves There's in positions back. where we can get lucky. It's difficult to get lucky when you don't create any chances in a match, right? That's why I'd much rather have games that are more chaotic like that because there's more chance that you can actually get something from them a lot of the time. Like, rarely are you actually going to be able to keep a nil-nil against one of those teams. Whereas if you can create a little bit here and there, you get the opportunity where maybe, you know, you overperform, but you still get chances. That's what matters. I'm so happy with that. That less so, but I think we're okay because the next game isn't for a little while yet. Freitas on form, thoroughly deserve. Get in. From sort of, yeah, he's like 27 years old. I think he's I think he's a real player, actually. Uh, uh, Gazier, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, I will quickly show you Kobe Mino, but as I said, we already showed him earlier in stream today. Oh, dear. Why can I not spell? Help. Why can I not spell? Where is he? There he is. Manu. Vandenbush Monta... I reckon... I recognize that name. I feel like we've seen him before. Maybe he was at a different club. Probably Belgian. Before we found him originally. Yeah, but Kobe Minu is at Dortmund again. Uh, sorry, still. Um, obviously, with this game being the one from the save file from, from before the update, he's nowhere near as good in my version of FM as he will be if you started a new save right now, which is why... Although, that said, he's still done well to end up, you know, playing for Dortmund. So it's not like he's had a bad career by any means. Have I had... I feel like I haven't seen save happen at all today. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh, Christ, no, I was doing the simulation, so I had auto save set to yearly. That could have been bad if we'd had a blue screen or something. Chat would have lost the entire stream and was safe. It's all good. Right. Let me find a wonderful raidy for this afternoon. What are we thinking? Ooh, none of my usual suspects. What is this? That's fine. In that case, we're doing Aerolax. Super coefficients. Um, we'd have gained 0.25. So we wouldn't have gained very much on that anyway. Um, so that would have taken us just above to where we were losing, essentially. Sean, thank you very much you know, for the follow. a train coming anytime soon. Can oh, we just yes, come oh, yes, sure. yeah. They are building it now. That's weird. Nobody kept on by now. Fuck it. We're doing it. Uh, wait, is, is I always forget we kept It's the United City FM, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's actually finally appeared on my side panel now. Right. Okay. Hopefully that works. Okay, cool. <laughs> thank you for joining me, my friends. Um, this has been really fun. We had our... I was going to say we had our moments, but I feel like this entire stream has been a moment. Like, we've... Three out of four wins in the Champions League, draw with City, sign a couple of absolute banging players. Roy is here and he's amazing. I'm feeling very optimistic about what we're going to be getting up to next stream, so join me for that on Thursday. And uh, yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. There should be, at least for the patrons anyway, a video out tomorrow night with the agent one, hopefully. Uh, the rest of you probably Thursday or Friday. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much.